Hello. Hey. Hey, yeah, all right. Hey, how's it going? Oh, not much, not much. That's good. I don't know how to survive this game, did. I'm pretty sure it'd be the first one out. <laughs> My HP is not that high, and... Hey! Yeah. Hello there. Well, hey, you have a, a 1 in 9 chance of being the first, so... Yeah, see how far I go. <laughs> hey. What's up? Hello there. How many are we? So there's uh, nine players total. All right. Yeah, I think originally I was kind of hovering between um, nine and twelve, and then just uh, kind of decided eh, I'll do uh, three maps of nine, you know, or three maps, three people each, each, uh, each arena. So like nine will already be a little hard to keep track of, let alone twelve. I'm really curious how this is going to go. Yeah, me too. This is, I mean, I, yeah, I've played quite a bit of D&D, &D, but never a, uh, never a player versus player. Let's just hope that there are no monster with, uh, magical resist, um, uh, magical resistance. <laughs> or, I uh, say, That only needs to be taken down by magical weapons. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, and, um, yeah, in, in terms of the, there will be some, uh, some monsters, um, but they're, I mean, they're definitely going to be formidable, but they're, they're not on the massive boss end of things where everyone's going to have to team up and use, yeah, cause I, you know, try to balance it between, you know, everyone's still just level five and doesn't have a whole bunch of magic stuff, so. But who knows, your fellow players might be scarier and more deadly than the monsters. Yeah, I was actually like worried, like, who will be my toughest opponent? Like, that's what we're like, looking at, like, the care how the character looks like. Yeah. Yeah, and when we get started, one thing I want to do is, um, you know, it's obviously, you know, people don't have to give details about their, their character, but... Um, if everyone wants to say what race and class they're playing once everyone's here because you know even in game it'd be obvious like whoever you're fighting you'd be able to tell what race and kind of you know basically what they're dressed like so but other than that you kind of strategy and a little luck Well, we got most most folks here, but still wait a still wait a few minutes. Everyone does seem to be online. I'm here. Hello. Hey Jeff, how's it going? Pretty good. Yeah, very, very long time no actual talk. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a couple years. <laughs> yeah. Five minute. Really excited for you to put this all on. This is a, uh, this is pretty exciting. 
Yeah, I'm I'm excited too, and yeah, glad you could join up. So. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, considering you're you're the guy that taught me a, predominantly how to play on roll twenty in the first place, I'm kind of <laughs> glad to carry on, carry the torch, carry on the tradition. <laughs> oh well, I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, that was that was a fun game we ran a few weeks back. Yeah. Crazy that it was uh, completely a pickup group and it worked so well for a while. Yeah, it did. It um, yeah, it worked for uh, a while. Played, played a while, <laughs> and then we actually played a sec, kind of a second spinoff game of that too, mm -hmm. which I don't think that one lasted as long, but yeah, not quite. Uh, uh, still some memorable characters from both the games, though. <laughs> for sure. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be able to play uh, three times a week now <laughs> during quarantine. Oh, nice. Uh, all online. So, uh, got a few games going right now. Uh, mostly uh, all cool. on Roll20. So. Okay. Yeah. Oh, kind of me too. I have like at least two games running. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's... one's on Monday. Uh, one's on Mondays and such. Yeah, I got a Monday, Thursday, and Friday. So, um, <laughs> I'm pretty booked for the week. Yeah, I was wondering now with, like, quarantine being what it has been the last few months, I bet there's been a huge uptick in people playing on Roll20 and, you know, other yeah. similar, similar oh, yeah. things. A bunch more people playing. Yeah. I kind of noticed it when, um, back in March, uh, like, it seemed like the Roll20 servers were lagging a bit, like things were moving slower than I'm used to. And I'm like, ah, that's probably because a sudden <laughs> surge of people going and doing this. <laughs> Yep. people, which is awesome. I, I love it. That yeah. A lot of more people are playing. For sure. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. We're missing, who is that? Sardonic Fantasy. Is that the... I believe they're online. Yeah, so let me send them a message. Do, 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 do. All right, so just sent them a message. Hopefully they'll they will be on in a moment. Well, yeah, they're they're on, so I think it's just a matter of joining the server. Gotcha. Don't see them on roll twenty. I believe everyone else is. Let's see. One, two. Let's see if they're responding. All right. Well, we'll give one more minute, and if not, we'll we'll get started. I figured, you know, again, I, I wasn't going to go through the whole big list of rules, but you know, if there's any kind of last minute housekeeping or any last minute questions, we'll try to square any of those away. Uh, yeah, and then presumably they will will join at some point, and if not, someone or all of you will have a uh, a free punching bag, <laughs> 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 or shooting bag, or fire bag. Or... I gotta keep rage up somehow. <laughs> yeah, still rage. Actually, when it comes to role play, that actually can be one of the funnest things I think about a barbarian keeping a rage when you when there's not really a practical thing to do but still trying to mm -hmm. keep it up oh yeah that's awesome yeah 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 i i had definitely have had barbarians light themselves on fire to keep rage <laughs> going and keep damaging like it's it's got to that point where it's like can i light myself on fire i guess you can. That's a yeah. good idea. can lighting myself on fire be a free action <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, bludgeoned myself with my own fist to keep my rage going. <laughs> Punch yourself in the face. 
All right, I still have not heard anything back, so presumably they will they will join. And I actually chatted with Sardonic Fantasy on and off a little bit this afternoon, so I know you know they were the person was planning to join and had uh, messaged me a few things. So probably they're just uh, running a little bit late. All right, so welcome everyone. Thanks for, you know, first of all, accepting my game and kind of working with me over the last two weeks on, you know, getting your characters set up and, you know, through private messages and instant messaging. Um, I know I can be a bit wordy with things. I just, you know, want everyone to be in this in the clear as much as possible and to understand what's going on. So uh, just try to provide as much information as I can. Um, so probably one of the main things I'll say, while I have played D&D for about five years and on roll 20 for most of that and even some as a DM certainly not a grandmaster of D&D I have a good amount of kind of what you know player classes and racial stats like what players should be able to do so um, you know on the other hand you know just you know you know just try to you know keep an eye out you just try to make sure that you know what your class can do um, and um, just you know try to you know, keep your character sheet up to date because I'm going to be checking character sheets as well. Um, but as I said, there's nine of us and a couple PCs, so or NPCs, so going to be a lot going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and were, were there any, in terms of kind of mechanics, um, you know, the way Roll20 operates or, you know, things like that, or even any rules, were there any last-minute questions before we get started? And obviously, as we're playing, I know we're going to be you know, there's probably going to be rules that are subject to interpretation or discussions we'll have then, obviously, too, so. I'm from me at the moment. No, you good. no, just the push. It's probably going to kill me now. This is going to be action, but yeah, other than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, let's see. Last thing before we start is, and I think I said this somewhere, I do keep the jukebox playing if you hate the music, you're welcome to turn it down on your end. If you love the music, turn it up. It's kind of a mixture of uh, um, this personal music that I, you know, that I listen to, and just music I found online. So, no offense if you want to turn it down or up, one way or the other. Crank it up, man. All right. <laughs> yeah, and so starting off, we'll have kind of the slower dungeon music, but in battle, there's a lot of, a lot of kind of fast metal kind of music. So. Yeah. Rad. Oops. Cool. All right. And for those of you that play The Witcher, you might recognize Witcher and Final <laughs> Fantasy. You might recognize some of the music. Nice choice. Everyone, everyone yeah. uses Witcher. <laughs> everyone uses Witcher. Yes. Good stuff. Oh, is everything supposed to be black? I can only see my token. I can um, see everything else. Yeah, have, have you scrolled to the bottom left of the screen? Yeah. Yeah, I see, but I can't see anyone else. All right, let me see what's going on here. Maybe their token's too close to the wall. Can you hear me? Yeah, that's Sardonic Fantasy. Is that you talking? That's, I think, Ebrius, maybe? Oh, no, it's uh, Xavier. Oh. Okay, um... Second here. I can see your arrow, but I can't see you. Oh, can you see uh, me? they may not have vision. I'm on top of you. Can you see me? <laughs> All right. Xavier. Are you human? <laughs> you man. Yeah. All right. Xavier has sight. I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on. Let's see. I ran into a very similar issue the other day DMing for my group. Huh. All right, Xavier, I'm going to delete your token and try to put your token back on screen. So give me a moment. Okay, if yeah. that still doesn't work, you should probably try leaving roll 20 and then coming back. That might do it. Sometimes that's okay. Sometimes just All right. Went down already. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see everything now. There awesome. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, these beautiful faces around you. <laughs> All right. You awaken, barely, but you awaken. Your eyes open into flickering, slowly dancing torchlight. 
As your vision begins to focus, vague, shadowy memories of the recent past start to prickle into your mind. In these memories, you were going about your life when it happened. A cataclysmic shock ringing out through the multiverse. A shock so loud, so full of anguish and pain, that you fell to your knees and wept. For you knew, you knew without even having to be told, the death of a thousand or more gods and goddesses had transpired. And yes, you wept. You felt in your heart and your soul, you knew that your deity was one of those killed. But how? How could a god be killed? As you momentarily began to ponder this question, immensely dark and dreary sleep pulled you into oblivion. As you now wake fully and these memories come flooding back, you see many others around you, many odd faces, odd races, odd creatures indeed. Some dressed in utter finery by your standards, whereas others are dressed in mere rags. Who are these people who are all armed as you yourself are in some manner? As you get up and begin to regard these others who appear to be in similar state of fog as you, and that's key, you're, you're definitely able to start moving around and walking around should you want to. You now hear a booming voice issue from down the hall of the lit cavern you are in. The voice sounds sweet, melodious, and full of dripping sarcasm and dark, terrifying joy. Ah, and so you are here. Welcome, my precious slaves. Welcome. I am Ariok, Lord of the Seven Darks. As you likely already know, your patron is already dead. Yes, dead. Me and my sisters and brethren slaughtered them all. None of them regarded us as worthy adversaries. And now they suffer for their follies. Lord Ariok pauses for a moment, seeming to let this painful fact sink in even more. Should you choose to continue down the hall, you're welcome. And you might ah, see a ah, ah, might see a, a new buddy. Ah, <laughs> ah, uh, ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And now you are here, he nearly croons. Yes, yeah. all of you were some of the most respected, most strong champions of your deities. Astral, yes, Astral, you followed Besheba, and I can attest Besheba certainly was met with horrible misfortune at the end when I clove her in two. <gasps> Abrius, where is Abrius? Ah, yes, likely in a drunken stupor, just like your lord Dionysus. He <laughs> attempted to tempt me with his wine, yet I tempted him with my axe just the same. Quack. Yes, you will know how to repeat this now, Squawk. How it was when I hunted Malar, hunted him down into the depths of hell until he begged for mercy, which he received none. Remember that word, mercy. And Ilya Savil, so full of magic, yes, your goddess was too. Yet it could not save her when I sucked her godly soul clean and fed it to my hellhounds. Um, apologies, but where did everyone go? I, I, I... <laughs> <laughs> I can't Down the hall. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Yep. We all left. <laughs> the we all hear echoes of the tunnel of the voice behind. <laughs> yep. Oh, the other... Alyssa, go the other way. Go to your right. The what? The right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, can you see the the little purple? Yeah. All right, Sorry, keep going. Yeah. You have to walk over that big pile of corpses there. <laughs> there you go. Or just marrow. <laughs> All right, are you good? Make a sense. <laughs> good right. is relative here. I <laughs> <laughs> see. Where was I? Okay. And oh, Burgerberg, where are you, my little pet? Ah, yes, there you are. Your deity, Bargraviek, attempted to cooperate in the end, yet was met with fire, brimstone, and my laughter at his bitter end. And Callus, you could not make up your mind on who to follow, is that right? Couldn't pick just one god? Full of no worries anymore, I crushed the skulls together of both Coralan and Sehanain, and now you no longer need to decide. <laughs> and Loom, ah Loom, 
Your Lord Bane actually held some promise for us. We had hoped he could join us. But reveling in tyranny that he did, he believed he could rule over even us. And so we quartered him and sent him off to all four corners of hell. Oh no, that's terrible! <laughs> and Derek, it is a pity you were a champion of Hela. Hela died screaming at the end, swinging her axe blindly into the air before I crushed it back into her brain. <laughs> and last but not certainly, not least, little Alyssa. You did not realize that Mistress Magic could not help her in the end, do you? She thought it could, but I showed her what true power was as I ripped her soul from her being and sent her into oblivion. <laughs> so Ariok pauses for a few moments, laughing, allowing purposefully all of this to sink in. Ebrius is just going to say, could you keep it down a second? Some of us have a hangover. <laughs> And Swan now is going to point at him and say, died. <laughs> awesome. I'm just like, kind of weeping a little. Like, <laughs> I, I tuck myself into a corner. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm like, sorry. <laughs> and now the time has come. I seek a new champion for myself. I saved you all from the doom that your deity faced, for I knew that you were some of the strongest in the multiverse. And that deep, deep down, all of you harbor some desire for power more than you actually have. Whatever that power is for, good, evil, or just for power's sake, I care not. For now I want to be entertained. You shall battle, all of you, yes, you shall battle. You will fight to the death in my special arenas, against each other and against some of my minions. My battles have ended, and now is my time for relaxation and entertainment. So entertain me, my sweet slaves, for your battle shall just begin. I assure you, the remaining warriors standing will have their choice to either join me or be set free. Should you join me, you will revel in unknown power. But why would I set you free if you choose? At the end, I am a god who enjoys entertainment, and what better entertainment is there than new adversaries to write up and to pretend to fight against me? Ariok laughs a final time, bitter, dark laughter. The cavern begins to swirl and fade, and you find yourself reappearing somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And you hear Ariok's voice one last time, this time in your mind. Your battle is here. Fight or be killed. And best of luck. All right, so we are going to switch maps. Um, so logistically... When we switch maps, you are go you should be able to see yourself in one of three battle arenas. Yay. Go so point. awesome. If you remember, all of I asked all of you for number one through ten and a number one through nine hundred and ninety nine. Mm -hmm. That yeah. number I use that to determine your placement on the arenas. Um, mm. I basically I didn't want to have to kind of play favorites of uh, you know, try to figure out who should go where and what makes the most sense so sure luck of the draw so where you are the i did make the only slight adjustments if you popped up in the middle of like a like um some of the water or some of the fluid that would cause damage i moved you right outside of that so um no one will be starting in an area that will harm <laughs> <In> them. lava <laughs> good so yeah <laughs> so one you might fall in there but oh <laughs> yeah good enough all right. That was a giant dead terrasque, right? Yes, it was. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm feeling afraid. right at home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome to your new home. Let's switch. Get a little different music going on here. All right. Oh, oh man. Man. It's on. All right. Um, one other little logistic, uh, some of you, depending on your location, may be able to see a door or two. Um, I'm giving two little heads up in, in terms of to not, so people don't have to waste actions. If you see a door and you choose to go to the door, it's a free action to open it. Um, there's no traps, there's no, you know, because you know, right now you're, you're really having to balance, like, are, are you defending, are you attacking, so you can open a door and not have to worry about wasting an action. Um, okay. And there are 
some treasure chests as well. Should you choose to try and get to a treasure <laughs> chest, you can see which is politely guarded by some of Ariok's minions. <laughs> the treasure chest... See that. So it's, if you want to open the treasure chest, it's not locked. And if you want to take out whatever's in the chest, that in and of itself is a full action. So basically to, to open it and take what you want, that's an action. Um, mm -hmm. But otherwise, I'd say we are set to, uh, if you want to click your token and roll initiative. All right. Time we have all been waiting for. Yeah, I have a whole plus two to my initiative. Let's go. <laughs> ah, beans. <laughs> That's pretty high. Yikes. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I rolled super low for initiative. <laughs> I, need two chests. I, I need rolled two the chests. lowest. Try to go get them. <laughs> Jeff, what's your what's your dexterity? <laughs> Oh, that's, what's that? Oh, that's a DM. Never mind. Huh. That's another play. Man, how, how did I roll an 18 and three people still got ahead of me? <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I'm as a DM, I'm having a beer right now, so my dexterity is probably very low. <laughs> oh, I should be drinking, too. God, Wisdom also go down. Oh, All right. Sorry, I, you guys had one roll to make. I have multiple rolls to make, so... <laughs> I keep two chests. I see how this map works. Yeah, I like it. I might... Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, I have become a a religious believer of dynamic lighting. I love dynamic lighting. Woo! Yeah, I like it as well. I'm receiving the error message. You wanted to send the results of this roll to the turn tracker, but no valid token was selected. How do I? I thought my token was selected. What am I doing? You have to click your token and then immediately click initiative. Alright, almost there. One more to go. Yeah, and I was actually kind of torn. Um, for a while, I did not want... Dyna dynamic lighting within the maps themselves because I was like, oh, it'd be cool to see the whole map but as far as like fighting and strategy I thought it'd be, eh, it's you know, you know, hiding behind rocks, hiding behind trees things like that kind of that a, blend itself, yeah Ooh, and and somebody has a minus one <laughs> on the initiative <laughs> oh boy alright, um let's see, I see, on, my, on the tracker sh showing, yeah, Derek is a zero did it Something turn out that way, or did Derek actually uh, not I roll? Out what I'm doing. Yeah, you may just have to put it okay. in manually. Uh, it looks like yeah. uh, Alyssa for Scythe got a 19, but then so did Derek Iron Fist. Oh, there okay. we go. Derek got a 14. There it goes. Okay. Six. All right. Uh, so I think Alyssa. Alyssa, hers didn't get red either. Yeah. All right. Alyssa, um, do you need some help rolling initiative? I, c I could roll it for you if you'd like. No, I know how to do it. I just didn't realize it didn't work. Um, okay. <laughs> give me a sec. Uh... There it goes. All right. And just for ease of everything, I'm going to be calling people by their PC names because everyone has a real name, a Roll20 name, a, <laughs> a Discord name, and a player. I'm like, who are you? That's like 36 oh, names. Oh. Yeah, it looks like Alyssa still didn't go through. You might just want to put it in manually to okay. tracker and put it up to the All right, so that's... I wouldn't want you to miss out yeah. on a zero. <laughs> I got the same error message that error message that my that Lola did. <sighs> Derek, whatever. Kendra, what you need to do is click on your token and then click the initiative button. Oh, there it goes. Oh, manually. There we go. All right, nineteen, nineteen, eighteen. Everything is. Man. And yes, we still have uh, one person is not here. I'm going to do a last check to see if I got any. I got no message from Sardonic Fantasy, so they are uh, crying profusely. Um, hold on a minute here. Just so is distraught. it a full action to weep or just a bonus action? <laughs> I weep just a bonus action. Yeah. Let's see here. 
Okay. I'm going to send one quick action, but yeah, um, I think I am up. Oh, it's the guy by me, ain't it? Oh, beans. Yeah. <laughs> let's see, what can he do? All right, so let's see. Can everyone see this? I mean, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I certainly can. can. Oh, my. This, this lovely, lovely person is what is attacking right now. Great. Huh. So this desolate, swamp-like creature is looking around, trying to get a... It's noticed some new creatures appear. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's... Uh, it actually can't do that much right now, so it's going to just take the dodge action. Okay. All right. Astral. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to uh, back up from the weeping boy next to me, <laughs> as I'm not a complete monster. <laughs> um, Such honor. Uh, and I will move towards this beautiful point of a uh, pit of acid. Uh, and then I will uh, bring my uh, hand up. Uh, and some energy will sparkle, and I shall cast False Life on myself. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. All right. There yes. It, so for ever. So, yeah. Um, I was gonna just say for the whole group, if you're make sure whatever you're casting or doing, yeah, to do in the ch in the chat, mm -hmm. just primarily for myself as well, that I can see what's going on. Mm -hmm. So you get. Okay. Okay. All right. That's seven temporary hit points. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, and I won't do anything with my bonus action at the moment. So you can okay. go on. Okay. And that's a first level spell. Uh, for, for me, it's basically a cantrip. There's the warlock, eh? Uh, a little All bit. Right. A little bit of warlock, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ibrius. Ibrius. So Ibri, can I can I um can I hop over this this little ravine that I see here? Oh, you're. You know what I'm talking uh, about? No, that would not be easy because I guess the the way it so it kind of the ground starts giving way right here, and it really kind of connects back up here, like okay. you know this that area. So. That would be quite a, a feat. Um, like That'd for example, though, like like right below you, like something like this. That yeah. would be, you know, kind of like you could just easily walk over that, kind of skip over that, though. All right. So um, then changing plan a little bit, Ibrius is just gonna say, uh, "I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where I am. All I got was that Dionysus is dead, again." That time means it's time for a drink. And I pull out my flask, I just start drinking. I don't rage yet, because there doesn't seem to be much in the way of keeping that up. I'm just going to cast um, Armor of Agathis on myself. Oh, another mm. one. Wow. All right. And then I am going to uh, walk as pretty much as far as I can get over there, which, let me take a triple check that real quick. It is going to be 40 feet, yeah. So, All right. I'll just walk 40 feet that way, and, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm drinking from my flask, mourning, uh, the loss of my god of death and rebirth. All right. It's just, like, an awesome image, like, you're, like, everyone is in, like, the worst instance of eternity right now, and you're just like, ah, oh, this sucks, I'm just drinking. <laughs> Do him, may All he right. come back again, I'm sure it'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be All right. This is fine. And we get to Dionysus. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Ibris, can you can you hit the uh or just either hit or describe what armor of Agathis is just so I can oh, um, check in sure. some notes. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you. Armor of Agathis, which I should have over here. Um, yeah. Fortunately, do I not? Yes, I do. Haha. -ha. So I All gained right. five temporary hit points. Sweet. Okay. Cool. All right, so that happened in 
part of the map in a separate part of the map a little bit colder up in this area um crap oh, he's out. where is he where is he <laughs> oh there he is ah this lovely lady no. oh, realizes that some new creatures oh. dropped into its home and oh. kind of starts squawking around and what the hell's going on let's see what yeah, she right. does that's right, now my there's job. not much she can <laughs> I'm the one who squawks. <laughs> All right, actually, not much. She's gonna take a defensive action at the moment. Um, she's guarding, guarding a treasure chest. Okay, back down into a little bit more swampy area. Momentary lag, but not too bad. What's this dude do? All right. Oh well. First of all, let me show this dude. Oh no. Yeah, this is a a zombie-like ah. looking guy with a bunch of vines <laughs> oh. crawling in and out of him, and he's moaning and groaning and looking around ah. and sees astral. a uh, yeah sees astral over there. Good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, this is going to be with disadvantage due to the distance. I'm guessing that does not hit. Uh, it does not. Okay. Yeah, it, so it sought out and saw Astro near the the shore of the of the kind of the bubbling acid pit and shoots thorns out and Astral just kind of laughs and sidesteps that. And um, before we go, before Callus, um, one thing I decided uh, well, if Sardonic Fantasy comes in, they'll just be able to pick back up into their in their character. If that person does not come, I'm going to kind of quasi-play that character with very base actions because I for the folks that are in this map I don't want to give kind of an unfair advantage mm. with having a kind yeah, of a dummy character so absolutely that, that will still be an adversary but just sure. played by me in a very base way yeah that makes sense makes so, sense right. if he's winning even though he's not here <laughs> <laughs> it might happen I don't I, know I kind of hope that doesn't happen by too bad but... <laughs> no that would be that'd AFK be awesome. victory <laughs> pretty funny yeah Actually, I did have a. I, I created a, uh, backup a, a PC. like a backup character that I would control, but I like I know my son. I'm like, if I have to do that right now, like I'm good. I'll just do this. This will be easier. <laughs> so, all right, Callus is up. All right, uh, Callus will cast jump on himself. Then he would use it to jump on the bridge to. Then he's uh, not that close. Not that close. Uh, okay. He's gonna take a step back and uh, fire appears in his hand. He's gonna bonus action summon his blade. That's that's his turn. He's just gonna stand it. Okay. So what was? I'm sorry. What was the action? It, it cut out a little bit. I couldn't hear the the uh, end. The action was a with jump. Okay. And bonus action was to summon my blade. Got it. All right. And hey, for everyone. Um, in each of your respective maps, you can see there's kind of some, you know, it looks like there's area like that you could either jump up or climb up. Um, generally speaking, all um, there might be a few exceptions depending on exact token spots, but assume that you can climb any of those areas that look like you can climb and assume that it's about 15 feet of a climb. Mm. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. All right, and Alyssa is up. I don't feel like provoking anyone yet, so I'm just gonna go with dodge. <laughs> All right, very safe. Very safe. <laughs> Alyssa is dodging. All right, Loom Travis. Okay. Okay, 
I like to up my crossbow. Do I see? Um, do I see? Kibis? So you so and this this isn't just for you. This is for everyone. You see what your token sees. All right. So okay. that so yeah. So like for example, if you you know click you know you, you know if you move your token, your view will change depending on what uh, on what square you're in. So like right now, you see for example the that weird thing on the bridge. Um, a treasure chest, and you see Ebrius kind of across the way. Okay, I like to rip up my crossbow, which is is that a movement action or a bonus action? So to to take out your crossbow. Yeah. Yeah. So you let's see. What what did you have? Um, glaive. You started with I, yeah, glaive. Glaive. So yeah, so the way that I'm working this, you it's basically it's a free action in order if you want to take out, you know, to to switch to your your bow. Um but if you in throughout the next round, you would not be able to use a bonus action nor take any reactions. So, okay, you're able to fine. do it. Mm. So yeah. I have to whip up my crossbow and shoot it at shoot it at Incubus now. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. Ah, you bastard. He <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't even know where that came from. He just suddenly gets hit in the show. It's like, ah! <laughs> oh. I just say, sorry, but I have to. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> At least you're nice about it. Yeah. <laughs> we cannot be polite about killing each other. <laughs> All right, and Ebrius, you were not raging, is that right? I wasn't raging yet because I didn't think okay. I was going to get hit yet. <laughs> <laughs> All <right. laughs> Whoops. All right, so Ebrius, so that. All right, so that is your your temp HP. Yep, the temp HP is gone, gone and you're. I'm still pretty. Oh, do I also t do yeah. an extra attack as well, or? Um, well, you. An extra attack. Yeah, if you have yes. an extra attack, you can attack twice. Yeah, uh, yeah, like from your class if you have extra attack. Uh, crossbow is feature. loading? Yep, that's another. Yeah, you can't attack twice with a crossbow unless you have a feet. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a because crossbows lesser. are big damaging rage weapons. Good, good. Yeah, it's a... Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, light crossbow, yes, and, loading. And thank you for that, guys. Yeah. Yeah, it's the loading property that... Uh, unless you take the crossbow expert feat, you can only do one. So yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with this. <laughs> so it's a solid <laughs> ten damage, yeah. yeah. Um. So and you know while we're getting into this, one other thing: remember that you can um you can do an you know your your action and a movement, and you can split up your movement. So like for example, you can be behind cover, you can sneak out, you know cast a spell or you know do whatever you want and then go back behind cover for the rest of your movement so that is an option as well for folks well, I guess I still have my movement as well yes okay I'd like to possibly go here okay get like a better view at things yeah all right and are you ending there uh yeah all right, and up to Derek Iron Fist. How you doing, Derek? Derek. Lola. Are you there, Derek? Derek. Eric. Lola. Derek. I be, I be, I be they there, may uh, not be in Discord. Uh, well, they three, seem to be online. Three, six, nine. Can't tell. Six. No, everyone yeah, she's, in the game is on Discord. She's in. She's in Discord. Maybe she stepped away. Yeah. Delay. All right. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, we uh, will. I, think, I don't really know how to fix this, but the thing that happened with um, Lola's phone, I think, is the thing that happened with my phone, which is she's doing Discord on our phone, which is that suddenly all the sounds turn off, and the and the way I figured uh, how to fix it to shut down my phone and turn it back on again. So she's probably gonna do that, I guess. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. I guess I can ask okay. her to like type her actions in the chat or something. But yeah, that's probably like, a good I idea. Yeah. Yeah, because she, I mean, talking is nice, but, I mean, doesn't have to do the talking. Could really just go in the character sheet and click what she wants to do. Yeah. Against. Well, like, Discord comes back up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Classic so we'll, solution. Let's, we're going to skip through Derek, We'll, but we won't, you know, we'll basically when uh, Lola comes back in, we'll get back to Derek. All right. So we will... Try to help me remember that we're going to go back to Derek, assuming sure. okay. it's back in. All right, so back down into a little bit warmer map. Ah. This lovely <laughs> creature hanging out on a bridge. What is that thing? <laughs> Good, <laughs> Good question. It's not handsome. <laughs> yeah, so it sees, it looks up and it sees um, uh, this girl kind of just appear on an island and it sees a heavily armored guy kind of up on the uh, its left, and it sees a drunken guy where it looks like it's trying to run away from it. So it's going to try and decide what to do here. I, mean, I would have ran at it if I... I wanted to jump that that, uh, that chasm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this one, again, it's not near... It's going to just take the dodge action and kind of scream that it's being disturbed. All right, and squawk. Awesome. Squawk. Jesus, squawk. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. My phone, everyone just went silent. So I had no idea what's going on. I started panicking. I'm sorry. You're good. Don't worry about it. It happens. Derek, yeah. we can go back Derek, to went into, Derek went into some, like, awesome... Well, I don't know what happened. Just killed everyone. You won. <laughs> Derek yeah. wins. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was right. weird when they rolled three 20s in a roll, but, you know... <laughs> yeah. They had triple advantage. It was weird. <laughs> Yeah. One in eight thousand. Uh yeah. so Derek can go now. Uh yes, Derek can go. Great, cool. Okay, okay. I, I I'm sorry. <laughs> uh I have no idea what the green thing on the bridge is, but like I'll attack that. <laughs> All right. Now you remember you can move if you want to try to get a better view of what's going on. Shoot it. Actually, but I don't you think I could get a. I think the tree was kind of blocking where I was, so. Yeah, gonna... but that area you don't want to move because you'll go tumbling down into the ice. So you're welcome to if you want, but. <laughs> I can't just... stand. No, because you're basically that's like. If you ever played Skyrim, you can basically just walk straight up mountains, <laughs> which is awesome. But yeah, you can't do that here. So you could you could sit, you could move here, or here. Okay. Oh, yeah. I didn't know what their name was up there. Thank you for telling me. Now I know there's a person up here. Yep. Me. All right. <laughs> I thought I was alone with the monsters. All right. What? No, yeah, you're totally alone with the monster here. Yeah, totally. Yeah. All right. So Derek, you are targeting this. Uh, this creature that's on the bridge. Oh, that yeah. was okay. Okay. You want a creature targeted by an attack or spell that requires a ranged attack roll? I don't think that's gonna hit because. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. So I'll show you a feature this thing has. I can get its character sheet open. Arrowbane? Oh, what? Oh. Arrowbane, yes. Wow. Ah, huh, yeah, it's so disadvantage. Did you roll that or did you roll that? Huh. No, so yeah, you rolled a six. Yeah, it automatically rolls. That's what that means, yep. But advantage or disadvantage, depending on the situation, yeah. so <laughs> the disadvantage roll was six. Wow. Air huh. 
I don't know if I've seen that one. <laughs> and this is the benefit of buying some of the Roll20 packs that aren't the, <laughs> the Monster Manual or Volos Monsters. So. Wow. It's, 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 it's some rare creatures in here. <laughs> yeah. Huh. All right. All right. So it, it laughs, and it it oddly... So this thing, it, it's kind of wisping around, and, and the arrow seems to almost hit it, but it just kind of... It's hard to tell if it actually hit it and went through it or missed. It's just, you're just really confused. But it did not hit. And, oh, it's Squawk's turn. I accidentally skipped through Squawk, but, uh, so Squawk... You're fine. You're Derek up. was before me, technically. Yeah. Uh, shoot. Squawk! Uh, Squawk <laughs> is going to pull out a scroll. It's written in Orin, so he can actually read it. <laughs> uh, it's going to be... And he's going to activate it. It's a scroll of Longstrider. Mm-hmm. So now my movement goes up by 10 feet for the rest of combat, I hope. <laughs> All right. It's longer than one in-game hour. I'm going to be a little concerned. Oh, and God, I'm going yeah. to move 5, 10, oh, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, hey, and... Squawk. All right. It's the another person here. All right. You're behind the tree. That'll, that'll be my turn. All right. So I see you, Squawk, now. And I, I'm one behind. I keep skipping through, so... Okay, what goes? Some monster dude. Yeah. Whatever seven. Uh, that's another thing I like about you can take the names off monsters so you don't know what they are. You can mm -hmm. guess, but yeah, I can guess, but. All right. Um... This thing on the bridge. Oh right dear. In front of the oh, I know what that. Oh dear. Oh no. It is not happy that someone's coming up to its treasure. Huh. Grab a bamboo yeah, monster. Yeah, pretty much. Alright. Alright. And we'll go in for a bite. You notice it's holding a spear, but it's just in a rage that it's been disturbed and it's just going straight in for a bite. Uh, I'm gonna cast shield at reaction. Alright, then that will not hit. It goes in, its teeth are about to clamp around your neck, and all of a sudden it just it's repelled back, and it has no idea why, and it's just flailing around and hooting and screaming. Sure, glad to appear the button in front of my shield. That's all you do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and that's a... Is that a first level? Uh, yeah, it's a first level, and it lasts until my next... Until it lasts. Got it, okay. Okay, so, Bergaberg. All right, uh, Burgerberg the Goblin is going to shout out to the heavens, Bagrivyek, you will be avenged! The Goblin kind will rise once more in your glorious name! Uh, and then he will hold his uh, staff of swarming insects aloft and use an action and a charge to do insect cloud. I don't think if I hit the staff it will now, so I'll just post in chat what this does. Okay. Uh, so, meh. Uh, holding staff, use an action, expend a charge, cause a swarm of harmless flying insects to spread out 30 feet around me. Lasts for 10 minutes. It's heavily obscured for creatures other than me and w moves with me. So I now okay. have a 30 foot aura of insects. Awesome. Uh, and then I'm going to move uh, 5, 15, 25, 30 over to here with all my insects. Uh, and then, because I am a goblin, I am going to use Nimble Escape. I can use the Disengage or Hide action as a bonus action. So I'd like to attempt to hide in the heavily obscured area of my bugs. Alright. Sounds good. So, my stealth check, uh, I think I can GM you uh, what the stealth check is. So that, okay. Uh, you know, yeah, and I can you take know, and if anyone else wants to try to see where the little goblin dude is, yeah. they can do that. So here is my self check. I think you should be able to see that. Yes. So, and that will be my turn as I hide in the All insect right. cloud. Okay. Okay. All right, so moving to different map. 
So on this other bridge, mm, there's okay. a there's Ooh. a skeleton. That skeleton. The, yeah, there's a skeleton. The skeleton's not moving, but there's this weird, disgusting ooze kind of wrapped on and around and in the skeleton. Mm. Okay, I see. I see. All right. Again, it's not gonna do anything other than it. It sees that there are creatures now near it. It's gonna take the dodge action, um, but kind of just for flair and kind of disgustingly, it's moving in and out and underneath the bridge and just sliding all around it. <clears throat> so it's definitely not looking like a good bridge to walk on. Okay. So no sardonic fantasy never joined, is that right? Don't, yeah. Don't okay. Do, 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 do. You know what I might do? I, I'm I'm gonna go back on what I said, sort of. I'm gonna just take because I'm not used to playing that type of character that that person is. So I'm gonna just put in my backup character. Okay. Quick swap. Um. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Yeah. That person was not there. So. Um. Let's see. So Cry so hard they become someone else. <laughs> yeah. They were a changeling. Yes. Ah. <laughs> there we go. All right. Can you, can yep. uh, Astral and Burgerberg, can yep. you see? All right. Yeah, sure can. So this is Lunthric of Melnibony. Great. He is a, a war, a war domain cleric. Oh, yay. Cool. <laughs> Good luck, Astral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, it'll go great, don't worry. <laughs> All right. Let's see, he's gonna cast shield. Oh, that's a reaction. That's Never right. mind. I was thinking of. You could do uh, shield of faith. That's what I want. Yeah, that's. I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Shield of faith. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So it's plus two to AC. And he's. All right, and he will go up. Yeah, and get up in Astral's face, and he looks... I mean, he's not undead, but he looks almost as if he's dead. Like, he just has this, like, deathly glare look in his face. Cool. And he, he will go in just for a basic melee attack. If I can get my screen to unfreeze. Sorry, yeah, my screen completely froze up. I'm now roll 20. <laughs> no, like literally of all times, come on. <clears throat> there it goes. I'm wondering if, because I have multiple character sheets open, I wonder if it's not liking that I have a few open at once. Uh, I can roll the attack for you if you just tell me what the modifier is. Uh, hold on. Okay. He's just going with his morning star. <laughs> it definitely hits. All right. That is eight piercing damage. Yep. Oof. That is fine. Yeah. And that's all he's doing. Okay. Now, back to the top of the order. That vine looking creature now sees someone else coming out. It's like, Ooh, let me get in on this. 
hurl some thorns with disadvantage, and that'll be a miss. And back okay. to Astral. Um, I am going to uh, shuffle around this guy uh, mm -hmm. to be on the other side. Uh, so right here. Uh, and then I'm going to reach and take out uh, a black ebony looking blade. Uh, and with my other hand, I will cast a hex on the person right in front of me. Oh, I see. Oops. I didn't mean to roll the damage for it. That's fine. Uh, and then with my action, I will attack him. Alright. Ooh. That, Ooh, that, that, <laughs> that might hit. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> so that does, I believe the crit only does, uh, is that 13 points of damage? Uh, I'll try to make it so it doesn't, like, say what it does each time. Uh, but I think it, it's now the, has, uh, yeah, it now has one wound. He, he also now has one wound on him. Hmm. Uh, and then, uh, also, as that happens, uh, when the necrotic en energy enters his body, it also erupts. Uh, with purple energy, and I will also add, let's see, where is it, uh, how, why can I put it in the chat, uh, oh, it's not working right now, so I just won't do it, but, uh, okay. yeah, and that'll be my turn. Okay, so yeah, it takes 13 now, and then at the, uh, and then the four for the hex. Yeah, yeah. Let's okay. be. All right. And has one wound. All right. Yeah, and so definitely, uh, yeah, remind me. I will. The, the wound for. Yeah. For next you, you, turn. you don't have to worry about keeping check. Yeah. That. that is my <laughs> response. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Move into a different map. We're Ebrius. on to Ibrius. Ibrius is going to uh, pull the bolt out of his shoulder. <laughs> so is that how it's going to be? A man can't even mourn anymore. I'm going to lift my axe into Please the air. Don't hurt I'm going to cast darkness on it. Mm. Um, but only if... Will this impede my movement at all, if I cast darkness on it? On your axe? Yeah, so that I can carry it with me. Do you uh, have hold on. that? I'll, I'll, I'll bring oh. darkness up on into this chat. Hold okay, on. yeah. I'm assuming you have that warlock thing that lets you see through darkness. <laughs> Actually, I am not a warlock. I am just a tiefling. Oh. It has a few. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so yeah, oh, if, I, uh... if I cast it on an item, I can move with it. Huh. You would not be able to see, is that right? Uh, yes, I have dark vision, but uh, it's magical, so I can't see through it. Oh, do you have okay. the... Um... Though, there, technically like... speaking, it doesn't say I should be unable to, like, have any impediment to my movement, but I just want to check with you first. Uh, he's employing the ostrich technique. As long as he's yes. head in the sand, nothing can hurt him. <laughs> I'm using not... Here, let me read through this again. Magic dark. You know, I think you have disadvantage on attacks, and people have disadvantage, I guess, attack people. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, essentially. Darkness. Oh. Can't see through this darkness, and I'm mad. So you can't see. Just make sure I'm understanding it. Then, so if it's on your axe, you would not be able to see 15 feet around where you're moving. So 15 right. feet. So everything around you would be completely dark. Yeah. And no one would be able yeah. to see me. Yeah. So I can't see you. You oh can't boy. see me. <laughs> yeah. But they would be able to see this giant black mass moving. That yeah. is true. This big know? ball of, still... of blackness. So, I so veteran roll twenty folks help me out. So I'm trying to think of the lo probably the best logistics. Would it be to turn? Uh, yeah, you could turn off. vision off. <laughs> Make it interesting. That, <laughs> that's the uh, that's the only practical way around it that I see. I yeah. like that idea. Yeah, yeah. Just turn his vision off. He can't see anything. All right. <laughs> so all right. So so for <laughs> Ebrius, he will not have vision. It's pure black. For everyone else. You're gonna still so and again here's the trying um, to figure out how this would work. You could so, do an aura on Ebrius yeah. of fifteen feet, um, and then that kind of denotes where this big ball 
of darknesses. Uh, okay. Yeah. Like I don't know. Um, I don't know if uh, Astral can see my aura. I made an aura on myself of where the insect cloud is. Yeah. Um, uh, but it's an option, I like in the token see. things, where you can visible to other players, like aura one. I can't one. see my. Can I? Can I at least see myself? Because I can't see myself. Um. Huh. That's weird. How do you? Uh, Maybe like roll d8 and whatever. Just uh, like, right. just make my, just like, like make my vision like five feet. <laughs> yeah, you could do. Like, yeah, make my vision five feet. Right. Has sight. Well, no, because it's. Because I have global illumination on. Yeah, I think so. We're able to see everything. Um. Mm. Oh, yeah, Does I anyone know how to make just his token uh, visible? Because you're using the new dynamic lighting, right? No, I'm using the old dynamic lighting. I was having trouble. Oh, with the... I thought that if you turn vision, uh, if you turn vision off for a token in global illumination, I thought they'd still be able to see themselves, but I'm not sure. Yeah, you should be able oh, to, but it's it's. Try like like try to highlight your like your token where it might be you might pick up. Box like uh, yeah, box where. Right, right across. Maybe my... uh, or you could turn vision off and then ping where they are and say like, okay, that, where do you want to yep. go? <laughs> that's probably yeah. We're, we're gonna have to do that. So that will be for Ebrius, <laughs> if if that's okay. Uh, what happened? So yeah, you will have if you have darkness on you, you're you will have no vision, and I can't figure out a way to make your token visible. It should be visible though. Um, but right. at the, whenever you want to move, I can just do this, so you'll see where you are. Okay, and then that'll say help. where that'll you want to okay, go. Right, so I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cast uh, darkness on my axe. Okay. And then I'm just gonna stumble all the way over um, right here. Okay. Um, drinking the entire time. <laughs> Is there a bonus action I can do? I don't think I can do anything Rage. as a. Bon no, I'm not gonna rage. I would lose concentration. So, not yet. Not oh, yet. that's right. Yeah. And uh, I can't reach anybody. Sure. <laughs> you can give me a, uh, give me a, let's see, a dexterity check. Uh oh. Yeah, a, or a dex check, or <laughs> based on the path you took. All right. Okay. Yeah, you were so around right here. You mm -hmm. noticed a. Uh, Kind of a bump, and you kind of skipped over it, but you're good. Like drunken master style, I'm just trying to get. All right, and that's that's pretty much where I get. All right. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to make my way to these people. <laughs> I gotta reach them first. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, other. Um, I'm trying to set the aura. So in the sheet, I went to aura one, mm -hmm. and I clicked C. Um, but I'm not seeing one, so what I have to do... I think so you have old. to apply an aura. Yeah, you have to do, do 15 feet. Um, do you see the blue? will have, like, an aura 1 and 2. Aura, yeah, here it is. Um, yeah, 15 feet, and then you can make it whatever color you want. Do you see it? Yes, I now I, I see it. And that should have been that. Okay. Alright, can they see me? Yes, Loom and Alyssa, can you see the... All right. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. They have disadvantage on me, though. Uh, I need to pull out this. Yeah. Um, All right. I can still see you. Yeah, they'll still be able to see the token, but, I mean, but, you'll, you'll know that yeah. he's, that's not really in there. It's heavily obscured, so. Yeah. All right. So, again, this uh, creature back up in the colder map can't do anything at the moment is going to take dodge action. What's this fine dude doing? E. We'll shoot out. At. Loontrick, since Loontrick's now first, and we'll miss. All right, Callus. 
Uh, Kallus will try to make an attack at his legs and try to jump over it and make an attack at his back with his legs. Like... Alright. I'm gonna jump around behind him so the other person can attack. Yeah, both of those will hit. Let me see if he has any special anything. No, nope, those both hit. So okay, that's that 14. 14 damage. All right, that takes a big chunk out. Good to know, good to know. Nah, He's still standing, but... And All right, um, down to Alyssa. I'm going to do one fireball against that creature directly. Almost directly south of me. Nice. Oh. Boom. All right. What did you cast? That, that was a firebolt? It's a critical firebolt. It's a critical firebolt at the creature made of fire. Huh? Womp This whole time I thought he was a ginger. <laughs> it's just really luxurious red hair. Uh. Yes. You hit it straight on. It goes like into it, I mean, its entire body is just engulfed, and you see its arms raised, and it goes, ah. It's healed. <laughs> a bath, yes. I, I, I just wanted to use a hand trip instead of a whatever. <laughs> and, if you, and if you speak primordial, you would hear it say, thank you. Yummy. Yummy fire. Yummy. yummy. All right, and are you moving or staying there? I'll stay. Okay, and that was a first level firebolt. Is that a first level spell? It's a cantrip. Or cantrip. Okay, okay. yeah, that was a cantrip. Okay. Sorry, my All right. Oh, no, it's a cantrip, yeah. Yeah. All right, and if you're done, Loom is up. Okay. Wait a second. Well, that's also not some point what I was holding in my hands because I decided that I had a time, but I wasn't sure where I was supposed to say it or when. Or like what weapons you have out. Yeah. So if you, yeah, you have your your quarter staff out. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, be able yeah. to. Yeah, you'd be able. Like that's not really an issue for you to cast a, a spell. Like okay. That. Yeah. Do a spell yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, there might be. It's it's all situational, but generally it's going to be you know if someone has a like a, a, a like a sword and a shield, and then they're trying to you know balance their component and you know semantic like that those types of things yeah. are going to be yeah. not yeah. possible. Okay. But yeah, you're good. Right. Okay. Um, can I like? Can I? Okay. As like posse, I'd like to yell out to uh, Alyssa and say, um. Excuse me, um, do you want to, like, team up for a little bit to take out the fire dude? Uh, if you like to, I, I don't, so happy if you want. Uh, he's... <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh. oh, that's pretty glad to hear, and I put... I shoot at the fire dude. Okay, okay. Let's see. 21. Alright, the, the fire dude. Da -da -da -da. Looks like no immunity for that. Alright, that's a, it's a solid hit. Kind of gets it, you know, might be, if it has a leg, it might be kind of in its lower leg area. It doesn't hurt too much, but it it's a solid hit. Okay, as I as I shoot, I'm like, how does that feel? Woo! <laughs> I will glad to be drowning your flaming blood. Uh, <laughs> it just looks at you. Clearly, doesn't understand your language, but doesn't like your tone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and any movement? Or are you good? Okay, so around is six seconds, right? 
-hmm. Yes. Correct. All right. Loom, are you moving or are you are you finished? Probably. All right. I think Loom is done, so we'll move back to Derek. I'm going to go right there. I just moved a little. And I am going to coat three crossbow bolts using the basic poison. Okay. So you're basically using one of your poison vials on your. All right. All right. And and you're uh, you're done movement. You're done moving. I am done moving. Yes. Okay. All right, so back down the fire-like creature. Well, it's guarding its treasure, so it's dodging. Hmm. Walk. Oh, okay. Reason my health is listed as eighteen. Is that luck over from la from a few days ago? Because I didn't. I don't think I got hurt. Did I? Oh, for hit points on your token. Yeah. Yeah. Let me check your. For some reason, your character sheet is or your your token is not linked to your sheet. Let me okay. link it really quick. Um, yeah, Derek should have fifth. Um, I shouldn't. Hold on a minute. Yes, I did fix my health points and also the that one potion I used. Okay. Is it look? It should be. It should be correct. Yeah, because you're starting this battle fresh. Well, no, it still says 18. Should I just rewrite? Sorry, where uh, where is it saying 18? Oh, if you click your token, there should be two numbers there. Yeah, the little there. green circle when I click my token. Andrew, you can just change that and fix it. Alright, okay, I'm yeah. just making sure I didn't forget about taking damage or something. <laughs> I don't know. Never mind. Yeah. I also have an, I have an 18 in the blue circle. I'm not sure what that is, but... Uh, AC, probably. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, cool. Uh, Squawk is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I can see this man on the bridge in front of me. I'm going to reach into my feathers and pull out a tick and flick it at him. Oh, it's going to turn into a swarm right. of locusts, and I'm going to cast a All fist right. station. All He's right. to give me a constitution save. All right, so let me open a sheet here. Punch, baby. Oh, cool! It he passes and nothing happens. Yeah, the swarms just flies by me. I look at you like with the the, the evil look, the death, the the death stare at you. Like I'm this thing. Here. No, Wait, I, I see so... you right there. You're, I saw you. I see you. I'm behind a tree. <laughs> but I'm not attacking a person. I'm attacking a monster. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, so you saw a person. <laughs> what are you talking about? Whatever this thing on the bridge is that I'm uh, pinging. That thing gets a 16. Okay. Good yeah, point. I wasn't attacking. Uh, Man effects. I wasn't attacking happens. blinded. I was attacking that thing. My bad. <laughs> All right, so that I'll passes. I'll be more specific and ping. <clears throat> so what did you use against it? It was so. Does it um. Uh, it, it was a it. cantrip. Uh, okay. I'll post the details in chat. Uh, okay. It's called uh, Infestation. Infestation. If he failed the con save, he would have had to move in a random direction determined by a d4. Got it. Yeah. All right. That is my turn. And on the other bridge in that same map, crazy ape like creature with a spear. Big 
Might be big. <laughs> well, again, go in for a bite. Ooh. Uh, that might bite. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. I can't go All right. It'll kind of jump up and down like it's kind of ripped some skin off and just chewing on it now. So it's definitely trying to eat you. And it will not move. And Burgerberg. All right. Uh, Burgerberg is going to emerge from the swarm, but the swarm follows him. So he's going to go 5, 10. I'm going to get to here first and say, all right, 20. Uh, 25, 30 to get to there. Uh, and I'm going to see uh, these two fighting over in the distance. And mm -hmm. uh, think, ah, no, no, they cannot defeat me. Uh, and then I'm going to whip out one of my scrolls, uh, my scroll of erupting earth, and wow. cast yes. it right on top of your character, Jeff. Uh, it oh, produces right. a... Tw uh, actually, I'm going to go uh, against Astral. Uh, centered on Astral. It's a 20-foot mm -hmm. cube. So uh, 20 by 20 square. That's The middle is Astral, however you want to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also, since it's a scroll, uh, a third-level scroll, I believe the save DC is 15, but it's going to show up on my uh, roll 20 is 13. So the save okay. is going to be 15, because I think the scrolls have a set save DC. Um, but erupting Earth. So, uh, oh, it's a G. It did a GM thing. Sorry, Jeff. Uh, so oh, that's okay. You can see that. You want me to reroll yeah. that in public so that they all see what the damage is? No, it. it yeah, it's DC thirteen Dex save. It's a and it, fifteen because of the scroll. Or, yeah, yeah, fifteen. Sorry about that. Um, and twenty-two bludgeoning. So let's do. Yeah. So our Dex uh, saves here. The two of you will have to make Dex saves. You both. So it oh, is. Boy. Uh, and it didn't do the full spell effect. Am I doing something wrong there? Uh, uh, I don't know why it didn't post all of the spell. Uh, yeah, it's I, determined if it's a spell card or the other option. Uh, uh, like when you hit the little settings tab, yeah. uh, it says output, spell card, or attack. If you want to say everything, it has to be spell card. Okay. Um, but but you will have to roll the dice yourself then. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, sorry, output spell. Ooh. Spell. Eh. Output. Okay. All right. Well, that definitely hurt Lunchrick a little bit. <laughs> so that's eleven oh. points with the save, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think this mm -hmm. will do. And that's what bludgeoning. Yep. There yep. it goes. Uh, so yeah, it's a twenty foot cube. Actually, I think I can draw what i want um, yes i was gonna bring that up i think uh yeah if i can feel free to draw for things like that uh i would like to put it here okay. uh so uh that is now difficult terrain and i am okay. down a scroll uh and then as my this will be a recurring theme uh as a goblin as a bonus action i would like to hide in my swarm <laughs> Awesome. Uh, so you're acting very goblin-like. Yep. Yeah. This I hide in bugs. Uh, so yeah. Jeff, here's my <laughs> stealth check. So you see what that is, uh, and then I'll yes. be done. Uh, okay. Does your swarm obscure your vision, or just ours? It does not. It okay. Says, Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, harmless insects, uh, making the area heavily obscured for creatures other than you. Yeah. I, I believe you don't have to leave it to me. <laughs> No, I, I was almost incredulous, like, oh, this is really good. Dang. Yeah. yeah. All right, so yeah. that's, that is my go. All right. That is an awesome go. So moving into back to the other map here. The oozy thing hugging and making out with a skeleton will continue doing that. And it keeps just kind of getting near and it's basically guarding a treasure chest as well. And Lunthric. Is pissed and surprised and does not know what the hell is going on. He's going to take a quick glance looking around for Burgerberg. Does <laughs> not see, has no idea what's even happening. Um, he, it thinks it might have even been that 
guy up on the bridge. He's not really sure. Um, so he will cast Guiding Bolt at that thing on the bridge, thinking, uh, maybe it was that thing that attacked me at first level. Oh, is this, um, is this the person next to me? Yes, yeah, okay. this, this guy uh, here yeah, is attacking I, I, that thing on the bridge, and, oh boy, yeah. Uh, does he have disadvantage on range attack rolls being in melee reach of the, uh, Astral? I bo if I'm attacking Astral, I thought it'd be disadvantage, but if I'm, or is the disadvantage for all attacks? Actually, in this, it's a good thing to know, but this one it wouldn't matter because even with disadvantage, it hits. Hmm. Um, I uh, it also takes uh, eight necrotic damage because of the wound, and it has to make a Constitution saving throw DC fifteen to try and end the wound. Okay. So let me take eight damage really quick. And do a con save. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the wound is now gone. All right. So okay. that's, that's from the player's handbook, range attacks in close combat. Let me arrange it back anymore. Let me make it range. You are within five feet of me, huh? Ah, that's, yeah, thanks for, I mean, I, I know I must have read that at some point. I've always just assumed it's, oh, if you're attacking something, if you're attacking the thing that's next to you, but no, that's, mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't it's realize It's kind that. of a, it's a holdover from earlier editions where if you did that, they'd get an opportunity attack against you. If you did a range attack yeah. against somebody and someone's next, you get hit. Uh, this is just makes it a little, you know, you get disadvantage. You don't yeah. get a free attack, but you get disadvantage. Okay. Well, hey, the, in this case, it still hits because it's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a 16 and it, it beats its armor class. He's luminous. Yes. And I will try to... I will... It's kind of bogged down. All right. I'm going to just put a little yellow thing to show he's luminous. <laughs> and he's not doing too well. All right, so that was Luntrick's movement. So Luntrick is, uh, he's, yeah, he's going to stay there. He does not want to risk the opportunity attack, but he will kind of move up this way, thinking he might be getting out of some area. Doesn't really know where he's going. Mm -hmm. All right. In the same map, the creature on the other bridge, based on everything, will have to take a dodge action. Okay. And oh, um, we were at the top of the top of the order. One thing I wanted to do. You hear kind of a loud laugh and a loud boom, <laughs> and you hear Ariok's voice, "Haha, <laughs> doing well so far. Just started. Keep me entertained." And for those of you that saw uh, any doors lining the wall, you hear a, the loud boom was actually the doors being blown off their hinges. Hmm. All right. And I got to do a little dynamic lighting stuff here. Well, um, like while I'm doing that, Astral can go while I'm doing the dynamic lighting. So. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to do a, first, a few things. First, I'm going to let the necrotic energy that is surrounding my current opponent fade uh, as I let go of Hex. Then I will take the disengage action and will cast uh, Expedious Retreat um, on myself. Okay. And then I will move. That would be 10, 15. Let's see. 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60. And I will move myself 
right there. All so, right. Uh, and that was a that was a first level turn. spell. Is that right? Yes, it was. Yeah. And that'll be my turn for now. Yeah. All right. Ibrius. Can I make a small retcon? <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? <laughs> While surrounded last, by darkness. <laughs> last turn, I said I couldn't do anything with my bonus action. That was a lie. I could have swapped to my hand axes. Can I have swapped to my hand axes? From your... As a from bonus my, action? Uh, from, yeah, so... If I understand the rules correctly, you can swap your weapons as a bonus action. So from my great axe to my hand axes. And that was on top, so you ca you cast darkness as your action. Yes, and then I just moved. Or is it no action to swap, but then you can't take a bonus or a reaction? I, I don't remember exactly what it was. It's just yeah. So just if call. you yeah. basically if you if you I'm trying to think, so if you swap your in around, if you swap, there's no bonus action and no reaction. All right, so. Could I have done that last turn is what I'm asking? Swap? Uh, since he didn't take a bonus action or reaction since then. Yeah, I believe... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah that, sorry, that sorry, makes I'm trying sense to get to the logic around my head. Yes, I believe you could do that. You could switch mm -hmm. to your hand axis. Awesome! So, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, last, so my last turn, I swapped my weapons. Hmm. This turn, I start out still drinking profusely, and by now I have drank it enough of this extremely non-diluted wine laced with psychedelics that I have entered a rage. So I'm going to rage. <laughs> and drop sure. my uh, darkness. So I no longer have darkness up. Because uh, I'm okay. raging. <laughs> For anyone watching Ibrius, this would be quite a view. <laughs> I emerge out of darkness looking All right. crazy. So that is DM's cue to give you vision again. Yep. I can yeah. see. You have sight. And right. now your aura, is that, again, I'm not used to auras. Is that something, do you turn off that aura now? Or do I? I can't uh, see it, but oh yeah, I can see. I, I, I see okay. what you're talking about. All right, yeah, just... yeah, you can yeah, I can see the. the I, can, I know I can uncheck it, but yeah, you can also double click and then enter zero, and the R will go away. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to move five, ten. One moment. I was not able to see, so I have to kind of get my bearings. <laughs> okay. Now, do you see literally right where you are standing? You heard the most, like a door. Like you don't take damage from it, but a door basically kind of flew off its hinges. I did like hear that, but I'm yeah. a little focused on uh, on a certain someone that chuck an air that chuck something at me. All right. <laughs> uh, ten. Feel that will be forty. All right. Um, all right, so I'm going to rush onto the bridge, like right there, right there. Can I see, I mean, I can see Travis, so can I, do I have sight of him? Sorry, do you have what? Uh, I can see Travis, so I can uh, I can fire something at him, right? Yes, yeah, so if your token can see it, like if you can physically see it on screen, so because of your view right now, that's basically half cover. So, I mean, you can kind of move and kind of readjust your vision if you'd like, but where you're at right now, um, half cover, I believe, is a plus two to, to his AC. Um, what about right here? Uh, what about this position? Is that still a half cover? Yeah, so just 
for the veterans in the room, there, there's half cover and three quarters cover. There yes. is no one quarter cover, is that right? Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, in this case, you it's closer to half, he'd still have half cover. All right, then I'm yeah. just going to move back to where I was. Okay. And I'm going to shout out to him in Celestial. Come, brother, let us celebrate the death of our gods. And I'm going to throw two axes at him. Okay. <laughs> Excellent response. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you speak Celestial, he'll understand that. Oh. Ouch. You hit my AC exactly. <laughs> wow. And that's my second axe. I'm assuming that one does not hit. Oh. Oh. 19 damage? Oh. Yeah, that Divine Fury. It's no joke. Yeah. Strong axe. Yes. Alright, so that's. So Loom takes 9 or 19 damage. Wow, you owed max damage on both of those guys. <laughs> and that'll be my turn. Alright, that is quite a turn. Mm -hmm. Alright, back up into the other map. This Wily flying around on the bridge. You know, it's not going to do too much. Yeah, it's going to take the dodge action. All right, moving back down to the swampier map. <laughs> All right. So, so mechanically, um, so for Burgerberg, if the yes. this creature wants to attack here, it's it would have to. Well, I try first, to basically see me first, uh, and it and if it can't even see, so it's not even a possible. Like it uh, has to. Yeah, I mean, kind of a debate if you want to allow like attacking the space where it thinks I'm at because uh, it is mm -hmm. centered yeah. on me. Um, you know, yeah. And he's also hidden right now, right? So yeah. he's currently hidden and heavily obscured in there. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's kind of yeah. hard to judge. Yeah, at the, at the very minimum, I'd say disadvantage, uh, but they can try to perceive me. Uh, there's also, yeah. like, certain effects and things that say specifically, like, a creature you can see. And so if I'm stealth and figured, they wouldn't be able to see me in that case. Yeah, not be able to see. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, I, I know co co being in cover and being having – that's always been one of the – most debatable things when games I get in. Oh, yeah. So cover and yeah. vision. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So having said that, trying to role play what it would do, it would be seeing a, a bunch of stuff erupting over here. It would be seeing Astral running away and it wouldn't see anything over here. So it would be <laughs> Yeah. So I'm gonna do a quick So if I get a a one, it's Astral. If it's two mm -hmm. Loon trick at the moment. All right, it's Loon trick. I believe this will be with disadvantage. Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, Loon trick will not be hit. We move to Callus. All right, as this thing is by me, I'm gonna try to stab his ribs to the side with my short sword. Here we go. So they hit. Fifteen and a sixteen. Do, do, do. So you have natural armor. Yeah, How both of that? these hit. Let's see if it has any special features. Yeah, both of those hit. How's he, how he looking as I'm pushing off his shield and I'm stepping on his side? How's he looking? Is he looking rough? Is he still alright? Alright, so he's pretty, I mean, he he's getting, let's see if he's he's close to bloodied or he's bloodied. So he's looking, I mean, he's still up, but yeah, he's uh, he's bloodied. Alright. 
playing. Yeah, um, so I'm, so for bloodied, I'm going to be uh, putting the little red dot on tokens to show they're bloodied. So try to do the same, just, you know, if your character is bloodied, try to, you know, because it would be obvious to other players that you're seeping blood everywhere. <laughs> and it's going to scream at you. My turn. I'm going to stay there as a pull try to block him with my shield a bit. All right. Now it will, it's action is, or no, it's not even my turn, so never mind. I'm like, oh, it's going to do this. <laughs> All right, Alyssa. Uh, I will switch to my crossbow and fire one arrow at the thing I at the thing that Boom fired in there. All right. Let's see what happens to it. Yeah, that's gonna hit. So it's the, yeah, it's 21. All right, and that will definitely hit. Tap, give me a sec. Okay. All right, solid hit. And any movement for you, or are you going to end right there? I think I'm just going to stick to that. That's, that's okay. enough. All right. Loom Travis. Okay, I like to like um, oh, right here. Maybe. Okay. Well, so that would that's gonna be pretty tough because you're basically jumping. You're moving there. You're jumping well, I'm from thinking here. I'm jumping here. Jumping, jumping here. Wait, huh? Yeah. I think I'll jump jumping here. Because that's what's your jump? Because you're that's a that's like close to 15 feet. So and yeah, it'd be like close. You'd have to be able to clear a 15 foot without much running speed. I mean, you can move around it. It's just if you're trying to go like a clear shot like that, it's going to be. I think that'd be a little more difficult. Okay. What? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like something like that, like where you're at now, like that's definitely easier. Just where you were at, that was like a pretty big gap going across that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I like to move here. Move here. There. Sorry, where? Um. Okay, right there. Here and pick a portion of. Take a potion of. Hold on. Take a potion of. Greater healer, healing. Greater healing. Of uh, which which one? Great, great, greater. Okay. okay. All right, and if you want to do the roll to see how much you get. Uh, it's forty-four. Forty-four plus four. Forty-four plus. Eleven plus four. Oh, yeah. Fifteen. I think I think that's right. Maybe Wait, not. Wait, no, 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 no. greater healing. Uh... So he gets uh fifteen back. Yeah. All right. So you get fifth. You increase by fifteen hit points. And you used a potion of greater healing. Okay. And on to Derek. I am going to stay right where I am and uh, do the uh, dodge action. All right. Dodging never hurt anybody. <laughs> Unless sometimes. Mm -hmm. All right, the back down to the other map, the fire-like creature. You know what? It's seen a 
Alyssa shooting at it and giving it life. So it's going to. It's going to say screw it to that magic or to that treasure chest. And we'll come in for a slam attack. And sorry, the I think my roll twenty doesn't. It's going a bit slower than normal. Doesn't seem to like every all the. Seems like the more people in the room, it goes a bit slower. Hmm. That's fine. All right, so it's going to do two slam attacks against you. Uh, the first one didn't have the second one dead. All right, so you will take 10 bludgeoning damage. Um, and do you remember how to lower that in your character sheet? Yes, I know. All right. Um, that's the, the easy part. <laughs> what it's going to do then is... Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. So you need to give me a dex save and see if you can beat a 13. See if you are on fire or not. It's trying to return the favor that you just gave to it. Oof. Crap. Ooh. <laughs> oh. All right. So yeah, beginning of your next turn. Um, you on fire? Yeah. Yeah, you're on fire. Um, and so it's a it's a full action to uh to undo fire. <laughs> and squawk is up okay uh squawk once again is gonna try and cast infestation at this creature so it needs to give me another uh constitution save all right that's the uh this uh blue flying thing right here Blue flying, that's right. Okay, so constitution save. Uh, it's a DC 15. Okay. Cool. Ooh, he fails. Uh uh, he has to roll a d4 to determine which direction he goes in, and he also takes 9 points of poison damage. Alright, let's see if it has any, uh... Alright, it is immune to poison. Ah. Oh, he still moves. Yep, the one thing it's immune to is poison. <laughs> oh. I was really hoping it wasn't, but he still moves somewhere. Alright, <laughs> so a d4. So what yes. is it, um, like... Uh, is one like is north, one? two is south. Three is east, four is west. All right. Roll. Cool. He goes south. All right. So. So this thing is fluttering around. It has a fly speed, but it's been staying right by its treasure box, and it stays basically right there, so it's still fluttering. I'm going to get somewhat closer to it, so 5, 10, 15, and 20, and that will be my turn. All right. Let me read something here. So. Okay. All right. Now the creature to its right is up. Off his shield, taking bites out of him. Yeah. Now. All right, this thing is getting kind of more and more hungry. Um, it got a good taste of your flesh and thinks you might taste good. 
cooked a little bit. Yeah, it should be actually um uh, oh. in the it, yeah, it's it's a mix up. It's um it should be fire damage that it takes. Not that, acid damage. That's a lot of fire damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh I might die. Let's see. You have a no vantage though, yeah, I might die. <laughs> Dex save. Mm. Yeah, all right. Kill me. Oh, kill me. Yikes. Oh. Oof. Oh man, that is alright, yeah. No uh I'm out of space, he's sitting by me, so I'm right in front from close. I can't avoid it. I can't see a way of avoiding it. So yeah. Do it. <laughs> Burn. Alright, well. 5d8. Roll. 5d8. Not art heal. Hmm. Ouch. Oh. Nice. Oh. I, I'm, I'm looking rough. I'm looking rough. Yeah. <laughs> you're bloodied. You're bloodied. <laughs> I am bloody. Extremely yes, bloody. Yes, you're, you're still up. These... Both you guys, you're like fighting on the bridge. You're just both, you know, one is burnt and bloody, the other's just kind of stabbed and pierced. You brought me down to six. Oof. All right, now to Burgerberg. All right, Burgerberg is going to move uh, 15 to there, and then another 15 to there. Um, so, uh, Lutric, uh, 55 feet away from me, uh, what kind of armor is Lutric wearing? Mm -hmm. oh, I think I see where you're going with this. I'm pretty sure I know where you're going with that. <laughs> I think everyone knows where you're going. <laughs> I think going. everyone knows yeah. it's coming next, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said he has on like a little cloth? <laughs> <laughs> just rags. Yeah, just... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm almost positive what he has, but let me open his. Uh... If it's uh, heavy or medium metal armor. Yep. Yeah, let's. Because uh... <laughs> yeah, his armor clan. Yeah, half plate. Okay, cool. To the to the ah, surprise actually. to ah, the cool. surprise of no one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did I'm it to surprised. Jake. I'll make it public. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, so uh, I'm going to target its armor. Uh, in contact with the object, takes two d8 fire damage when I cast the spell. So Lutric will take eleven points of fire damage, <laughs> and then concentrating on that. Uh, until the spell ends, you can use bonus action on subsequent turns to cause the damage again. And it has, uh, if it's holding or wearing the object, uh, make a con save, but I don't think you can drop its armor. Uh, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks while I'm doing that. And I'm also concentrating, so I'll put like a little, a little thing here to show that I'm concentrating. Uh, and then, since that was my uh, action, casting a spell, so oops, take that spell slot off. Uh, and then I will do my hide as a bonus action once more. So here is my stealth check for that to the GM. And I'm done. All right. Luntric is crying tears of blood, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Fiery blood. He's getting frostbolt. <laughs> All right, that's... And I was I was I talking over someone? I heard someone say something, but I oh, didn't I was hear just what. gonna say to be perfectly honest, I never heard of the spell and thought you were about to do shocking grass. Ah, that is the other asking for what someone's armor is spell for yeah. sure. <laughs> no, this is this is a meaner one. This is a, a really mean spell. I yeah, see especially that now. for PvP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is it. One of those if you forget about like a lot of people are kind of forget about it. It's not used all the time, and but yeah, yeah. it's the, the when, nasty. Nasty tool. When someone has that armor. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. The gooey 
gooey stuff on the one bridge. Let's see, it's taken into all that into consideration. It's going to actually move here. So it's basically it's going to take dodge and it's just moving slightly to the other side as it saw Ebrius in its kind of field area in its area. And Luntric will pray to Ariok basically to save his ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, Luntric will. What did I give him? Um, let's see, he's going to take a potion of greater healing. So, roll. 4d4 plus 4. Alright, so Luntric takes out a potion and recovers 14 hit points. It says, screw this, I'm getting out of here. He's bolting to this door. So let's see, 5, 10, 15. All right, and Loon Trick is done. <coughs> and let's see, this uh, still on the same map. Has anybody has anybody uh, went from map to map yet? No, not oh, yet. No. I don't believe. No, not yet. Yeah, some of you may be able to, to see, see a little bit, like kind of see what's yeah. maybe in the other map, but yeah. you know, I need to move some of the, the door. Um, all right, and the creature on the bridge at the moment cannot do anything. Is just going to take dodge. Mm -hmm. And we're up to Astral. Indeed. Uh, as my bonus action, I shall dash with Expedious Retreat. And so I will move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, right there. Um, then as my action, I will once again uh, close my eyes and cast False uh, Life on myself. So let's see here. Sash roll 1d4 plus 4. Can I do it? There we go. And give myself a little bit of life. And that's me. Okay, so Zebeth regains 5 hit points. Mm -hmm. Or Astral, I guess. Well, I, 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 I just uh, gained temporary yeah. hit points. Yeah. Oh, yeah, duh. Okay. Okay. All right. Ibrius. All right. Where was um where was Jarvis standing? Travis standing previously. Uh, uh, about in that area. Yeah. So I can I pick up my hand axes while I run through there. To yeah to pick up um, it's a it's basically a. That's not a full action to pick up something. All right, perfect. So I'm going to run over here, pick up my hand axes on the way there. Then I'm going to uh, face Travis again. And I'm going to say to him in um, Celestial, so I don't know whether or not he understands, but I'm saying, uh, worry not, brother. Death is but transformation. And I'll throw an axe at him. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> Nasty. And then I'll say, uh, like grapes into wine, and I'll throw the other one. Oh! Oh my the, god! The Divine Fury is only once per round, though. But Yeah, the Divine Fury is only once per round, so don't count the Divine Fury, just the other. No. Man. Oh, actually, it would be That's 11 plus 2, because of Rage. So it would be, um, 13. So it's featuring mm. in the, uh, yeah, 13 plus 12, 25 points of damage. 
Oh dear. Me, I... this drunk barbarian is bad. <laughs> me barbarian. <laughs> me, me smash. <laughs> and uh, that's gonna be my turn. Oof. All right, so Loom, you are bloodied. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gosh, right, I'm at 15. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Oh, right, that's it for, for Ebrius, is that right? I think that was, yeah, your movement and action there. That was more than enough for Ebrius. Alright, now back up to the cooler map. This little creature fleeting around on the bridge. Um, as a result of what was cast on it earlier, did it have any features it has to do now, or was that just uh That was just pure movement. Just as move. a okay. cost of the spell. Yeah. All right. All right. It will. Let's say screw my. Screw my uh magic box there, and go up for an attack, a double attack, Oops. it's clawing at you. The uh, first attack hits, the second attack misses. Okay. So I take 10. Yeah. Ow. And that is its movement and action, it is done. Let me make a quick note here. Uh, as a reaction, I'm going to cast uh, Absorb Elements. Okay. Just to loosen that point of damage by one. <laughs> one point of damage. Mm -hmm. So I take one point less of cold damage, so I'm at nine. All right. <laughs> hey, every, every little bit helps here. Mm -hmm. That stores it for later. It does. Mm -hmm. it All right. Is one less level. Okay, so moving back down. Oh, the the guiding bolt would have faded by on that dude now. Oh yeah, because it's nothing happened since then. Yeah. Okay. So it's not in range of anyone. Um, Still gonna be a so it's go <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna. What it wants to do, it see. I mean, it obviously sees all of these bugs mm -hmm. flying around here, and it it has a sense. Yeah, there's something in there. Mm -hmm. um, so. So my understanding is that any attack is with disadvantage, and I have to. Um, do some type of doubt, like perception for check. your stealth check. Yeah. So would it be a perception versus your stealth? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds probably. reasonable. Okay. So I think yeah, let's do that first. I'm a sneaky goblin. Yeah. Actually, here's another thing. So NPCs don't have perception. So would it just be a wisdom? wisdom? Like yeah. Wisdom? If it doesn't yeah. show uh, like okay. a proficient in the skill, yeah. it's just straight wisdom. So. All okay. right. Um. Okay, so I guess, yeah, the way I'm doing it, it, I did not even come close, <laughs> so I'm not even going to give myself the ability to, like, I, I guess the way I, the way I interpret it is if I meet your stealth check, you it kind of can see, eh, there's something sort of there, yeah. but then it would still be with disadvantage, because and I didn't even get scared. to that, I didn't even pass that first, first threshold, so. Yeah, yeah, basically, that's how I'd see it, too. All right, um. All right, I did not do a damn thing. <laughs> it's my bugs done. Yep. <laughs> and we are up to Callus. Uh, Callus fairly injured and still smoking from the flames. He uh, <laughs> attacks twice again at Riv. Hopefully, this kills it. <laughs> Good luck. 
Alright, an 18 and a 16. What does this cute little furry monkey have? Go hmm. live. Okay, both hit. Now let's see what happens to it. This is gonna be uh, let's see, seven, eight, nine. Oops, sorry. Second, right. second win. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it took 17 damage. It's still standing. And you used, what is, is that, um, second uh, wind? Second, yeah, second and fourth action. So I get 12 points back. Okay, so that works, so let, let me, give me one second here. So seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's from the first two attacks, I just logged its damage. So now the next step with, uh, was it 12 damage, or how does that work? Uh, oh, no. uh, that, that's for me. I healed myself. Oh, I no, healed. okay. Yeah. I healed okay. myself. I didn't hit it. Oh, for your, got it. I gave some HP back. But, saying that, if it's still alive, I'm going to action surge. The action surge. Yeah, yeah no action surge. It's not a bonus action, it's not an action. It's just you call out and use it. So I can attack again and use another bonus action. So I'm going to attack it two more times. All right. Get him. Nope. Uh, oh. Huh? Eleven? Yeah, that does not hit. Uh, the, the 22 hit, and the, that'd be 11 damage. It's still alive. Oh, the, so, your, your, um, action surge, does that give you two extra, your, it, your normal yes. two attacks? Yes, yeah, you just oh. get an action, so you can do, like, full ass action. action. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In that case, yes, you tell me how you kill this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's roughly as some sort of course. I'm just stabbing at the ribs. So I just keep stabbing on the side of the ribs until like I get I, I cut most of it has the lower half is just cut off. Yeah. It's, the lower half is drop. I'm still going upper half of my shield to push them off, uh, off my shield. Off the, off the, nice. Off the lake. Uh, he falls off, and actually, it's kind of interesting you do that. So he falls off, crashes into. So you you see very clearly. There, the this little river has a, a thin layer of ice, crashes right through it. So it's very clear Ooh. that that ice is fairly thin. Thin ice. Good to All know. Right. Uh, can you yep. open this chest as a bonus action? Was it an action to get the chest? Yeah. So it, here's the thing. So it's you could open with a bonus action, but you can't take what's in it. So it's it's one of those. Yeah, I, it would I, be. I want to see what's in it. Yeah. All right, so, so yeah, you can open open. it. You just can't take something yet, so. Right, yeah, I, I keep the chest open. What's in there? All right, you see a potion. Hmm. All right, that's my turn. I'm All right, it. let me... One. I'm going to do something really quick here. Gee, uh... All right, and Alyssa is up. Alright, well, I will put my crossbow away and do a two-handed hit with my quarterstaff. Wow. Does it Ooh. work? Hmm? Like an 18. Yeah, give me, I'm finishing up something from the other map, but I think, uh, you're hitting the, is that the fire creature? Okay, yes. An 18 will hit. Five bludgeoning. Yep, five bludgeoning, because that was not with advantage. Mm -hmm. um, Alright. Yeah, this thing actually, you know, you, you shot fire at it, and it seemed to enjoy that. This thing actually kind of yeah, pisses it off a little bit. It speaks at you in primordial... Saying why? Why? Whether you understand that or not. And Loom Travis is up. Okay, I like to change my weapon to my glaive and run like right, like right here. Then that like, give me some, and use my superior heat. My superior healing potion, which is like 8d4. Superior uh, healing is, yes, 8d4 plus 
I'm back to I'm back to full health. Damn. <laughs> Wait, did you roll? Uh, roll four. Forty-four yeah. twice. So. Yeah, he did it right. Oh, I okay. Eight. Eight. I was looking for the eight. Yeah, so it's twenty-six total healing. Yep. Got it. Nice. Okay. You're up to. All right. And I still have my glaive. I put up. I'm in my weapon to my glaive. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And if that was it, it is Derek's turn. I am going to do the dodge action. <laughs> All right. Play, play safe. Play smart. Eric dodges. All right, this um, fire creature here. Oh, hey, I um, I think we forgot on Alyssa's turn. You, since you didn't take an action to try and you were on fire from that fire creature. Mm. And you attacked, so you need to do. You still need to do a. Uh, uh, you take one d10 fire damage. Yeah. So if you can roll a, a d10, <laughs> roll your see own what you fire. Take. Yeah. I don't mind rolling, but actually, yeah, I'll roll really quick. Roll. There, that's quicker. Oh, okay. Oh, Ooh. ouch. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. So until you take a full action, you're gonna be on, you're on fire. Okay. So anyway, this creature will do a. Slam attack, or two slam attacks. All right, I believe the second or the first one will not the or the first one will not hit. The second one will. Um, so yeah, so you take the ten fire damage. Actually, so yeah, you ten fire damage from your being on fire, and then an additional ten bludgeoning damage. I'm sorry, my Discord glitch again um so that's okay that's that's just the damage that's all i have to worry about well you you have yeah so there's you, you're taking two bits of damage you're taking 10 fire damage for because when it was on your turn a few rounds ago you you did not take the fire oh, off yourself no. um so you're just you're on, on fire, fire and you, you hit <laughs> it so you take 10 fire damage from that and then you now take 10 bludgeoning damage because this thing just came up and slammed at you it did like three okay. damage to you like all yeah it's a lot okay all right i guess i'm taking a potion next turn then <laughs> let me log that all right and squawk uh squawk is a little bit peeved at this thing for bite clawing at him and uh, he's going to turn into a brown bear. Oh. Okay. Hey, Druid, what's up? <laughs> Ew. Uh, I'm going to turn into a brown bear, and I'm going to use my uh, two attacks. My first one is going to be... Uh, going to bite him first, and then I'm going to use my claws second. Mm -hmm. Then I get a what to hit? I get a plus five to hit. All right. Just so flash. I'm going to just... If you want, we can move Squawk just a few squares away, just to, and then we'll like move the bear right there. Do you want to just sure. do it like that? Okay. Yeah. So there you go. Okay. Uh. And splash roll one d. This is going to be for my claws, I believe. No, my bite. Okay. Well, that misses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might not hit. Uh, this is gonna be for my bite. 
Well, oh. I'm a bear. Sad bear. <laughs> I'm a bear. This thing has seen bears before and it's not impressed. It's flying around and... Frankly, Squawk isn't impressed either, but he can't communicate. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Squawk's turn. All right. Oh, this, let's... Finally, we can delete one thing from the initiative tracker. Yeah. All right. The cute little goblin. It is your turn. Adorable. Um, all right, I see Lutric approaching, uh, and I don't like that. So uh, what I'm going to do is my action uh, is I'm going to cast Produce Flame and hurl it at him. Uh, okay. If, if Lutric cannot see me, uh, I assume that I would be stealthed from him, uh, and so it's kind of like being invisible, so I think I would have advantage on this attack unless okay. uh, you think otherwise. Yes, he would not, I'm probably for a variety of reasons, but I mean, he specifically was like, I am getting to this door up here, so he's, okay. that's what he's looking at anyway. I'll use that distraction to roll this with advantage. Uh, ooh, does a 15 hit? That does not hit. Ah, beans. Uh, uh, he's, I mean, he's, uh, he, he's very hot and burning from some well, heated metal, but he's still up. Speaking of that, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> since uh, part of heat metal is that uh, until the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on your subsequent turns to cause this damage again. Uh, so I would like to use my bonus action now to deal 2d8 damage to him. All right. So nine points of fire damage from continuing to heat the metal. Still has disadvantage on attacks and ability checks. Um, and then uh, kind of up to you if you would allow this or not. Um, I have uh, Fury of the Small. Mm -hmm. uh, so that when I damage a creature with an attack or spell, uh, it's kind of up to you if the, if the bonus action of Heat Metal counts for damaging a creature with a spell. It's fine if it doesn't, but... Yeah. If I can, I would like to deal five more damage to him. <laughs> okay, let me read through this really quick. When you're sure. Sure. Yeah, so I, I believe you can. Um, cool. You know, it could be, it's kind of a, what it's a racial feature. Yeah, yeah and you, it's like a one and done. You can't use yeah, it again. Yeah, I cannot do this again. Um, <laughs> yeah, so yes, you can use it. Sweet. I will use Fury of the Small. And that's five, so. Yeah, 14 total. Uh, and then uh, what I would like to do is use my movement. It's going for the door. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to move to here. Okay. Uh, and I'll be done. I'm Now I'm not hiding. I was not able to use my bonus action to hide, so I'm uh, visible but still in the insects. Okay. And I'm done. All right. So for for kind of mechanic purposes, since mm -hmm. you're not hiding, then should so attacks against you would now just be with disadvantage, but mm -hmm. they don't have to meet. Yes. You know, there's no stealth anything. check. So yeah. okay, mm -hmm. got it. It's a very right. defense, defense system. Yeah. <laughs> My bugs. Yeah, I think the first time I saw that staff when I looked at it, I'm like, oh, that's kind of a neat little bone, you know, neat little feature. Yeah. Like, ah, it's just a bunch of bugs, but yeah, I didn't. But when it's a goblin. Really to it. And he yeah. can do it like 10 times, right? Yeah. It lasts for 10 minutes. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, if we play for 10 minutes, D&D &D time, shoot me. It's 100 rounds. <laughs> We've got 100 rounds. Yeah. It's a lot. All right. Um,. Over to the other map, the creeping weird ooze thing. Nothing. No one wants to hang out with it. It's utterly disgusting. So it's taken its dodge action. Um, Luntric. All right. It is. Does if Luntric moves through your bugs, it it doesn't uh, take any. Does nope. he have to do any type of roll or damage? It's no. They don't do anything. Thing. They're harmless. Uh, they just give. It's heavily obscured. So theoretically, okay. someone else could try to hide in my bug swarm. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> they this couldn't hide from you. Yeah, I would be able to see them. Yeah. yeah. All right. His action will be to drink another potion. <laughs> Chug him. Throw him back. Yeah. 
another potion of greater healing. <coughs> Last. Okay. So he regains a decent amount of hit points, and he, as soon as he sees that door, he will hightail it out. Uh, I'm gonna skip you real quick. <laughs> okay. Actually, funny timing. I, because we're at the top of the order, I was planning a like a five minute break for that sure. very same purpose for us mm -hmm. all. So. All right, we'll be back in a few. Take Good five. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I'm back. Two. How yeah, many people here. left while I was yeah. gone? A few people went to the bathroom. Yep, you're not the only one who went to the bathroom. Yeah, we're in an intermission right now. I see. Two hour game. Appreciate that. Go more than two hours. Just one monster has fallen. One monster. That's a bad sign. It's a really bad sign. Alright, I am back. People awesome. keep running away from me. Very ridiculous. <laughs> Is astral back specifically? Uh, yeah, I just got okay. Back. All right. Well, I think yeah, I'm not sure if everyone's back. So since um, one of my baddies is up, and just because you're up next, um, mm -hmm. so I'll, I yeah. think we can get going again then. Go for it. Yeah. All right. So this again. 
thing cannot do much. All right, so Astral, you are up. Um, yeah, the the creature that I just did it took dodge as an action. Okay. Um, and that's the uh, in your map Astral. Yep. That creature. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move forward with a little bit of my movement, about half of it. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I'm going to look over, uh, and then I'm going to do what all good warlocks should do, <laughs> and cast Eldritch Blast towards yes. the insect cloud with disadvantage. Oh, all right. So first bolt misses, <laughs> second bolt <laughs> also misses. That's fine. That's yeah. what we expected <laughs> to happen. And then I will just, uh, yeah, with the rest of my movement, I can go back to the same place. That's me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> hey, um, one thing, so this is for, for everyone in the group, um, and I, I don't remember if I specified this or not, but, so, while there are NPCs here, the NPCs are kind of, I, I thought they were obviously Ariox minions, they're not also trying to vie for, you know, the, you know, the, the arena, you know, trying to yeah. be the winner, so, if there are any npcs left at the end and you know there's one player left that player still wins so that gotcha. i guess what i'm trying to say is the the kind of the point of the of the npcs obviously to make it tougher and you know they can attack you but they're really they're guarding some obvious treasure boxes and the treasure sure. boxes could definitely help help those who choose to try and get them um but again so that they're just part of the dynamic you don't, but you don't it's gotta all kill them to win guys. you don't yes gotta exactly kill them to win, so. all right yeah. cool good to know All right. Is it my turn? It is Ibrius's turn. All right. I'm going to have a bit of fun here. And um, Ibrius, being drunk as he is, is going to... <laughs> is going to continue with his uh, goal here. So I am going to... So you were you guys were talking earlier. How... Can I jump this chasm? So to jump the, Can I, I jump believe it's going to be difficult because I, I believe you need a ten foot running. Dart right, so if to I, jump. If I walk up, if I walk up to here, and then I jump, can I clear it? Because from what I understand, well, running jump is my strength score. Yes. And a, your. What well, is it? If you can jump, is it 15 feet? My, uh, my, my, so for a long jump, from what I read, it's a 10 feet running start, and then it's your mm -hmm. strength score. I just sucked it, and that's correct. Your, your full, or so whatever, your, your full, not your, your modifier, your full strength, modifier, score. My strength score. Okay, then, oh yeah, then... Yes, then you can clear that. It's going to be very, that's very close, but yes, you can clear that. So a check is involved? No. I don't believe a check is involved. All right, awesome. So I'm going to jump this chasm, land like right here, and then use the rest of my movement to walk up here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it was a long, a lot of stuff. Pull out, pull out my great axe. Right. Um, so I don't have a bonus action or a reaction and say, uh, do not run! Fight in the name of your god! And I'm going to act twice. Oh, thank god! Oh. <laughs> and miss twice, unfortunately. Actually, could oh. I make, oh. I make oh. these reckless? Mm. Well, you would normally need to make you... Very true. Sure. Yeah. I you would that need was to make that thing. beforehand, so yeah. It, <laughs> otherwise, you would be, but yeah, you right. can't do that afterwards. Oh wait, can I repost? Oh, uh, I yeah, so. I believe so. I mean, if you, have, if you have a reaction, yeah. I do. Oh, oh yeah, wait, yeah. Nice. Whack him back. Yeah. yeah. I have my superiority dice. This. Oh. Point three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. And, and a and a second attack with that. Uh, 
I believe it's one just attack. one attack. I think it's just one attack. Make yeah. it a melee attack, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, so you take, uh, take some damage there. Okay, so every is my turn. Okay, mark down Ebrius here. Hey, can you guys still hear music, or is music? Yeah, I can, I can still hear music. I don't know Interesting. Yeah, it stopped for me. So. Me too. Other thing, if I if I refresh my screen, I don't think it screws things up for you guys playing. It just might. No, we'll still be here. Okay, I'll maybe do that in a minute then. Um... All right, back up into the cold map. This little wind-type creature that's now fighting a bear is not happy that it's fighting a bear. Mm. Will claw at the at said bear. Probably gonna hit the bear. <laughs> I am shocked it did not hit the bear. <laughs> yeah, oh, two of them are tens, and I think she's a little perturbed that yeah, there's there was a uh, like a crow-like creature standing here. Now there's a big freaking bear. So did not hit. Oh, um, everything went to black for me again. Refresh. Yeah, if I try refreshing your screen. Yeah. That's a problem. This again. Okay, I'll use that as a moment to refresh my screen. Still all black. Hmm. hmm. Copy, like... re repaste the token. Yeah, I'll. I'll have to do that. Which, fortunately, my screen is still loading. Yeah. Mapping dungeons. All right, and which token was that again? I'm sorry, that cannot see. Is that loom? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna delete your token and put it back. So. Back. Back. All right. You're good. All right. The moving over to the swampy area. Mm -hmm. Character on the bridge. Kind of can see. Yeah, can kind of sort of see you now, a little bit. It will with disadvantage. Curl some thorns at you, and ugh. Yeah, your bugs are helping you out quite a bit there. Uh, 22, though. Oh, no, it's but with disadvantage it, 10. Yeah. It's with disadvantage, so. Yeah. yeah, if it was with advantage, that'd be a little different. Huh. So. Oof! That's a bullet. Yeah. <laughs> Came close. It actually, it kind of, yeah, it saw saw you kind of kind of trying to burrow and move around, and but yeah, it missed. I'm and we are on to Callus. Callus. Uh... Seeing that there's a potion there, we we'll use his action to take it and drink it if he's able to. All right. So, so first of all, so let me, you're you're able to do that, but the mechanic I have worked out, 
So let's see, that is... I'm gonna make something visible um, in your... Uh, journal? Yeah, in your journal. So that's treasure. Let me make sure I'm looking at the right one. Potion. Kind of potion Alright, and that is callus. Doing that as well, I guess I'll use my rest of the stuff I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna move across. Roughly, I gotta move 10 feet in a straight line, then I'm gonna jump across. I have jump still up. It's 48 feet. Okay. So 48 feet, where do I land? Well, I left right there. Okay. And do you see that in your. It, that should be in your journal? Dude, I knew it was gonna be that. I knew as I'm running, I just as I land, I just breathe blue fire, and you guys see me just breathe blue fire. Uh, 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 bet the bear does. Yeah, all right. I'll, huh. Breathing blue fire. <laughs> yep. Well, huh. But yeah, that was. I think I have 20 foot movement left. Uh, actually, move, I should move right there. Just move right here, and that's my turn. Uh, I use that actually to grab the potion bucket. So yeah, it's my turn. All right. Now, I'll add that to. All right. And so the way that we're gonna work, match kind of magic items. Whoever finds a potion, or whoever finds something in a treasure chest, I'm just identifying what it is to that one person. Once they use it the first time, like if it's something they use as an attack or something, then it's going to be like, then we kind of let everyone know what it is, um, just to kind of be mm. sort of fair. But the, for the first time around, that's like, no one has any idea except the person that finds it. Mm. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I just realized that I have to take the fire damage at the beginning of the turn, which means I very well might die before I get a chance to drink that potion, but whatever, roll the, what is it, 1d10? 1d10. <laughs> oh, here's hoping. Roll low, roll low. Wait, do I roll it? No, I'm, I'll roll it. I'm... Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Bye everyone, I had a nice time. <laughs> oh, you're oh, dead? Uh, oh. Well, the unconscious. Yeah. yeah, so... Yeah, I yeah, took it, 20 damage from the, from the fire damage yeah, from the, the, the attack, yeah. and then I was... And Little. I already took 10 damage at some point earlier. The point is, I was almost dead before this turn <laughs> oh, started. Oh, no. I was going to drink a potion. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah, so again, in, in, in normal D&D, &D, you would be unconscious, and you would do your death-saving throws, but... For purposes of our game, so we don't play till four in the morning, and because even if you, you know if you were to revive yourself, you'd be at zero hit points. You'd have no. Get a net twenty. <laughs> yeah, but so yeah, the rules are yeah, you hit zero and you're you're done. Oh. Mm -hmm. Bummer. Yeah. 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 So, having said that. Should you wish to stay, like you personally would like to stay, <laughs> you're not you're not excommunicated from the group. Yeah. <laughs> um, Your time is over. You must leave. <laughs> Aww. Does Alyssa see GG. something on the map? F and chat. Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. You have free reign. Should you want to just observe what's going on um, but you know mm -hmm. if you need want to leave and just call it a night you're done so <laughs> but yeah you're welcome to stay oh by the way with my dying breath i say i have so much more to learn <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> now we all feel bad and now go that rock hunt haunt us all now They're all right everybody out. pile on that flame douche like <laughs> he's a jerk like you suck Sheesh. Alright, okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so are you gonna stick around a bit and hang out or are you logging off? Yeah, I think I will if I feel like it. I think I'm just gonna I heard something downstairs, so I'm just gonna go check. Sure. Okay. 
Yeah, but you have free move, like that little uh, spirit token I put next to your <laughs> your other token. You have free move, like you can just move around and view whatever you want and just so <laughs> have fun with that. Yara spirit. So some of you might see Alyssa's spirit moving around. Ooh, okay. It's my turn now? It's, yeah, Derek, or it's Derek's turn right now. Oh, I thought it was my turn. Uh, oh, wait, oh, hold on, did I skip someone? Let's see, yeah. where... this is me. Alice? Boom. Oh, yeah. I believe so. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry if I skipped someone. It was me, Loom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't oh. see Loom on the initiative tracker. I don't know what happened. Where are... Oh, did you have... You had to uh, oh, copy and that's... paste to redo it, so that was what happened. So it did the vision restored. How do I do that in here, then? So to get... Uh, Right-click the token, go up to add turn, and then... Oh, uh, I... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and he like was... That. After Callus? 14. Yep. I wrote 14. So it was a 15. Okay. Yeah, so Loom will go now. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to attack, but one of my attacks will be a trip attack on him. I must make a fourteen a fourteen card, uh, strength check, a cost thirteen saving throw, strength saving throw. Looks like I, when you hit with an attack, you can do that. Yeah, when you hit a creature with a weapon attack. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. I have another yeah. attack. We're going to try. There we go. Okay. A3. And also, with poor Mastery, I could make another attack. Oh, yeah, the bonus action attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And make another attack. The 14 hit. I believe a 14 does not hit Ebrius. Oh. Is that right, Ebrius? He was having some internet difficulties, but okay. it looks like they're back in uh, Discord. But oh, okay, yeah, I just have saw all the that. Numbers. Yeah, but I can, yeah, have his stats. A 14 does not hit but... Ebrius. Well. So Ebrius takes. That was what eight. So the ten missed. The. So that of that the twenty three hit. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. You must so make what? a fourteen saving throw. Okay. So is can he hear it all or internet went down. I could do a a saving throw using his character sheet. Ebrius, if you can hear anything, can you type in the in the chat? Oh, uh, I'm here. I'm here. Ah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. What's going on? Am I getting attacked? You yeah. got attacked. Kinda, yeah. So. Oh, that does not hit. <laughs> well, the twenty-three. If uh, Loom, if you want to explain what you did, because I think there were I there were a few a, things going on. I did a trip attack. Okay, hold on. A trip attack. Um. So do I have to make a? Saving throw, and the saving throw is fourteen. All right. What type of saving throw? Strength. Strength. All right, it is raging. and I have advantage because yeah. I am raging. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hard to trip Wait, so, in. That's so how many how many attacks is this? Was three attacks? Yeah. Uh, Attack. Yeah. All right. Um, the first one, the f were they advantage or not? Nah. No. So I think right, so the, first, the first one does not hit. The second one does hit. The last one does not hit either. Yeah. Uh, so this would be. 18. God. Stop it. Yeah, but raging. So. Although you're pretty drunk, so you take 18, but you probably don't feel it. 
Well, oh, also yeah, that's right. raging, I, that's you right. only take nine. <laughs> Uh, That's right, I only took nine, so hold on. The slashing damage. Yeah. Yep, you're raging. I have to make a quick calculation because I forgot I'm taking half damage. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> important for barbarians. Yeah. <laughs> Two equals. So I only took 17 damage. So it's going to be. I'm actually at. Okay. Good to know. All right. Okay. <laughs> Already. Can I move as still? Can I move still? I think so, yeah. Can yeah, I if you... I don't think... Did, did you take any movement? I don't believe you did. Oh, no. Oh, then you can move wherever your heart desires. Okay. I like to... Huh? Move away from him? I do not have a reaction, so I can't attack of opportunity. Mm. That's good for Loom to know. All right. Hey guys, if I move the turn order, like the initiative tracker on my screen, does it move it on yours too? Or just, no. That, no, we have our own okay. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, we can move it wherever we want. Yeah. Alright, cool. Okay. Hey. Alright, cool. But as I'm going to do um, action search, give myself mm -hmm. another turn and mm -hmm. through. How many times can you use action search? Is that a once? Only once. Someone used it before, but I don't know if it was Derek or not. Yeah, who did you use it, or was that someone else? Uh, okay. No, Callus. Callus used it before. So. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I Thank like you. to move again and ash. Well, that that's like sixty. Um. I made it all the way. No. I'm just a bit lagging. Uh, okay. All the way through here. Were you, was that dashing basically for a second? Yeah, he dashed. What you do was okay. dash. All right. All right. As you dash, you actually feel it. It's getting a little. You're you you are in a pretty hot area, and you feel it getting a little frosty the closer you get to this door. Okay. All right. So, oh, I, I skipped ahead again. So that was after Loom is Derek. Um. Okay. Did um. Uh, sorry. I... Did uh. Derek um action surge and just uh, move and dash because then you would still have an action surge after that. Uh, I can't see where Derek no, moves, so I don't know. So. Uh, okay. Someone else. Turn order was just on the wrong thing. Okay. Oh, then I messed up. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. No, and, yeah, and again, any of the... I, I appreciate the folks keeping an eye out on things and because yeah. I'm... Just want to I mean, sure. I'm having fun, but I'm... Yeah, it's it's hard to track everything completely myself. Oh so yeah, I for sure. Pre appreciate the folks keeping an eye out. <laughs> no problem. And I mean, you guys are being awesome, and you know, definitely being honest. And I can, you guys are a good group. So, but, you know, I appreciate all this. No problem. All right. Okay. I'm gonna dodge and not move. <laughs> oh, okay. Solid. Solid as iron. <laughs> There's a there's a winter wonderland in front of you. Should you wish to explore it a bit, but nah. you're you're welcome to keep dodging. <laughs> no, I'm good out here. <laughs> it's more like a frozen layer of hell. 
That's another way of looking at it. All right. So after the heroic dodge that no one can penetrate, <laughs> full of heroics, uh, back down to the other map, the fire creature laughs and in utter joy that its first victim has fallen. What a jerk. And takes the dodge action. Because <laughs> it can't uh, do anything else. Just taunting. Yeah. Like, you suck, but don't hit me. And Squawk. Uh, Squawk the bear is going to uh, first attempt to bite this flying bird thing. Well, well, uh, oh. now I'm going to try and claw uh. it. Did you turn into, like, Winnie the Pooh? Or... <laughs> All the lava. <laughs> All right, this one, yeah, that will hit? definitely hit. Yes, okay, eight, uh... that will definitely hit. It's 2d6 plus 4. Okay, so he takes 10 uh, slashing damage as I cleave into him with my bear claw. Alright. Oh, ball the <laughs> It's still, it's sturdy, it's claw not bleeding, but that but takes that's all a... the bear can say. But that take, it takes a good amount of damage. Um, not bloody. Um, and it has a little special feature it will use uh, to get out of there. After a creature that hits this creature can see damage within a... Or hit, basically, it can move away from you. Okay. Without an opportunity attack, so it will do that. Although, it's going to... Say it's kind of kind of fly above the ice, uh, but get out of your range. Awesome. And was that his reaction? Yes, that's... Okay. Yeah, let me make sure... I'm almost positive that's a... Yeah, that's that's its reaction. Cool. Yep. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, oh no, yeah, again, thank you for checking. I... <laughs> Please continue to do uh... that as, as needed, so... I guess this feathery bear could take two steps onto the bridge. <laughs> okay. I can't really move the bear token, so... Oh, that's a good point. Let me give you... Um, oh, I'll move it in the meantime. Yeah, uh -huh. just here is fine. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, well, it's, yeah, it's not falling off. Um, <laughs> let's see, so represents... Uh... Hey, uh, don't mean to interrupt. Quick question. Uh, this is being streamed, right? Oh, yeah. I have, like, two or three friends who wanted to watch it in our game, so... Could you drop, could you drop the link in the Discord chat? Oh, sure. Because I might have a friend that might want to watch. Absolutely. Okay, sure. Uh, one sec. <coughs> All right, and when ready, Burgerberg is up. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so, uh, Burger Berg is going to move, uh, 10, 20, 30 to there. Um, hmm, interesting. Can I, um, all right, so first I'd like to do my heat metal bonus action again. Against Lutric. All right. Uh, Poor so... Lutric. He's running away. Just... <laughs> yep. By this action, another six points of fire damage. Burn! Burn! Uh... Damn you! Then... Right. Shoot. Um... Well, I want to do something, but I don't know if I can now so um no what i'm gonna do is dash uh as my action and move another move five feet to there 
see that there's some nonsense going on in here, <laughs> and then go ten, uh, fifteen, twenty. Uh, is this a cliff here or no? That's just part of the path. That's well, yes and no. It's a that would be a I consider a a rough terrain little hop up kind of thing. It's okay. not even a climb. So I think I'd be there with like twenty five okay. thirty to get to there. Um, okay. So that was bonus movement and action, and I'm done. All right. Will this thing come out finally? What will it do? Oh no, it can't. Uh... All right, the uh, ooze-like creature will continue its oozing around, and will take the dodge action. All right, loon trick. Okay, so you are not hiding, right? I'm not. But you're hiding. in the middle of your swarm. Yes. All right. So, let's see here. So with disadvantage, let's see what Lutric has available here. Cast Spirit Guardians. Ah, beans. <sighs> That's not good. If I can get to it, let's see here. Something's going on. I'm hitting it, but it's... Uh... Ugh. 15 foot aura around you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working when I'm hitting it, but... Like it's gonna something be like, like a this. bunch of bugs and spears just fighting each other. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Is there an easy way to copy paste that into the chat? Because I'm trying to. Uh... This is the first time I've this has happened where they're okay. Yeah, it's just not populating. All right, they are definitely fiendish looking. Mm -hmm. You bad. Yeah. It's a necrotic damage. Oh, great. Yes. Uh, at third level. Yes. Uh, I at guess third we don't have level. level. Yeah, we don't have fourth level spells. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So for his aura, oh, I should. You know what? I'm an I'm an idiot. I wasn't hitting the. Uh... <laughs> oh, the, the <laughs> submit name. button. Jeez. Uh, so when it enters the area for the first time or starts its turn there, it makes a wisdom save. Yeah. So start of my turn, I'll okay. take that. Yeah. And if you want to okay. put up an R on Lutric of 15 feet, so we see where yeah. the thing is. All right, so square, 15 feet. There. Can you guys see? Can you see that? Uh, you may have to double click on the token and make the aura visible to all players. Oh yeah, advanced. Yeah. Or, uh, and I guess seed. I should do. We're doing square auras, so I should really do that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna. I need to hit submit, but it's, this doesn't count. I'm just sure. trying to clear my screen from these. <laughs> Apparently, I ignore, ignore, ignore. Yeah, ignore. And that's it's a lot of guardians. I'm hitting cancel. Like I well, hit I cancel, I... and it's there. Okay. Yeah. Every time I hit cancel, it wouldn't go away. Huh. But... I guess I die. I did take ten spirit yeah. guardian auras. <laughs> you take. 585 damage. Well. <laughs> All right. So he still doesn't necessarily see you. Like I mean, with you know, he, he kind of he, he knows you're there somewhat, and that's you know why he cast it. Um, sure, so that's absolutely. his action, and he's just kind of hoping it works. Um. Um. So having said that, without action, because he doesn't see you. And uh, so he's. Let me see what his vision will be. 
All right, so he actually, he's kind of getting behind this tree. Okay. And he will end his movement there. Sure. All right. All right, this, uh, all right. This guy on the bridge can't do too much. He's dodging. Astral is up. Okay. Uh, with my bonus action, I'm going to dash. Uh, all the way up to this tree over here, uh, as that's just 60 feet. And then with my action, I will... Let's see, where is it? Uh, I will just take a healing potion. Okay. And that's me. Alright, that worked out. Hmm. Okay. Ibrius. Ibrius is going to uh, laugh. Say, yeah, always the runner, huh? I'm going to pull out a healing potion. I'm going to pour it into my flask, shake it up a bit, and I'm going to down all that. Cocktail. Um, <laughs> and what kind of healing potion that's going to be? I, I suppose I'll just have that be a superior healing. Okay. So, so superior healing... healing. That is, is 8d4 plus 8. 8d4 plus 8. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, those are the expensive, rare, but good ones. All right. All right. And it is and good it... to be back to full health. <laughs> oh, no. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to walk. Let me check real quick. Check. Yeah, it's about right here. Okay. I'm going to shout out to the uh, fire thing that I see. Come, foul beast of Hades, come! And that's going to be my turn. Hey, it might take you up on that. Oh, he just might. <laughs> All right. So back up to the cold map. thing will this action so it's gonna it's gonna take a what is it it's gonna hold its action if someone tries to break into this uh, chest on this round it will go in for its frost claw attacks and All right. All right, so down into the swampy map with disadvantage. The thorny creature will shoot some spikes. Oh boy, my screen just went away. Uh, will shoot at Astral. Mm hmm. I wish that was with advantage. Nope. Yeah, that, I'm guessing, does not hit. No, it does not. Nope. All right. Callus. Uh, Callus is about to head for the chest, but seeing that it's being very guarded, the creature, he's instead good. Check yeah, He's fairly injured, still smoking. He's going to drink a healing potion, because he needs one. Still, but he's still bleeding, so I'm going to drink a healing potion as action. All right. And just take one step forward. That's all he's gonna do. Okay. So one out of four pushes are gone. That's my turn. Easy enough. All right, Loom Travis. Okay. Um. Can I? Okay. I like to go here. Okay. That works. And I uh, hopefully can I like shove the slime off? Not using my. I just use a, just a shove. It's in place of an attack. Yeah, it yeah. it would be your action. Um, yeah, you can try. It's a it, yeah, you could uh, try to do. So that's what a uh, 
That's a strength check, and then I do... Uh, athletics contested yeah. by athletics or acrobatics. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah. Also, shove only takes up one of the attacks, so you yeah. could attack one shove. Or shove and attack, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go. I should know. I've been planning on doing this for a bit. Four. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I played a barbarian that just threw people off cliffs. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Oh, man, he's going to get the chest. This is bullshit. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, this one it was it was I was gonna say it's with disadvantage because it's a slime type creature, but mm. still twenty two. Still twenty two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's most. I, I'm just imagining it. I'm just like fucking it with my glaive, like a hockey puck. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and even in terms of the game, it's mostly connected to that skeleton that's there. So it's not like you just, it's not a completely free form ooze, you know, on its own. So, yeah, you, sh so you shove it where to? Um, oh, in the lava right here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's not, so. Yeah, you can shove it. Hey, how uh, deep is the lava? I mean, how it's far? not it, it's not lava, so it's it's <laughs> a fluid. Um, mm -hmm. That is, it's fifteen feet down. Okay, this. I like to use the rest of my movement to like the chest. So that's... And use my bullet action to. My bow is action to have the chest. Open the okay. chest. So you open it, and you see a potion in that chest. I know what it is. What is it? You don't. You just you're you were just able to open it, and that's it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Let me scoot this away. All right. Oh, the old, I thought there was lava inside, because, like, <laughs> this looks like lava. I mean, and it's so... Like, it's, it's fake lava. Well, I'll, I'll just say it's not good. So, remember, I, even in the rules, I said, liquids, you know, that, yeah. yeah, liquids are not good, but, um, you know, I didn't, I wasn't specifying exactly what kind of liquid it was, so... <laughs> It's like a lava lamp, lava. Yeah, it's not exactly. Yeah, I think because in in D and D rules, like lava might take different damage oh. than acid. Then uh, you know, so I was yeah. just trying to you know keep all the the liquid damage. Also, lava like per the rules would straight up kill us. It does like yeah. you know a hundred damage if you step in lava. Exactly. Yeah. yeah so this liquid kind of sucks, but it's not. It's yeah. not lava. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and that was that it for you, Loom? Uh, yeah. All right. So remind me at the beginning, uh, or when you um, take an act, assuming you take an action to take the potion, remind me to make it visible to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna actually move this time. <gasps> <laughs> Impossible! There's a whole world out there. Wow. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm gonna do the dodge action. <laughs> <laughs> this time I move okay. and dodge. No hey, it's a start. Yeah. All right. All right. This fire creature. was yeah. waiting for someone to get on the bridge. And it will take Ebrius up on its challenge. Although it's, uh, I'd like to try to push you off, but this thing is not very strong. <laughs> so it will do something else instead. Yeah, it's just going to do two slam attacks against you. 
Oh, just let no. me check. <laughs> okay. Uh, first one hits, second one misses. Yeah. All right, so that will be yeah nine bludgeoning. So reduced to four. Is that divide by two for your yeah four. All right. Uh, do I take any fire damage from that? No, it do right. not. Yeah, it did not fail. Did it, it recharge his attack? It did not. And that's it, and we're up with Squawk. Okay, uh, you said that all of the cliffs on the map are 15 feet, correct? For the most part, let me if if there's a certain point you're looking at, um, kind of yeah, right where you're at, right. Yep, that's yeah, that'd be 15 feet right there. Okay, bears have a climb speed, so I'm gonna descend 15 feet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna run across, so that's uh 15 feet of my 50 foot movement. Uh, I'm gonna run across the ice here, so five, ten. Oh, 15. you're gonna you're gonna stop actually at the first part. Um, that. There. Yeah, so, so as soon as you, cr basically as soon as you step into the ice, mm. you break through, um, and you know, and as I had said in the rules, you don't, you know, you don't go drowning, you're not having to yeah. swim, but you definitely fall, you, like, you hit into unbearably cold, frosty water, oh, and yeah. that is, um, so, so I think you're the first player to kind of fall, you know, fall into fluids and so that is where um ev basically every er, every block that you're into that fluid you take uh 1d4 damage in this case it'd be 1d4 cold damage okay hmm. and oh, yeah. if i wanted to get all the way across would that be 3d4 total or 44 it would be so let's say you're i wanted to get here See, so 5, 10, 15, 20. Let's see, 5, 10. I'm sorry, what? You trying <laughs> to get to me? <laughs> Here comes a bear. Yeah, I'm that would be to... 1, 2, I can do that. 3. I can move yes, that'd be 4d4 cold damage to get across. That'll be a maximum yeah. of 16. I'm going to go back to the whence I came. <laughs> Just yeah. climb on out. Yeah. Uh, and another thing too. First point of D four, right? Yeah, you would just take one D four, and okay. any and moving through the fluid is difficult terrain. Um, again, you don't have okay, to worry so about swimming, leave. but it's kind of like up to your chest, and you're kind of wading through it. So. Okay, so I get out, and I'm at thirty five feet of movement. So I have fifteen left. So I'm here. Mm -hmm. Uh, if I skirt along the edges here, would that also crack the ice or no? No, and that's a yeah, good point. So for where you're at, the the ice like this is kind of the defining boundary of that ice because if you're over, okay. you know, once you're over here, it's very it's ground, whereas over here it's it's water. So cool. that's kind of on that side. Forty-five, fifty. That's my turn. Uh, but well, that's my movement. Going to on wild shape. <laughs> and I'm going to. Where is my character sheet? There it is. I'm gonna pull out a scroll of erupting earth and cast it hey. out. <laughs> Dustin. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Hmm. All right. All right. This might kill me. It's me. Okay. Uh, oh, let me give you. How do I get this posted to chat? There we go. All right, and I'm deleting your bear, and so would Squawk appear just right where your bear is? Is that right? Okay, I'll just move them there. Yeah. Uh. I need to know where enemies now. I need to know where where enemies are. All right. Do it. Good right. save. Okay. So you passed the save, but let's see how much damage it is. So it'd be twelve points of bludgeoning damage. It makes. Permanent difficult terrain. All right. In a if I would have failed it, I would have died. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. My HP is exactly 25. All right. <laughs> and it's a 20 foot cube, so. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, if someone wants to draw that, and yeah, that's it. Right? Okay. 
Yeah, difficult turn. And that is Squawk's turn. As he turns from a feathery looking bear into a regular crow man and casts the spell. Uh, you see, Callus gave you the death look. Yep, alright. He waves. Uh, good thing. What's up? The bridge is gonna attack, right? Bridge didn't blow bridge up. <laughs> trying to see if this does anything with the bridge. Let's see, choose a point you can see on the ground within. Well, it destroys the ground around it. Or, or around yeah. below it, so the, the mm. ground below it is destroyed. Alright, alright. So it's water now, pure water. Wow. Ah. Yeah. Uh, that yeah, your call. <laughs> if that destroys the well, bridge I'm, or not. I'm almost thinking, yeah, it destroys the bridge because even the bridge, <laughs> like right here, the bridge is fastened to the ground. The ground is destroyed. So logically so <laughs> over here it's fine. Yeah, yeah so it's Probably a case set the chest into the water. Yeah. So the oh. what we'll do, the, the bridge kind of falls into the water. Mm. However, like the chest itself is still on the bridge. And again, the water's not super deep, so it's not, you know, you don't have to swim. And so having said that, the, the chest is now, it's still retrievable, but it is still, but it's now in ice that has been completely cracked and mm. it's damaged to get there. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Zemago. Yes. No, yeah. Better. All right, uh, so I believe I start in the Spirit Guardian's aura. So if you want to pop that in there and see how much damage yeah, you do to me. What was that damage again? It was uh, 3d8 me... necrotic, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go ahead and roll. Oof. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, my wisdom Oof. save. Does a 14 pass? I think it just meets it, yeah. So I believe I'll take nine necrotic damage instead. Yeah, my spell save DC is yeah, that just yeah, I'm a just fourteen. Nice. Woo! All right, yep. so nine points of damage to me. Um, so I am currently concentrating on the uh, heat metal, but I have the war caster feet. So I get advantage on my con save to maintain concentration upon that. Mm -hmm. So I will attempt my con save with advantage and critically yeah. concentrate. Good thing too. Yes. Yeah, you're. All right. You're not uh, faced. So I uh, curse at this Lutric. <laughs> How dare you! Uh, so I am oh. then going to uh, blank out for a second. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my bonus action once more. To cause the 2d8 fire damage upon him for 12 more points of fire damage. Uh, All right. If you would like to explain exactly how <laughs> that fire, the heated metal, kills him, you're you're welcome mm. to do so. Uh, well, let's go with a good old. Um, I don't know if anyone's familiar with a Game of Thrones series, but uh, being boiled alive inside of your own superheated armor. Uh, it just begins fusing to Lutric's flesh and just, uh, you know, extremely unpleasant and gory as he is cooked alive inside his own armor. And as he's being melted and boiled alive, he's, he screams in multiple languages. He's just trying to get any point across. Ariok, I have failed you! Sure have! <laughs> and uh, he, he did. died in the snow, and he's just be like he falls into the snow and because he was so hot he's just melts a hole yeah he's just steaming just pure steam just comes up all right uh so uh i assume the spirit guardians will go away along with him oh so, yeah let me uh just, yeah uh, yeah so aura get rid of yeah so i'd like to then move up to here uh, i don't know if this square is difficult terrain or not uh, hold on a second. Uh, his aura. Can any, can you see his aura, or is it gone? It gone. Okay, cool. Uh, is this square I'm that hanging is... difficult terrain? Yeah, this square right there is difficult terrain. Just okay, to, so it'll be 15 like, kind of feet. Up a little bit. Sure, okay. 15 feet for me to get to there. Uh, looking at... Okay, so... Interesting. That 
erupting earth kind of triggered my attention. I'm like, hmm. Uh, so then I would like to go 5, 10, 15 feet up to here. And... Oh no! Alright, alright. Let's see. I think the first one you guys see when you go in here. This monkey no longer there, right? Correct. Yeah, okay. he's dead. This yeah, one, though, dead. is still there. Um, okay, so that was my bonus action and my movement as my action. Uh, um, well. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I just realized, yeah, I accidentally deleted the map for a second, then it put the uh, the, ob the the bridges underneath it, so. Mm. If you click it, if you right-click the image and move to back, I think it will move yeah. it back to where you want it. So map. Da, da, da. There, there we go. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Let's see. Thank you. Here. Hmm. Just out of range. Interesting. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I've got a lot of options here. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's do this. Um, let's do this spell right on top of Squawk. Squawk. <laughs> Let's do a little spike growth. Uh, so a 20 foot radius centered on a point within range. So that will be a 20 foot radius and I'll do it from an intersection so it's a little bit easier to manage. Are, are you dropping concentration on your, your heat swarm? Metal? Uh, I'm dropping concentration on heat metal. The swarm around me is not oh, concentration. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. point. Yes. Yeah. About the that. item just says it, it happens and it lasts for ten minutes. So okay. uh, heat metal was concentration. So I've dropped that. But then I'm going to switch to spike growth. Do a twenty foot radius. Uh, so that will be uh, 20, 10, 15, 20, I believe right there. Uh, so um, it is all. Uh, spiky growth and twisted thorns all around there. It's difficult to rain. It's concentration of 10 minutes. When you move into or within the area, you take 2d4 piercing damage for every 5 feet you travel. Uh, and so that's my bonus movement in action, so I am done. That might complicate things for Squawk a bit. Squawk! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Alright. Squawk has many plans. He's so, a bird. Might just fly away. <laughs> All right. So moving on to the the ooze. And you kind of put it in a little bit of a rough spot. Um, it's going to. Two, four, six. Yeah. So five. Alright, so it's one, two, four. It got back on the bridge? No, it yes, yeah, so I was gonna explain. It again it's just not in a good great spot. So it's in the, the water, whatever it is. It basically moves five feet over, um, because it's difficult terrain, it doesn't have a good movement, so it's let's see, it's probably right there. Um it's trying to basically climb out of that liquid. Does it take damage in the liquid? It does, yeah. I just, I did a roll for myself, and it you know, should be in the chat, so it takes, uh... Three whole damage. Yeah. Is it moved one block. Well, actually, no, hold on, it'll take one more, because it, it landed in a block, and it moved into a new block, so... And a D4. Yeah. Okay, so, not too much. But it takes a bit more, so, okay. And that was its movement, but it will quote unquote dash. <laughs> it has very low movement anyway, <laughs> so it will let's see. It will basically move to the 
it's tr it's starting its climb up the cliff, the 15 feet. Hmm. And so it takes one more. All right. So an ooze just dashed, and it is done. Hmm. All right. So back in the swampy bog, the creature on the right bridge yawns because no one is trying to take its treasure. <laughs> Can't really do anything from this far of a distance of any uh, any practicality, so we'll <clears throat> dodge, just why not? And we're on to Astral. Okay. Uh, I will use my bonus action to dash uh, 55 feet to let's see that's left. to oh. right here see what I can see oh actually no sorry right here this is what I meant to yeah. okay and, hey Astro before you, yeah. you're welcome to move there but before you move I just wanted to make sure um, visually can you see that this door is open here oh uh yeah I just haven't noticed that door before <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's before you. I mean, uh, before you make that movement, I just wanted you to be aware. Like, if you, like, for example, mm -hmm. if you were originally going towards that door, you're you're welcome to go through it. I just didn't want you to be okay. at a disadvantage, not act, not, having your character not see it. Okay. Um, because um, I think think you should have been able to see it. So I think I would still go this way because I'm very angry at a certain yeah. goblin. <laughs> okay, and again, that's fine. So. <laughs> Bring it. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go behind that tree, and then as my action, uh, I will... I think I'm just going to cast False Life again to try and get a better thing from it, since I can do it infinitely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, alright, I can't actually do it there. So. For some reason. 1d4 plus 4. Mm, plus 4, I think. Yay! I have one more temporary hit point now. Woo! Okay, that's me. Alright. That is you, and what does Ebrius do over in the warmer, warmer I'm around to, area? I'm going to laugh and say, yes, yes! And I'm going to attack him with my great ass, Reckless. There we go. Yes. Um, did that hit? Well, let's see. Yes, that that does hit. Just hits. All right, cool. What is this thing? Does it have anything? Oh, that's a yeah. That's a full, uh, full hit. And then I would like to attempt to shove him off the bridge. <laughs> so that would be uh, a in a in a, uh, a contested athletics, I believe. Okay, Which let I me take his out. damage first. So that was what oh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. 17. Slashing. And try to shove him off so he that's a strength. I will roll his. Wait, isn't it that is it athletics? Yeah, it is. Or... Uh all right. So yeah, well he yeah, again, because he's an NPC, I don't Right, 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 right. So yeah. I'll just go ahead. Yeah. I am at advantage because I'm raging. Yep. Yeah. So that's twenty two. Push. I just knock him with my backhand <laughs> off the All right. into the liquid. Yeah. Is he do you want him here or here? Because it's Oh I want him. I want him here. Uh I want him right here. <laughs> Alright. Well because he yeah, he would have been here eh, so I don't I, wherever, yeah, that's, wherever, yeah, wherever that's, we're yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right yeah, right there. That'd be right. five feet off. So and okay. Then, and... I'm going to walk up. I'm going to wait. Hold on. Walk up here. And I'm going to try to jump between bridges. Now, if I've got my squares right, I should be able to without a running start. It's just half my uh, strength score, which is ten. Yeah, so half your so if you're here, so five. I'm trying. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to jump over here. 
Yeah. If I understand the blocks correctly, from what I understand, jumping over here, I should be landing on the bridge. Let me do a quick look here. So that's five, ten. Yes, because you don't have a running jump. It's half. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, again, right, it's so cutting it close, but you're you're right there. And then, like, <laughs> like I almost fall. <laughs> The whole bridge starts shaking, and then I'm going to walk over to the chest and use my bonus action to open her up. All right, so that chest is opened. In that chest, you see a bag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where's the wine? <laughs> and that's going to be my turn. All right. Can, just temporarily, can you move your token just so I can get to the... The chest, yeah. I mean, bag of wine. <laughs> bag of wine. <laughs> bag of wine. All right, dude. All right, now if you can move back one more. <laughs> All right. Let me do a All little right. dance here. Da -da -da -da. There you go. All right, opened chest. So. And, so I, I'd have to go down and grab the bag, yeah. Yeah. Or so I think at the, with 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 doing everything you did. The attack, the put. So, yeah, you can't grab the bag. Like, basically, the, the start of your next turn, you would be able to grab the bag. Gotcha. All right, that's my turn. Yep. All right. All right, I'm going to do a... Let's see. A one... And it's callus, a two, and it's squawk. It is squawk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this thing, so, okay. This thing is flying, so I don't believe spike growth would affect it because it's not on the ground. Correct. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, yeah, because it, it, it has a, a fly speed of, if it's quite a bit, so it would, I imagine, be able to kind of fly over and... Sure. Try to land on kind of top of Guac. Um, come in for two frosty claws. Ooh. Uh, the first one hits. All right. Yeah, second one definitely not. Okay. So that's twelve total. And that's it. And... All right, so back into the swampy area. The creature really can't do... <laughs> can't do much and can barely see... Can barely see Astral. So we'll take the dodge action. We're up to Callus. All right, Callus sees the goblin cast the spike growth, gives him a nod, then looks back at the cat tube, pulls out a spell scroll, looks Danny eye and decapitates himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love haste. So I'm gonna cast haste, so I have another action after because of that. With. No, actually, I'm gonna drink a potion. Another potion as I'm walking out of the, the difficult terrain. I'm just gonna walk back and sit behind the sit at this rock and watch the show. <laughs> all right. Drink the potion. That's all I'm gonna do. All right. Just having a drink. I, I'm pretty injured, so I need to heal up a bit before I can do fight. All right, and we are on to Loom. Okay. On the bridge. I like to grab the potion, which is what? Um, is that a bonus action or an action? That so that is a. To, to pick up, that's a bonus. Yeah, it's a bonus action. Okay. To pick that up and head towards the new area. All right. Let me. Um, well, yeah, you can move. I just want to make this visible to you. I, I look, I'll let you dash, like, 
Like the dash? Oh. Okay. We do here. All right, Xavier, you should see this in your in your handouts. Ooh, a special. Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah. All right. All right, and so you picked it up, you moved, and you dashed there, and that's the end of all you're doing. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And Derek. You said I can attack anyone I can see in the game. Well, I can see a squawk. Who are you carrying? Yeah. <laughs> Face me. What? Yeah. So that. So your view right now. Um, that is half cover. So yeah, you can attack. I am but technically squawk. fifteen feet below her. And yeah, that's uh. That's okay, a good so point. So yeah, you're in terms of the game. Yeah, using a little imagination, you. This is one of the cases you wouldn't see squawk. Okay, can we? Pretty sure Burger Bird is within my long range, so uh, I'll attack him with the crossbow. With disadvantage. Yeah. Using the poison bolt. Alright, alright. I see, I see. Seven does not hit me. Yeah, seven Sorry. will not hit. Ah! Noble try. Okay, then I'm gonna move just a... Okay. I got Derek to do something other than dodge. Man, that must be a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Back down to the fire. Here, oh boy, this is... See, so... <laughs> he's in bad shape. Yeah, he's in... Let's see, so... See what can this thing do? Where, where did Loom go? I don't see him, see him anywhere. Bells! <laughs> he vanished. He hasted and left. You bastard. <laughs> yeah. Get back here. Get back here. Right, so here's 20. <laughs> Alright, so this thing can actually move nimbly. So even with the disadvantage of climbing up. So it gets out of the liquid, gets to the, and climbs up, but it's going to take, that was what, 4d4, roll 4d4, 13, mm -hmm. okay. Right. Yeah, and so yes, it. So and this is kind of to my point. It wasn't lava, so it's not. You would think like, hey, this thing is taking. You know, fire helps it. It was in basically liquid. Um, you don't know what the liquid is, but it took. It still took damage coming right. through this thing, and it took a good amount. So it's still up, but it is bl well. <laughs> bloodied as far as a fire creature can be bloody. Alright, and we are on to Squawk. Okay, Squawk is in a little bit of a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's going to 
uh, pull out his druidic focus. It's a little piece of uh, white bark and rub it against his beak and cast uh, Cure Wounds as a third level. <laughs> so I get uh, two extra D8s. Mm -hmm. So oh. I heal myself for 12 oh. with two garbage rolls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. God. The player in me feels horrible for you right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'm bonus action. I'm gonna wild shape into a dire wolf. Mm. Okay. Uh, let me help you out there. Does that drop the cloud, or is that still up? The uh, this no, the, uh, song. The insect mm -hmm. cloud. Yep. yep. I am not using the insect cloud. Okay. All right, so there uh, is your awesome little wolf, or big control wolf. Control the wolf. Yeah. Oh, ah, yeah. I gotta whoops! Do that. I accidentally deleted Squawk. Oh, Squawk. okay. So let me. I will God. give you control of the wolf first. Cool. Uh, let's see. I accidentally drew a square. Tried to delete it and deleted it, the entirety of Squawk. Is so into character that Squawk's not even there anymore. <clears throat> I should have made this uh, so you could control it from the start. But okay, can you control it now? Uh, yes. All right. Cool. No, and I think you were. Yeah, you're probably over like one right to the left. There. Yeah. And I will uh, put Squawk back as well. So I'm going to get ready to take the 64 of piercing damage. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And I'm going to roll. Should I roll the damage for the D4s? Um, I, I can roll it. The, uh, I don't know if you counted for this or not, but it is difficult terrain in that area. Yeah. Um, oh, Okay. Yeah. So. so that yep. would have been thirty. I have a movement speed of sixty, so Okay. That would have been yeah. thirty. And then and You can still get out, just not as far. Yeah. So it's thirty-five, forty, or er, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Okay. So sixty-four? Uh yeah, sixty-four. Okay. Sixty-four D four. <laughs> cool. Well, piercing damage. Awesome. And that is Squawk's turn. All right. Okay. Burgerberg. Burgerberg is going to drop concentration on the spiky growth. Can I please delete this? It has served its purpose. Yes, it has. Uh, so I'll do that. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna move five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Can I move to there? Okay, okay. Everyone's far away in the woods. Um, hmm. Hasted dude over there. Someone try to shoot me over there. Let's see. Let's see. Everyone's so spread out. That druid's not good. Um. <laughs> I think I can see this one right here. Uh. So, hey, Callus. Uh. What kind of armor are you wearing? Uh, piece, there are metal pieces of metal, so it's a breastplate, so yeah. I have, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I am... No. Alright, I uh, see so you moving really quick, and then I... Oh, actually, no, it doesn't have the... No, you're out of range. Bummer. Can't do that. Um, dang. Ah, so many cool things I could do. <laughs> mm. 
Um, shoot, sorry, it's taking a while. I'm trying to think. Yeah, no, let's just do another uh, erupting Earth on Callus. <laughs> let's do just another. All right, damn it! All right. Uh, <laughs> right there. Uh, so, another erupting earth. Uh, so it's a DC 15 dexterity save. I was about to be able to haste, but that might go away after I take that, mate. Oh. Alright. Nope. <laughs> ooh, ooh, big oof. Full damage. You, you have to kill me. D12, 21 points of damage. Oh my gosh. 1 yeah. HP! Oh, oh my oh. god, really? Jeez. Wow. Oh, oh man. Alright, All right. I'm still in. I'm still in. Oh, wow. I'm still in. <laughs> wow. Alright. I'm not dead yet. Gotta roll concentration for haste. Though. Yep. Um, yeah, like yep. half the damage, right? For... Oh yeah, uh, so DC 10. Con save. Alright. Yeah, work has the advantage. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, well, hmm. Let's see. Then uh so that was my movement in action, so I'm going to use my uh nimble escape again as a bonus action to hide in my insect cloud. Uh so Jeff, here is my stealth check. Okay. Uh, Alright. Got it. <clears throat> all right and hey i can say this now it doesn't matter but um the the player who did not make it they actually had the same uh the same magic item as as burgerberg so there could have been oh. <laughs> oh my two God. insect swarms oh geez yeah and both in that coincidentally started had started in the same map so <laughs> that, that would have not gone well for me <laughs> And that is it for, well, that was enough, but that's it for Burgerberg? Yep, done for Burgerberg. All right. All right, this cute little skeleton slime is, okay, it's, yeah, let's see, that's 15 feet. It's at the base. 10, 20. It's basically using its movement and its dash. I don't think it, uh... Yeah, it's client. It's, this thing can't move towards shit. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> basically using its movement and its dash to get to the, essentially, the lip of... So it's now back on normal, regular, rocky terrain. Um, right. Not taking any more damage. Uh, and that is it. Uh... Like These poor again. jerks back in the swamp. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there. Heck, this one actually. I'll just say it. It, it sits down. It sits down. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Down. Guess no one's playing with me today. Yeah. I'm just very respectful of other people's things. Yeah. All right. And the respectful Astro. Yes. Okay. Uh, I will start just by moving my movement, or uh, at least almost all of it, up to this door, just seeing what I can see. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Then I will bonus action dash. And I'm going to do this one by one just because it reveals more as I go. Yep. So, okay, that looks like that's... Okay. And then I have one more, so I'm gonna go right there. Okay. Right. Then, as my action, I will uh, look towards Loom and uh, cast Eldritch Blast towards him. Um, I don't know that if being in my aura makes them concealed or not. I think I think it does. I think it's you know the insects everywhere. It makes all the aura um, heavily obscured. But yes, I was I was gonna say the same. So it would. He's it's 
doesn't have to do a stealth check to see if he can see him, but it would basically be a ranged attack would be with disadvantage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Okay. Okay. So first one probably doesn't hit. And then second one also doesn't hit. Oh, it doesn't hit. You kill some bugs, though, for what it's worth. Uh, My bugs! My bugs! <laughs> Again? Okay, as you like shoot your Eldritch Blast, I just look at you like, with, <laughs> just, like, death, like, give you like a both death stare. <laughs> death stare. Yeah, no. Okay, uh, that's well, me. That's a very arc. I just want to kill you now. <laughs> Alright. Sir Ibrius. Um, Ibrius is gonna look around and realize that all of his opponents are either dead or gone. And he's going to, uh, grab the, um, He's gonna grab the the bag out of the box. All right. I'm gonna make this visible to you. All right. And that's for Ebrius, right? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Can you you can see that? Ooh. What is this? Hold on. Yeah, I All can right. see it. Okay. All right. So I'd say read at your leisure. Um, well, that's right, so you I'll pick read it. extra value. Yeah, yeah, I'll turn. read it later. Yeah. I'll read it later. Um, I yep. pull it out of the box and then I kick the box into the liquid. <laughs> <laughs> what a boring fellow! And I'm going to uh, <laughs> use my movement and my um, action to get over here about yeah, about right. Sure, let's go with right there. Okay. And then I want to attempt to jump over here. Okay, yeah, this one will be because this thing is fairly sizable. Yeah, you're you're gonna be able to make that jump pretty easily, even just kind of standing right there. So I jump over here, and then I move. Use um, hold on. So that'd be sixty-five. So I would use seventy-five, almost the rest of my movement to get over here and open up the uh, this this other chest. Oh, that, you know, let me say this. I apologize for that. That. And you can redo your movement if you were moving specifically for it. That was not an extra chest. That was um, that was supposed to be this chest, and I oh, must and not have made it invisible. I was like, yeah. where was yeah. there a chest there? I don't remember there being a chest. <laughs> Fools. Oh, fully chest. apologize. If your movement was based on getting to that, which it might have been, I'd say. I'll go ahead and come back. Yeah. Maybe not. I because there's not a whole lot I can do anyways. Um, I mean, hold on. Yeah. I guess then I'll just I'll come over here with 20 move 10 back then move 10 forward so I can get a running jump to try and jump uh, jump over here if you can okay. see that yep yeah so you move basically here to get yeah so you get your movement so, yeah, so and I'll you're jump over yeah. Here. yeah you'll again just be able to make that. So how much would that be? That'd be 20, 20, so that's 40, so then I still have um, 20, so I still have 20 movement. All right, so then I'm going to come over uh, come over here. Okay. I guess. And I try to make my way towards the uh, towards the towards this other door, and I'm shouting, where is everyone? <laughs> <laughs> that's my turn. All right. All right, let's see this little creature up in the snowy area. What does it see? Oh, um, actually, yeah, and I should mention, I believe that I am no longer raging. Um, I think it's been long enough. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Um, has you, you haven't got hit, right? That's that thing, right? Mm -hmm. You're attacked. Yes, I'm keeping track of the time. I only have, like, three rounds left in my jump. That's for me. So this thing, it's gonna try to let's see one, two. Okay. 
Okay, it... Alright, so this little kind of frosty wind creature had seen some movement in this area and kind of saw a wolf run here. So it was moved into the woods to get a better view of what... And it popped out closer to Derek. So its movement, it can move quite a bit. And uh, can't... Do any ranged. It will go into a defensive position, but it has its eyes on Derek. All right, and no one's even. So back to the swamp. The tendril creature is starting to take a nap. <laughs> uh. Yawning a bit, so yeah. Uh, Tyler said, "Move ten feet, then jump. Roughly, hit, jump. Still four eight. You can make it to a chest. So I move it. So it's an action to open chest. It will. It's an action to open chest and use the footwear inside, or be the point. The chest is in action. water, though, right? Part of yeah. So, so okay. So what? I'm sorry. You you were on the ground, and then you. What did you do? Did you move over to jump over to there? No, I wasn't on the ground, but I was leaning against the rock. But yeah, uh, I moved 10 feet to jump. Yeah, it's diff that's all difficult terrain in the squares, just FYI. Yeah. yeah I'm still hasted. Yeah, you still hasted, so probably, you, yeah, you've gotten up and moved yeah, to do it. But... Good. Um, <coughs> are you at one hit point? Yes. Okay. So, you're, you're landing, remember, the bridge has fallen. Oh, the whole bridge has fallen. Yeah, so again, I'm oh, kind of like, of not it. totally a freebie, but visually, you would have seen, like, right here, right. the bridge. Yeah. Like, so All it's attached in water. here, but it's not attached here, which, logic, like, what would have happened is, basically, the entire bridge would have fallen and slapped onto the ice. Hmm. Bridge is all And ice. so, yeah. yeah. Chest, so, can I land on a chest? Would that keep me afloat? Or what's going on? <laughs> can you land on the chest and stay out of the water? <laughs> Well, and I, yeah, and I, I get you're welcome to go back there because I guess you're, you're, what your character would have seen is there's no way like you can't walk along the bridge. Like you could jump from if you were here for hypothetically, you could jump over you know to whatever your jumping speed is. But as soon as you land, you're gonna take one d4 damage. All right, so yeah, the whole bridge. I thought half of it was still hanging from the side, but yeah. Oh right, no, it's it, it's completely yeah. The bridge is not being held up by. It, it's basically attached. It was attached right, there. Alright, uh, Yeah. I'm going to drink a potion as an action. My first action. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm going to just wander around a bit. Oop, like, to the side. Okay. So, half will be th I've got 30 feet after that. Uh, after the square, so. Yeah, so the nuance with that for anyone, that treasure chest is still there it's still a you know but now it's going to take some you would take damage getting to and from it unless you're oh, able I see to the goblet. Uh, is the goblet hidden uh you can try to look for me with a perception check no it's like if, if he hidden like so i see him on my map but is he hidden so do i see him or not uh, i did hide last turn and i think they've been doing yes. if you succeed in a perception check against what i rolled for stealth and you can see me yep all right so i'm gonna roll a perception check first if I can see you. Okay. Not, it's not great. It's not great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah! No. Uh, I don't see you. Yep. I only see no. Right well, I, uh, I don't... Hmm. So, he... My understanding is he... I think, so I think my stealth check sets the DC. So, I think he does see me. Because <laughs> I rolled so my balls for so stealth. <laughs> Yeah, so he sees you, yes. but there's, there's quite a caveat to this. So he sees you, but mm. you are Still fairly, like, you have three, from his vision, you have three-fourths cover. Mm. And because you're obscured, it would still be with disadvantage. Yeah, so you can see me, but I'm in a swarm and I'm behind a tree. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, I see like yeah. a, a bunch of bugs, right? That's what I see? Yeah, that's what you see. I, so, like, for I example, if you, All right. yeah. So, like, if you had beat his, per, if your perception check was, um, you know, if you didn't uh, p pass, you wouldn't even see him at all. You'd be like, it'd be like nothing's there. But now you see him, but it's with disadvantage and three fourths cover because he's physically Behind pretty still well hidden. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Uh, I still have movement. And I all right. So I do see. I do see four bugs. So I'm gonna use. Yep. I'm gonna use my movement to thirty feet to pass him. There. I'm gonna jump across roughly. My movement is still 48. My jump is still 48, so roughly I'm gonna land right here. That's good enough. And as I'm jumping, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna look at Loom. All right, just let me kill this one, and you kill me. How's how that Loom? And I turn <laughs> to the guy and cast a breath, a fire breath. Oh, well, that's one section. Okay. DC save. All right. Uh, all right. I have to make a dexterity saving throw, eh? A line of roughly thirty. All right. Okay, I don't think I have anything I can do for that. So, so not uh, yeah. Dex save. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, I I did it to GM. But I'll I'll reroll it so everyone can see. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> great, 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 great. Uh, so that's 11 points of fire damage to me. Uh, 11 fire damage. Uh, I am going to, as a reaction, cast Absorb Elements. Uh, yeah, sorry. It, it, I'll do the full text. Um, absorb Elements. Uh, so I will half that to five points of damage. All right, cool, cool, cool. I have action. Yeah, I'm gonna cast magic missiles. Uh huh. It's an auto hit, by the way. Yep. <laughs> so that's eleven force damage to me. Cannot do anything against that. And these, yeah, there's no. No, nope, no, nothing. It's it's magic missile. All yep. long. Ah, ah, ah. Actually, my point. Yeah, uh, that's my turn. All right. All right. <laughs> and hopping off a cliff into a pile of bugs and burning <coughs> and shooting up. And everyone's getting in on Bergerberg's bugs. <laughs> All right. All right, and if that is it for. Callus, it is Loom Paravis. Okay, I like to walk up to him. I am him. <laughs> we, let me just let me kill him. <laughs> please, 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 no, 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 God, no. And I yell, I just say, "Eyes on the real enemy." And I attack him. Ah, uh, betrayal! <laughs> Topped in anime betrayals. <laughs> I mean, I don't uh, know you and such, so. Yeah, yeah, we're forced to fight. It's brutal. Ah. Yeah. Uh, Oh. oh, well, I was gonna ask if because he's in the the swarm, if it's a disadvantage with melee, but I don't believe uh, it is because it's uh, melee. Oh, yeah. There's a thing about being heavily being five feet away if and heavily obscured. Um, hang on. Yeah, okay, I think two those hits. are still pretty good rolls on it. Still yeah. pretty good. <laughs> um. Uh. <laughs> Obscured area. Um, a creature effectually suffers from blinded condition. I mean, this is what it says on a heavily obscured area. Okay. Uh, Such as darkness, opaque. Oh, the second paragraph darkness. you can ignore. But okay, a creature effectively suffers from the blinded condition when trying to see something in that area. So, and heck blinded. What does creature have? This is blinded. So basically, he would have. So even melee attacks would have I, I disadvantage. I think so. I yeah. kind of hit you with. Um, yeah. But I mean, 23, 23 and then the 25. 20, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yep. So wait, what's going on? Am I. So. I think he hits you so, with a 23 and then a 25. Yeah, the 25 kills me. Yeah. I'm dead. He's dead. He I only have nine left. Yeah. Oof. Slash oh. taken down. 
Okay, I feel brutal. like I like, I feel like I just like cut off your head and just use my backhand and my blade to like like poke it like a pool table like a, <laughs> like a cue ball. <laughs> oh, oh, brutal. <laughs> Disrespect. Up next, oh. goblin. Ah! Oof. Am I intimidation to just how frightful? <laughs> <laughs> I was far too trustful for another warrior. I was hoping you'd be honorable, but you weren't. I was too trustful <laughs> for you. Ah. Oh, well. So, is Talus is officially dead? Yep. Talus is dead. All right. Well, well thank you right, for, for joining us and for playing. Um, would you like if you'd <laughs> like to stick around? I can give you a spirit token that you can move freely. Um, no, no offense if you are gonna take off for the night though. Yeah, no, I'm gonna eat some food. You got, why you got two? <laughs> He's still All right, let me. I will give you a uh... spirit. All right, so Derek, while I'm doing this, Derek can figure out what Derek wants to do. That's what you get for running away. Just like, I just like squeak, like pretty. Uh... Like, the next goblin, or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah, your voice cracks. Ha! <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, tell me when you're done, because I know exactly what I want to do. Oh mean? shit! I will. Whoopsie! That was that was accidental. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, and I apologize for those of you that are now getting little spirits. The they might not be identical to what your character looks like, but they were the the closest. To... <laughs> Ghosts. Yeah, I think Derek, right. Derek, you're good to go. Okay. Oh, I can go now. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And Callus should have a uh, uh, ability to control the little spirit. Should Callus want to? Okay, so I'm gonna move to there, and I am going to switch weapons to the Dragon Slayer, and uh, I'm gonna do the attack, um, the little creature, which, and I can. Right. Ooh, so two. Yeah, so two attacks. That might. Uh, let's see what happens here. All right. So you 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 said you have double attack. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell me how you killed this thing. You spent the entire battle hiding and dodging, and you come out and you're like, "Screw you!" and you slice this thing. Okay. So I run up to it and just stab it straight through the chest, and then, you know, do that again, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and I say, oh, Lord Arioch, it seems you thought because I was hiding in the corner that I was going to take me out of the little wind creature, well, you were sorely mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> and she's... The, the creature screams and howls and frost comes out of her mouth as she falls into the ice or into <laughs> the snow and dies. <laughs> Alright. Finally, one more, one less thing for me to control. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> See, I did you a favor right. and took out your character first, you know? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. Sorry, you're... Basically, my sister was asking me questions, so I. No, I think you're good. No, nope, you're yeah. Hi, you're good. Oh wait, and then uh, since I only moved three spaces, I'm just gonna move back. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, this may be the win the the winning strategy, guys. Just hiding behind a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's see this fire creature. Like, God damn it! Everyone's running away from me. Do, 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 do. Hmm. All right. All right, fire creature did its thing. I don't think anyone can see it anymore. Burgerberg is up. All right. Okay. So this loom is looming toward me. 
here. <laughs> so uh, oh, uh, I think Squawk was before Burger Burk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Squawk oh. got deleted because of the um, token ah, change. I, yeah, I. Yeah, you're right. I'll add that. Thank you again. I. Hmm? Where is Squawk on the? Did I? Did I not put Squawk back? Yeah, I think you had to add a turn back on Squawk. Okay. I mean, is Squawk even physically on the map? I know the the. Uh, I'm picking him. Firewolf is. Um. Oh, there. Okay. I will add your turn. Now everyone knows. <laughs> all right, and your I'm sorry, your initiative was eleven. Uh, it was eleven, I think. Yeah, yeah before me. All right. Okay. Go squat. Go. Go. Oh. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah, just go, and I'll fig I'll maneuver yeah. right in here. Okay. Yeah. So movement wise, I have sixty feet because I'm a wolf and long strider. So fifteen uh -huh. to there. Uh huh. And then five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Forty. So that's fifty-five to get to there. Oh god. There. Finally, somebody. <laughs> and sixty. And uh Guac is going to use the dodge action. Mm. And that is his turn as a wolf. All right. If I was a wolf, that's what I would do. All right, and Burgerberg, I believe. Okay, Burgerberg now is going to look over at Loom uh, and pull out yet <laughs> another scroll and do another erupting earth upon Loom. And I'm going to do it in uh, this area. Uh, one, two, three, four. There. Uh, so, it's erupting Earth. It is a DC 15 uh, dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay. New. Ah, so. 24 points of bludgeoning damage. Four, ooh. Uh, what, however am I on now? So that... That was my action. 20, yeah, it's a 24 bludgeoning damage for Loom. Yep. Uh, and seeing as Loom is still there... Uh, so, yeah. what I'm going to do as my bonus action is use uh, combat wild shape as a bonus action to turn into a bear. <laughs> yeah. All right. I got so, your... Oh, so cute. Yes, uh, it is large, so let me make myself big. Uh, can I do that? Oh, would you mind making me large, please? Ah! <laughs> yes! I have become Bear Destroyer of Worlds! <laughs> no, I've been waiting a while to do yes! Alright, it's if canon, you know guys. I would, I think it's fair. <laughs> All right. Um, now, uh, a bit up to your interpretation, Jeff, but the inside okay. cloud does say it remains for 10 minutes, making the area heavily obscured for creatures other than you. The swarm moves with you, remaining centered on you. I think I still have a bug swarm around my bear. Yeah, I would very much because you be you physically become your bear. Yes, you change yeah. into bear. Yeah. Uh, so yes. what I would yeah, like you're not to entering the body of a bear so. in that case, and this may be a little thirty foot radius from you. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, this, this. 
Uh, you may have to enable the aura being visible on my bear. And I will turn the aura off on Burgerberg. I'm going to put okay, Burgerberg so... over here. Okay, so right. aura yeah, is aura visible. 30 feet visible. Do, 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 do. Yep. Uh, All right. Okay. So is now... that visible now? It looks to me it does. Again. Can you guys see the aura around the bear? It's a uh, big aura, though. Oh god, why is it so big? Because <laughs> I'm large now. It's thirty feet out from me. It's in, in all directions. It's, yeah. Uh, so that was my bonus action. So with my movement, uh, I am going to move uh, forty feet. I'm gonna move 15 feet over to here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then move another 20 feet over to here. Uh, is this water here? No, this is not That's water. Snow. Okay, then I will move my last five feet over to there. Okay. And I'll be done. Yeah, map-wise, you're you're good until you get to about right up here. Okay. Uh, it's you're gonna, you're gonna hear from the other room. Someone just shout out, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm All done. right. All right. Um, the pathetic piece of literal slime in the other map moves ten feet, and top of the order. And I'd say we're we're due for a probably overdue for a, like a five minute restroom break. Sure. Alright. Yeah. Alright, be back in a few. Yeah. Moon boys. That's a smart idea. Put my token on top of my bear.
come back. Awesome. Two. Woo. I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> All right. If Astral is ready, I'd say we can. I am here. It started. So, uh, having watched the gigantic cloud of insects just basically oh, walk man. past me, <laughs> uh, I'm going to take two steps into it, and then I'm going to cast Voiding Wind, which, if I have it right, <sighs> dispel it. My bugs! <laughs> oh! My bugs! No! Someone has it. I was wondering, like, oh, man, there's one thing you can yep. do is the wind, and someone has yep. some freaking wind. Wow. Yep. Amazing. I'm, I'm a multi-class bard warlock. Wow. All right. Man, goodbye, bugs. Yeah. Um, and now seeing everything in front of me, uh, after, take, after taking those two steps, I will now take... Uh, Three steps back and then shoot two Eldritch Blasts at the bear. Is Warding Wind an action? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Never mind, right. yeah. I, 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 yeah, I was thinking for it's the future. Good. You're excited about killing me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all good. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, so I believe uh, that uh, will be me for now. And Astral has an okay. aura now. A ten foot oh, yeah, I do. Aura. Of ten feet. How do I do that again? Um, if you double click on your oh, token, I see. yeah. I see, I see. Yeah. Okay. That's important because that's difficult terrain and range attack rolls have disadvantage if they pass through that. Mm hmm. So. And that's a, that's a yeah. bit too transparent. Yeah, it's visible, but it, yeah, it's a little. Yeah, against the background. Yeah. Uh, let's make it blue. Auras are one of the yeah, things I've. I've known about, but have not used in any games yet. I think definitely after this game, I'm going to use auras more often. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's me. All right. <laughs> and our very sober pal, Ebrius. Ebrius <laughs> uh, says, "It could just be the wine, but I think I see a ghost." Leading me this way, and I'm going to, um, <laughs> going to, he said, if I had, if I had to make an educated guess about where the party is. <laughs> this sudden disappearance of bugs. Come over here. Actually, oh, like over here, because I don't want to be as close to that little slime guy. And that's pretty much as far as I can get. Okay. All right. Yeah, and I got to say, you are playing this as a drunk person very well. This is like... <laughs> Just pottering around. Zooming all around, jumping uh, over uh, partial uh, lava stuff and Alright. Okay, that creature is is done. Alright, um you know what? Well uh No one is in here anymore. These <laughs> creatures are gonna close it down, shut the room down. <laughs> Yeah, literally no one else is in here. <laughs> um, I think for, let's see, I'm, I might partially do that. I might temporarily. <laughs> There's yeah, nothing else. Close the doors. Um, all right, yeah. The for, So for all intents and purposes, the, the, the creatures that are still in that map, are they're just dodging the whole time. They're just kind of sure. waiting to see if anyone comes back in. So, all right. Let's skip yep. them over. All right, so Callus is goodbye. And Loom is up. Okay, I'd like to mm. use my superior healing potion. So 44 plus 8. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh that's oh. rough, buddy. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. Oh. Again, the player in me feels, feels <laughs> sad. Was it the 84 or the 44? 34. So you. you... Hmm. Wait, so which pot, just to make sure, you, which you use the... The superior great... healing. Yeah. Okay. So it's that plus eight, I believe. Right? Yeah, plus eight as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the superior, okay. Yeah. Okay, 42, yeah. so I'm good. 
I okay. will my last superior healing potion, so... Yep. Okay. Okay, and I like to move here. I know it's like, I'm gonna be right around here. Mm hmm And I like to open the chest with my action. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That action. chest, I mean, you're, yeah, you move there, but yeah, that, you can see that chest has already been opened. Okay, uh... So again, yeah, yeah, you move there, but yeah, I mean, as you're coming up to it, you'd see that it's been, it's open already. So, that's. Oh. I can't change. Ah, uh, right. Well. Yeah, again, because you're like visually, you can see on the map. It's it's the the chest is open. So. <laughs> I know it was open. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I could like shoot. Uh, um, Potion was an action, I think. Oh, uh, wait. No, this. Oh, no, the. I use my bonus action to drink the healing potion, right? I bonus action to drink the potion or not? No, you're. To take. To drink a full potion is a. a an action. You were drinking. Yeah, that's an action. Oops. Shoot. Okay, yeah, so I guess. I guess that's my action. All right. All right, and Derek. Okay, I'm gonna move. <laughs> and I am going to attack off twice with the dragon. I am using the dodge action, so they're at disadvantage. Okay, disadvantage. And they advantage. both missed. Miss and a miss. Swooshes through the air. Crafty wolf. Alright. Any movement uh, for you? Me or Lola? No, for for uh, Derek. Lola. Take that as a as a no. Okay. Uh, we're on to Squawk. Squawk's just gonna try and bite. So it's like one D twenty. It's a twelve hit, Derek. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. Probably not. Yeah. yeah. Nope. No cool. hit. Uh after that, the wolf is going to take off into the woods. So, uh, measuring tool. Okay. I'm fine with the attack of opportunity. I'm gonna roll one the melee attack, Derek. Oh, what? Yeah, uh, opportunity attack, you said? Yeah. Yep. 30 to get there. Oof! Oh, that hurts a lot. Big oof. Uh, 19 slashing. Nice. That's what happens when you say, I'm okay with that opportunity attack. Yeah. Maybe I wasn't okay with it. And then, so that was 30 feet to get there. And then, I'm gonna move the remainder of my feet to get behind that tree. And that's Squawk's turn. All right. And that was 19 damage. So 19 from 20. All right. And that's Squawk's turn. That is awesome. OK. What will happen here? The. Okay, so five, ten, fifteen, twenty. All right, the fire creature that Ibrius can see will move up 
And that's its movement, and its action will take the dodge action. <laughs> hmm. And Bergaberg. <sighs> All right. Um, Bear is going to move. Uh, let's see. Five. Yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, shoot, the R is difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. <sighs> shoot. I've got 20 to get to there. Hey guys, really quick, I'm looking for an honest answer. I'm eating my dinner. Can you guys hear that or not? No. No, no. I'm not going to hear anything. Okay. That's good. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move there, see the winds, and then go back. Uh, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 to there. And then I am going to. I'm going to take the dodge action. Bear's going to dodge. Ooh-ah. Uh, and nothing from by this action, since I'm a bear now. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. Seeping oozy piece of crap here. All right, let me take a quick other look in this map. So... Oh. All right, so, Ibrius, you said you were moving up, and you're, you're basically trying to get where all the action is, right? <laughs> okay. So, the this creature is going to move toward you, and similar to the fire creature, is taking the dodge action. So it can it can only move ten feet, so it can't reach you anyway. And that is that creature's turn. All right, so that per that creature's on hold. All right, astral. Okay. Um, I will continue to move back a little bit, uh, and then I will fire two more uh, blasts at the bear. Do I get any cover from this tree? Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna check Astral's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this uh, would be. Yeah, it, I I would say he's half blocked. Yep. Just yeah, my out. my assessment. That's yeah, exactly like a half cover. Key. Yep. I am dodging. Oof! Okay. That doesn't matter, matter on that one, huh? Oh, <laughs> so that's one. Yep. And doesn't matter on that 19. one either. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so both of those, I also have agonizing blast. So add another six onto those <sighs> onto that. Uh, so 17 Damn. total damage. Mm hmm mm. Ouch. And then okay. bonus action will be nothing for now. Okay. Uh, eek. Eek. <laughs> Roar. All right. Ibrius. All right, Ibrius is going to move up here. I'm coming, ghosts of Tartarus. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> He sees that fight going on over there. All right, let's see here. How far are you people from me? Ooh, just too far. All right, so I'm going to say, ha, 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 pull out my um my flask, take a deep chug. I'm raging again. I'm going to move 20 feet up to about here. Actually, I'm going to move up to about here. And then uh, I'm going to pull out a jar of alchemist fire. What? <laughs> and in Celestial, I shall say, Feel the wrath of Dionysus! And I'm going to chuck it at him. So it's, that is... I am dodging. Attack. Yeah, I'm dodging. It yeah. is not a... I guess I'm aiming for the bear, because I can't really see who else is there. Yeah, um, it's, it's me. I am the bear. Burger Burger is the bear. <laughs> 
Alright. So then it's at disadvantage. Hmm. I believe that misses. 16. I mean, 14. Uh, in my pair form? Um, no, that still hits. Alright, uh, forget the... The Divine Actually, Fury. No, yeah. Does Divine Fury... Six? Yes, you just take four. You just take four. Just the four? Okay. Yeah, but you take four every turn. I'm like, you use your action to uh, put it out. Okay, I'm on fire. Good. Great. Alright. Finally made it to the party. Let's go. <laughs> Not good. Went from hot to cold. <laughs> That's right. a spicy bear. Creature is on on hold, and we're up to Loom. <laughs> All right. What you got, Loom? Stunning silence, apparently. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like to ask. I like to dash right about here. Okay, I like it. Right here, and I see. Oh, and I like. Yeah, like, and, oh my god. Oh, hi. <laughs> the bad wall. Till yeah, wide. All right, so I think so. With your with a dash, that's your you're done then, right? Ah. All right. Right in the almost jaws of a feathery direwolf. And up to Derek. Okay, I am going to move this way. Oh, geez. And then I'm going to switch to my crossbow and shoot Burgerberg with one of the poison crossbow bolts. And, and I measure this is like 95 feet, so that's within my small range. Uh, I am dodging, so it takes disadvantage. <sighs> 14 Damn. still hits me. Okay, or... so I believe since the dart was poison, that's poison. one before. Yeah, I think, do I make a save on that? Basic poison. Uh, a creature hit by the poison weapon must make a DC 10 constitution saving throw or take the poison damage. Uh, so I will try to make that con save. I do. Yeah. You're I a hearty bear. Yeah, I think it's, uh, you make the save, you don't take the damage. It doesn't say like half damage on a miss or a fail save. Okay, well. I still took the piercing damage though, so Yeah. Yeah, and the, the and it's the you don't have to keep making that save, I believe. It's it was just the one time because it's just a one time shot. Yeah, it says it just yeah. hit the thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. And were you done, Derek, or any movement? On to squawk. How a, how hurt does Lou look? I know. What? I know. I only only have like forty hit points. Yeah, Lou's looking fairly sturdy after, especially that was potion. looking pretty bad. But drank a drank a really good potion. Okay. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, thinking too hard. It's gonna ruin this. This is a one shot. Squawk mm. is going to drop the drop the dire wolf wild shape. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, he's going to say a word that he's only heard once. He's going to say <laughs> ally and point at Loom. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then I am going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and I can see the bear from here. Come on. <laughs> I all got to gang up on the bear. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to cast Sleet Storm. All the oh, no. <laughs> no. Your presence is just unbearable. Ah! <laughs> so in a 40-foot radius around the bear, everything is difficult to rain. Yikes. Oh, dear. So I whip out a spell scroll. I cast oh. that. Um. And... Oh, God. 40 nice. feet. Okay. So, five, uh, does the ten. does the bear I wonder have any being large? Does that have any benefit? You know, like with advantage on anything? No, large okay. large folks okay. take difficult terrain too. I uh, don't. It's also heavily obscured. I so. might need help making this. Sure. Uh, do you want to center okay. it completely on me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so it's a radius that I can see, and you're the big, you're the radius sure. that I can see. Then I will do so 40 foot radius, uh, so 10, 20, 30, 40. So it goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, 50, 60. Uh, Jeff, do you think it would pass through the door? E, let's see here. Because if it does, it it will? Yeah, it logically would. Okay. Um, uh, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then uh, 10, 20, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then there. Okay, that's a, that's a big sleet storm. Uh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, Squawk is going to go 10 feet back up the hill. And that's his turn. Another dynamic has been encountered. All right. So, all right. So the now that no one is in the kind of warmer area, um, similar thing. The monsters are kind of standing back, and we're up to Bergaberg. Man. Okay. So. Alchemist fire would happen at this point. I already took my damage four, so I'm on fire. Oh well, somebody pointed out that sleet storm actually like uh, it puts out like flames. Oh, so, so I think would I take the fire damage? as far as I understand, you aren't on fire anymore. Yeah, because that's an exposed flame, so it would, it would go out. Okay, I, I think that works. All right, um, and everybody, when I cast the spell, had to give a dex save or fall prone. Oh, okay. Oh, that's important. This is going to be comical. Uh, the bear <laughs> uh, slips on ice. <laughs> and falls on his ass. I feel bad for this bear now. <laughs> because of danger sense. Uh, is it an effect you can see? I think so, yeah. So. Everybody has advantage. Yeah. Yes, you completely have advantage. <laughs> let's see. Uh, all right, so man, this is rough. Uh, Burger Berg <laughs> will stand up using half bear movement. 
then I gotta do this. This drunken barbarian is going to cause so many problems. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move. This is difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. Five, ten. So that's the rest of my. That's twenty feet of movement. That's the rest of my movement. I am going to. Oh, this is this is like one shot if this works. Uh, I'm going to drop out of bear form. Jesus. Uh, so I'm going to no longer be bear. Okay. So I'm just going to delete my bear. Uh, make sure, yep, delete by bear. Uh, so let's zoom goblin form. And then I am going to cast... whole person on the barbarian. <laughs> oh. This is going to require what? A wisdom saving throw. DC is 13. If only I was a preserver. Uh, <laughs> I am held. Uh, oh. Alright. Yes, uh, you uh, are paralyzed. Uh, and then that uh yeah, that's 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 all. That's all. A I paralyzed can do. barbarian is a very different kind of barbarian. <laughs> yeah. Bless you, bro. All Not right. cool, bro. <laughs> hey, I gotta survive this. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Although you you did all that, and you're you're trying to, it's hard to tell if it's because he was blasted drunk or if your spell actually works. <laughs> mm. And is on the ground. So it's on the ground, <laughs> paralyzed. <Yep. laughs> All right, that was a that was a good good choice. Yeah. And any movement or that was all of my movement. I moved my full speed as a bear. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Like this this freaking hailstorm is yeah. causing problems. <laughs> all right. So creatures in the red area are taking a nap. That creature's taking a nap. Astral. Okay. Um. Let's see here. I don't really have great sight on anybody. So I'm going to move this way a little bit, about right here. And then I'm going to Eldritch Blast up at Loom and see how that goes. Let's see. So no, on the first, no on the first one. And yes, on the second one. So you just take five points of damage. The way, uh, okay. I thought I could have half cover or something with the trees, but. Okay. Um, well, I kind of uh, moved so I can kind of see your entire token, which. Yeah. At least uh, I'm assuming, tell me if I'm wrong, I think that means it's not cover. Yeah, you are correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, DM check. Yeah, you, visually you can see like 95% of the token. Yeah, your clear view. Okay, uh, and uh, that'll be me for now. All right. So, paralyzed Ebrius. Um, yep. At the end of his turn, he can make another Wisdom save to try and break out of it. In my paralyzed state, I vomited it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Come on. He will lose his rage. Yes! Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Keep dude. that barbarian yeah. down. Okay, so he... I think he only had, like, one more rage left. Oh. No, I have, like, ten more rages left. <laughs> no, I don't. Shut up. Also, every hit that's within five feet of him is a crit. Oh, yes. Yeah. Does that count really rage cool. weapons as well? Uh, uh, no, no, you have to be within five feet of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was a stop, drop, and not roll. <laughs> <laughs> Bad pun intended, sir. Um, all right, that's it for Ebrius. That creature will take a nap. We're up to Loom. Okay, I like to...
I like to move this way. Okay. Yeah, more. Oh, wait, I forgot. I have a glaze. Betrayal. <laughs> and I just say to squawk, and I, um, sorry, but the last partner I had kind of burned to a crisp, so I'm sorry, and I just like. <laughs> and I and well, and I use my my last superiority dice to trip him. Oh. All right, so that do you have to do you have to get a, a hit in for that to work? Is that? Yeah, uh, it, it, I believe it's after you hit. I think it is. Okay. Yeah. So let's see if if yeah. you can get a hit in. Miss. Miss. Oh, Miss. Sorry. Oh man. Wait, no, no, sorry. That was like, that was the other one. Let me try uh, the D four one. Miss. Yeah. <sighs> Whew. How? Okay. Well, and, big AT. and I'm going to like um, use second win. Use second win as my bonus action. To heal back up. So that's like. So that's like a D10 plus your constitution, mm -hmm. which is two, so. Ten. And you hadn't used that before, right? No. No, it was one of the other. Four fighters. plus six. Six. Back to six. Anything else for Loom? That's, that's everything. I still wait. Do I still have my superiority die? Yes. Okay. That's it. That's everything I can do. All right. We're up to Derek. Okay, I am going to fire the last of my poison crossbow bolt at Astral. Okay. Uh, you have disadvantage on the attack because of the wind. Yeah. Okay. I at least have leaves here. Yep. Oof. Oh, you still hit me. Oh. Yep. So right. that's my temporary hit Poison point gone. And then do I need to make a save? Yeah, constitution save. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, that'll. Um, so just I, I wasn't paying enough attention. Did Squawk take any damage while he was being attacked? No, no he did not. Oh, dang. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. okay. He was ducking and dodging like a legend. Ah, gee, Squawk. Squawk. <laughs> All right, and is Derek making a move anywhere, or is that it for Derek? Actually, I think I'll move a little, yeah. Up. All right. The feathery friend who just dodged a bunch of glaive attacks. It is your turn. Okay. Uh, I will start my turn. Bye. Oh God. Uh, what do I cast? What do I cast? What do I cast? What is the range on this? Okay, cool. I'm gonna cast a uh, thunder wave at a second level. So Travis needs to give me a uh, Constitution save. With the saving throw? Constitution saving throw. Okay, cool. Uh... You fail. You are pushed 10 feet away from me, and you take 3d8 thunder. Mm -hmm. Be high, people, be high, people. 
<laughs> so 11 uh, points of thunder yeah. damage. God. I'm taking more damage than the Barbarian. <laughs> barbarian was by himself for a long time. 10 feet away from me. I'm going beautifully. You better cool. hope. So you should be here now. Yeah. You better okay. hope you don't break your wisdom. All right. Yeah. Sweet. There you go. Awesome. Uh, and I'm going to step here, and I guess I'm going to climb. A, I assume five feet to step up here. Yeah, that's yeah. the part where yeah, it's not a whole fifteen. So. Okay. So would that be difficult terrain, essentially? Yep. Okay. So that would be fifteen feet of movement. Uh, 20, 25, 30, 35, right. and 40. And Squawk is just gonna stay there and end his turn. All right. Fire guy's sleeping, but Bergerberg is not sleeping. No. Um, so I start my turn in the Sleet Storm, so I have to make a dexterity save or fall prone. Uh, so here is my dexterity save. 22. Nice. I cool. keep my Passes. footing. Uh, the other thing that happens if I start my turn in the area and I'm concentrating on a spell, which I am, I have to make a successful con save against your spell, DC, or lose concentration. Uh, I have Warcaster, so I have advantage on... Uh, Concentration check. Concentration saves. So I'm going to make a constitution with advantage. Does a 13 beat your spell DC? It's against my spell DC? Yeah, it says a uh, creature must make a successful constitution saving throw against your spell save DC or lose concentration. Oh no, my DC is 15. Damn. Uh, the barbarian is no longer held. Um, but I do think the barbarian is prone since he's prone yes. in the ice storm. Yeah. Yeah. And he automatically fails it. Yeah. Yikes. So you got a head start. <laughs> got a, yeah, okay. Then in that case, I'm going to change up what I'm going to do a little bit. Uh, I am going to cast uh, Cure Wounds on myself at a third level. Uh, did that work? No. Uh, I don't think did it. It looked. Let's see. Oh I yeah, it, it did. Worked. It did a four plus a two plus a six plus two, so that's fourteen points of healing for me. Yeah. Okay. So I will do that as my action. Use a third level spell slot. Ah. Uh. Okay. Ah. Uh. think about this the barbarian has lots of problems for me <laughs> yeah now what I'm gonna do is use my other wild shape as a bonus action but this time I'm going to transform into the most beautiful and majestic horse you have ever seen I can attest to that all right <laughs> Uh, so, uh, if you wouldn't die, if you would mind making me large again. Alright. Zoom in here. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Can I see the horse? Um, if I can, I'd like to be in this space. Uh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Um, yes, this is all still heavily obscured, but I don't know if people are hidden just or just like difficult or disadvantaged to attacks. Uh, and then uh, I am going to use my 60 foot movement speed to 30 feet away, I believe. Move 30 feet away. Um, I'd like to go there, so that's 40. And can I go 50, 60? to there can I scrub yep, yeah, no. get yeah, around that with this one yeah. okay that's my action movement and bonus action does the barbarian get to attack oh, 
I it think I was. Off. I think I was ten feet away. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I can't see it, but yeah. 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 I wanted to transform into this beast. Okay. Makes All sense. right, that's me. All right. Moving on. The this creature is in its other room. Another room. And we're up to Astro. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move a little bit over here. Uh, and then uh, cast out its blast at Squawk. Because that's fun. Get him. <laughs> oh, there he is. So that does 17 miss. hit you? Okay. So miss. both miss. Awesome. Jeez. Okay, uh, that's me. Alright, Abrius, who's on the ground. Does, does, he have your... to, does he have to make a dexterity save? <laughs> I'm going to make this. Um, Abrius could not see who uh, casted Old Person on him because it was right when they cast Fluid Storm and he fell down. So he didn't, he didn't see why he couldn't move. He just couldn't move. And now he's free. He's like, what is happening? Perhaps I should have diluted a bit more. And <laughs> half my Give movement. Give me a deck save. I mean, it was half my movement to stand. Does he have to make the deck save if he starts his turn? Or yeah, yeah, he has to make a save for starting his turn. Yeah. I, I thought I was already prone. Yeah. Well, when That's you stand up. Point. Well, oh, oh, wait, right. yeah. That makes sense, yeah. He's fine, then. Start so I can't be double prone. It's at the start of the turn, and he was prone at the start of the turn, so it's probably yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess I, I guess I guess I moved 10 feet this way, <laughs> trying to get out of the storm. Very and uh, I shout out Curse the in, and I'm no longer in Celestial, because I'm no longer raging. I just shout out Curse, curse the Storm. And storms so like that's my turn. All right, that creature is sleeping. We're up to loom. Okay, I do. I feel like, I feel like I'm on like the snow, like ow, okay, and, <laughs> and like just get just move to where I uh, saw the bird. Get that bird. Don't get that bird. <laughs> the bird very much wants to not get got. <laughs> Thing, wait, okay, I was, I was, okay, I was, okay, I was like here. Right? Oh, so maybe I can move one more time. Okay. Okay. I can use my weapon again as a glaive. Yeah, that's yeah. The glaive is, I believe, a ten foot reach. Yeah. Okay, time to do this again. And um, can you not move? Please. <laughs> I like die. Missed. Stop. That hits. Okay. Yeah, that hits. And I have to make a concentration saving throw. Okay, and I use trip attack. Okay, and what kind of save is trip? Uh, strength saving throw. Strength save? At 14. Well, that sucks. Yeah, no, that didn't happen. Prone now? And I yeah. get this next attack on advantage. And Sleet Storm is gone. <laughs> oh. And, mm, more that dead. Missed. Or for... advantage, yeah, that hits. So that's 14, 21. Ooh, Squawk's hurt. Did I miss something about Sleet Storm? Uh, Sleet Storm's gone. <gasps> Hallelujah. <laughs> Doing the Lord's work, Loom. <laughs> I just say, oh, thank you. <laughs> I... All right, and uh, you did the, your, your trip attack, right? Yeah. Loom? Okay. Alright, so if Loom is done, Eric Ironfest is up. 
I am going to fire a non-poison crossbow bolt at Oh. Basically, your your heavy crossbow jams, and the the arrow <laughs> it, it goes out about like two feet, and it just utters <laughs> into the rock that's kind of in front of you. Okay. Do I see it happen? Or loom? Well, you were probably not, probably because you were concentrating on you had just uh, tripped. Squawk, so you had no idea any of that even happened. You didn't even know you were being targeted, probably. Okay. Alright, and any movement for you, Derek? No, I think I'll stay... Actually, no, I'll move a tiny bit. Okay. That's all. Alright, and Squawk is up. Okay, uh, I'm gonna twist a ring on my finger as I'm prone on the ground staring at the ceiling. And I'm gonna cast a healing word at a second level on myself. Hmm. Using my ring of spell storing, so it's uh, 2d4 plus 4. Mm -hmm. So I got <laughs> 7 health. Woo! So, 15. Uh, I'm going to pop a potion of superior healing. <laughs> you. 23. Uh, why, even, why even cast healing word? If you're going to take more healing. Superior healing. He needs all of it. Yeah. And I am going to roll down the hill that I'm on. <laughs> all right. <laughs> sentinel? Huh? Sentinel? Sentinel? You have Sentinel. You have to hit me first. <laughs> 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 Gotta cast me first. Alright, no, where are you? Let's see, so what did you imagine? Yeah, oh. even if I disengage. So. Opportunity attack. I thought I'm not disengaging. I'm just rolling. <laughs> But we need to so you're gonna right? try and attack me with advantage. <laughs> okay, here we go. Awesome! I roll down the hill, no problem. <laughs> nah. Uh, do I take the d6 of falling damage? Yeah. So you you're are you trying to basically wind up right there? Yeah. Yeah, that would be yeah a one d6 falling. What is that bludgeoning damage? Yeah. Awesome. All right. You live and to tell about So that was five feet, and then I fell 15. I'm going to stand up, and I have a movement of 40. Would that be all of my movement? Or would you have 10 more? Because it was. Let's see. Standing up would cost 20. Oh, yeah. Rolling would cost five. But would falling subtract from my movement? Ugh, I don't. I've never encountered that. I, <laughs> I, I think time-wise, because you're, it's taking part of the six seconds of actually you're kind of rolling off the. So. I'll actually, say you can have a. You, you, I would, it makes sense. You can have like five. You know, is five more feet of movement. Okay. Uh. Actually, I'm gonna stay sitting, and I'm just gonna crawl. If okay. that's possible. So I would get 25 feet of crawling movement, which would probably be difficult terrain. So, like, I could move two squares. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And you're, like, right, yeah, you're on the border. Like, if you were to move any more, yeah. you'd be in the I'm water. Like purposefully skirting this. Yep. All right. Squawk. <laughs> that's Squawk's turn. <laughs> All right, Burgerberg. All right, this glorious, lovely horse uh, is going to, <laughs> yeah, move um, five. Oh, I'm gonna bring Burgerberg with me. So five, 
10, excuse me, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, let's, let's, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not playing around anymore. <laughs> uh, yep. Um, yeah, I am going to shift out of being a horse as a bonus action. Um, I like to be there when I shift out. Uh, and I am going to raise my staff aloft, swirl it around, say, it is time to end this! Bugs attack! Uh, and cast Insect Plague uh, in a 20-foot radius sphere uh, right over... Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's start. Let's start there. That's. I knew this would be coming. It was just a matter of when. Yep. There. Uh, so, insect plague. <laughs> oh no! Ah, <laughs> uh, so. Search in all corners, range rotation. It's lightly obscured, so no, I don't think lightly obscured does disadvantage necessarily. Uh, mm -hmm. It is difficult terrain. Uh, when it appears, everyone must take a Constitution saving throw. DC 13. Nope. Oh. Oh. Last night, babe. Wait, so how many people are left? There's six of us currently. Yes. Right. Come on, come on. DC yeah. 13. Let's go! Yes. Oh my god! Ah. <laughs> Alright, so either this or half for Loom. Uh, 25 points of piercing damage. So 25. Half of 25 is. 12. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, so that is five charges from my staff. I can't do that again. Uh, and that was my movement, bonus, and action. So that is my turn. All right. So, yeah, that took... Uh, all right. And how did... So, let me... Does it deal constantly damage? Uh, if you enter or end your turn there. So it doesn't happen when you start your turn, but if you were to go into it or mm -hmm. keep staying there, then yes. Got it. Got it. I need to get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is this concentration or no? It is. Okay. Up to ten Astro. minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so before when they were like kind of like beneath, uh, I couldn't see them right. So I probably can't really see Squawk that well because he's also like on the ground, right? Let's see. So your view, uh. Because there's also like the bridge over there, and then he's also on the ground behind it. So I, I'd say I probably really wouldn't be able to see him. Yeah. Le okay. Let me get a view from where you're at. So you're on the, and you're so, Astro is trying to see Zoom or Squawk. Uh, uh, uh Squawk. Because he's also like he, he yeah. he's beneath me, and then there's also the bridge, which might just be at the right angle, but it would block him because he's also on the ground. Yeah. You know it. it because fully, wise. like you can see his full token, and you know the the bridge is about fifteen feet up. You would have dis like if you were to attack him, it would be with disadvantage because it's yeah. okay. and he is obscured. But yes, okay. Uh, if that's the case, then I will go ahead and take my two bolts at uh, Travis, as he is an easier target. <laughs> wow. Yeah, maybe curtains for Loom Travis. So no on the first one. Oh, uh, oh. no on the second one. Oh. Same goal again. Skirting oh, by, Ooh. just barely. Okay. Uh, and then I will actually move this way, and that's me. Okay. Yeah. 
Ibrius. Ibrius is happy that the sleet storm is gone. He's going to take a peek <laughs> or to survey the situation. That's ten feet. I I suppose he sees someone over there. So how far can I get? Yeah, so you're, let's see. Or I could just, I would need to get, where is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Ran away <laughs> from you. Yeah. You're a big, scary barbarian. That's very true, but still. I, I guess I'm going to keep the chase going. I'm going to use my movement and my action to get up here. Ah. Ah. Oh, hello. Ah! <laughs> you see a horse. Uh, it went that way. <laughs> ran away. You ran away. Come here that way. Across the ice. And uh, as a bonus action, I will do... Huh, can I use this as a bonus? Hold on. Yes. Use an action. All right, never mind. Um, all right. So I guess I just kind of stand there looking at him stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Awesome. All right. Do you believe Loom is next? Okay. Um, first things first, I need to get out of there. So I'm just going to... It's difficult terrain. Yeah. For real? Okay. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> 10, 20. I only see four of us. Where are the rest? Oh, um, the box is 30 feet. I see five. One, There's two, three, one. four, five. I don't know where uh, Astral is. I see Astral. I see Squawk. The two of us. Derek. Um, Loom's back boxes. over here and Derek's over there. Oh, it's three. So three boxes, 30 feet? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I like to da dash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then yeah, if you dash, your yeah, your first movement is with the difficult terrain, but then your your second movement you'd be able to move the full amount. Oops. Okay. All right. And that's not my wait. So I was here, so sorry, I was here, so five, ten, twenty. Wait, fifteen. I like to move up to there. All right. Okay, I think I'm partially safe. Now, for now. <laughs> for now. Until Derek steps in and takes <laughs> his turn. Okay. I mean, I'm think I'm I'm think I'm half cover now. Yeah, it all it really just depends on whoever like from that person's vantage point. I'm gonna fire my crossbow bolt at Ebrey. Okay. What? All right. That uh, yeah, that's gonna hit. I believe Ebris. All right. And any movement for Derek? I'm gonna stay right where I am. You're just waiting for them to come to you. Alright. And did you get that, Ebrius? I think you took three piercing. Alright. Um, I was not raging, so yeah. Yeah. Alright, and squawk. Uh, continuing the trend of rolling around in this belt, 
<laughs> I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at the third level again. Because <laughs> I'm hurt. <laughs> Okay. Plus 15 health. Uh. 20. 25. 35. No, that would stop it. I'm just gonna roll into the ice next to me. <laughs> and I'm gonna go across this way. <laughs> Alright, so all. Yes, that's, that's all it is difficult. all difficult terrain, but I can make it. Okay. <laughs> And that's what one. So one, two, four. three, four. Yeah. So four d four. And I'm presuming that this part is like solid ground. Yeah. Let me scoot over for just a second, and then scoot back. Yes. Yeah. Again, just right on the threshold. But that part is good. Okay. Um. All right. Yeah. So let's see. I'll roll the four d four roll. All right, so seven damage. Seven cold damage. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to cast Absorb Elements and half that. All right. <laughs> so it would become three damage or four yep. damage? Three? Nice. Okay. Yeah, roll down. Round down. Awesome. And that is Squawk's turn. <laughs> All right. Fire creatures. Sleeping. Burgerberg is up. Okie dokie. I see this nasty barbarian in front of me. Ah. Uh, let's see. Uh, I just gotta, I gotta deal with this. <laughs> um. Yeah. It's gotta be what's gotta be. I will take out my last scroll of erupting earth. <laughs> and I will make a 20 foot cube right. Uh, oh, hang on. Not there. Right there. In front of me. <laughs> ah! So that's uh, this DC. area must look horrific. It's a DC 15 deck save, which you do get advantage on. Advantage. Ah. Hey. So half of this. So if only I was raging. 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah. Okay. Then. It's difficult terrain. That's all difficult terrain. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, so this ledge is 15 feet down? Yep. Can I do five, can I go around the tree? 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and, oh, sorry, 30 would be there. Uh, and I would like to attempt to hide behind the tree as a bonus action. Okay. So, <laughs> like to hide. So here is my hide. Um, okay. All right. So I got it. That's my turn. And jot that down. All right, these guys are napping. Astral. Okay, uh, my turn is real simple. Uh, I'm just going to refresh uh, false life on myself. And that's my turn. All right. Ibrius, looking for a beautiful horse up in these parts. I feel like I didn't. All right, yeah, never mind. Um. <laughs> <laughs> So what is, in, like, am I on top of a giant stone cube? Like, what am I on right now? A bunch of difficult terrain. <laughs> Just, All like, right, okay. so much erupted earth. I was looking at that goblin, like, goblin, where's the, like, green man, where's the horse? And he just erupts a bunch of rock <laughs> and he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
going to come over here with my 20 movement because difficult terrain. Can he? Oh, 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 look at him. That was not guy. I'm hiding. I just, I'm hiding. I just want to do something at. Like, not, nothing, like, specific. I'm just looking through all my shit. And I find a bag of swarms. And I'm going to reach into the bag of swarms and throw a swarm at him. How does this work? Yeah, so... Yeah, I'm so hiding. for the group, this was a, um... A D4. A, yeah, this is a kind of homebrew magic item that was in one of the chests. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, so you rolled a one, and I believe That's it says... Deep. And I'm throwing it right at him. I'm, I hide. I hide. I hide. <laughs> I'm hiding. All right, so you get... So D1... All right, I sh give me a second here. I want my swarm of beetles to attack him. That was the irony. Did I put a swarm of anything? Like, do you have something available? Uh, the, the, the bag just lists the swarms. It doesn't really seem to tell me. Like, I, I rolled okay. a one a swarm of beetles. The bugs have finally turned against you. Uh, and as a bonus action, I'm commanding them to attack him. All right, these I'm gonna. You can move them where you, where where you want. I'm putting those here. Um, I'm gonna give you control of those. Everybody says has been having a a, a frustrating day. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will sit still. Um. I can't seem to move it, but I just want to move it next to him. So, oh, there we go. Yep. You should have ability right now. Yeah, so it's just going to be on top of him. And, uh, yeah, attack. Okay. And do you have actual access, like you should have access if you open it to the NPC sheet? Looking currently. I'm not sure. Yeah, like if you go to its character sheet. If not, I can... Just go ahead and roll for me, because I'm t it's taking a bit. I can't seem to find it. Okay. All right, so it rolled a 16. Does that, that hit? That does not hit me. Damn. Yeah. Right. And that's my turn, because okay. I can't do anything. All right, Loom is up. Okay, I, I like to drink that potion from the chest. Oh yeah, I wonder what that does. <laughs> hey. I hope it kills him. Give me 64, 64 plus six. And it's a bonus action. Yes, this was oh, another, wow. this was a kind of quasi homebrew magic item in the uh, a magic potion so it has a slightly different property to it oh three and it's me six health okay so Bring me back to 41. Okay. All right. And I like to ask or right to right here. In front of him. In front of him. That's my action. Do you have that, or was that your action and a dash? So you were. So, so that was my bonus action and. So drinking this, drinking that potion was your bonus action. I use a dash action. 
my and you use a dax at to, to get near him. But I a dash and let unless you have a special feature isn't a dash is a bonus or I'm sorry. Yeah, a, uh, a dash is a action. You're right. I'm sorry. So your movement then your action was to dash then okay, sorry about that. You're right. All right. And Derek, you have uh, a new adversary, a heavily armored gentleman right in front of you. Hi. <laughs> I am going to switch to my uh, Dragon Slayer sword and hit him with it twice. All right, I don't believe that will will hit. All right, on to Squawk, or oh, okay. I'm sorry, um, Eric. We're you're welcome to move if you'd like. I forgot about that. Um. Okay. Wait. No, actually, I don't want to move. Okay. All right, then Squawk is up. Okay. Uh, Squawk is gonna go <clears throat> five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Can I see you, Berg? Berg? He's right there. I mean, He's I, above ground. I guess. Uh, uh, Iris was able to see me, so. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast hold person on Burger Bird. Oh great! Oh, cool, cool. Uh, well, let's just see how this wisdom save goes. Oh uh, no, it's not right. Eighteen. Oh, oh nothing happens. <laughs> uh, so that was five. Trying to use my tricks against me. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 3540. And that is Squawk's turn. All right. Burgerberg is up. All right. Jeff, I hate to do this to you, but I have a thing. Not a thing. Right. So, what I would like to do. <laughs> It, because of this this bag, this horrible bag of beetles that are swarming over me. Okay. I would like to, uh, I can disengage as a bonus action with my nimble escape. Because he's a goblin. Because I'm a goblin. Uh, I would like to move back. Uh, there, let's see, 15, 20, 25, 30. To there. Uh, and then what I'd like to do is... Uh, if I can, mm -hmm. spend four charges from my staff of swarming insects to target the beetles with giant insect. Oh. Oh. Giant insect. That's. So what, did we we talked about that one, didn't we? Yeah. I don't yeah. know if you'll if you, if you if it's too much. I I can run ten centipedes no problem, but this I, I don't know. It's up to you. I won't feel bad if you say that's too complicated or not, but I can yeah, run this, 10 centipedes. Yeah, that specific one I did I did not want to use. That's sure. No problem. Like one of the few exceptions then, to it. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is... Um, I, do you mind if I take my movement back in that case? Oh, yeah. Go, sure. go right ahead. Uh, then what I'm going to do is uh, disengage still but move to here. Yeah. Well, I'm going to start off moving to here. Uh, and then I am going to turn at uh, both of these two and cast a third level hold person targeting both of them. Okay. Oh, okay. So cast it at third. You say those two is at uh, Ebrius and... Yes, so at a third level you can target an additional humanoid. Uh, for each, so nothing happens to Squawk, and then uh, Ebris has to make a wisdom save. Big money, big money, big money, big money, I forgot big to money. make it a save, that's just wisdom. 18, is that a save? 
Yep, both saved. Uh, nothing happens. So then I'm going to continue the rest of my movement as that was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, and then I'll be done. All right. That is... Astral is up. Okay. Uh, I shall move my movement uh, up to right here, I believe. In which case, the only thing I can see is there we see a little bit of Bergerberg. So I will cast Distant Whispers on him. Distant Whispers? Yes. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. 60 feet. Uh, if you fail it, then I can tell you what happens. For some reason, it didn't actually. Actually, how I just posted it. Where is it? 17. Yeah, you, you you save it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, it but you damage? still take, uh, you still take, um, half of that damage. Okay, four psychic. Okay. Yep. Uh, uh and that'll okay. be me. Technically, I still have to concentrate on the. Um, uh, no, I cast the whole person, so this uh, insect plague is gone. Okay. How many did you cast the um? The insect cloud before was it one or two times? Uh, so he, he only cast that once. The okay. the insect plague and insect cloud are two different things. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. The insect plague was the five charges. Okay. okay. That once. All right. Is that is Ebrius up? All right, Ebrius is going to watch the goblin run away and say, um, Man, this is getting ridiculous. And he's going to go to drink from his flask, but then he's going to notice that his flask is empty. <gasps> and you oh, already see no. a rare thing from Ebrius, which is a sober rage. Oh my he, gosh. Uh, <laughs> he's going to try to do the closest thing to him and attack. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Miss. All right, that first hits. one hits. <laughs> uh, Squawk's dead. <gasps> oh, Squawk oh. dead. Did he take that radiant damage due to the fact that he get hit? I hit. That's before. why I'm dead. Oh no. You, I had 24 hit points left. That's 25 damage. Oh. Did he oh. get hit by the bear form? Rip. The radiant damage. Yeah, you got yeah, but I'm not a bear. I ain't bear no more. Oh, so it doesn't. Oh, oh. oh. Ooh, I, I hit a twelve. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> no wonder. So I'm yeah. just going to walk up. I don't even know what it is that I'm swinging at. I'm just going to cleave it in two, and then like just dismember it, and then, like kind of calm down a little bit. It's like, where am I? What I do? <laughs> Where did this destroyed oh. bird come from? <laughs> Just ruined bird. <laughs> Just ruined bird. And Squawk is now a ghost. And I'm sorry that um, of all the spirit tokens I had, I, I definitely did not have a Kenku token. Ha! Dude, it's so. fine. It's That's really fine. hard to find appropriate tokens. Yeah. yeah. I was surprised I had spirit tokens in the first place, so. Then there were five. Yeah. All right. Um, hey, so, Ram, to go back to your original request, I I think kind of a what I I think is a fair compromise because um, I know half the power of that of your <laughs> staff is that very same you know is what you wanted to do. Hmm. So, what what I propose as a compromise, I still for you know kind of variety of reasons don't want to do summons. Yeah, no, that makes. Sense. I don't want to do summons, sure. but what I would allow is essentially being able to you can use insect cloud 
once and then all your charges would be gone so sure. it's essentially like kind of lowering one, one charge. charge and then you have no ability to use the staff anymore okay because then you're down to like zero charges i would be basically. a zero charge at that point yeah. that is thank you <laughs> yeah. i appreciate yeah. so, that, I, I mean, that it's, it's, i'm trying to walk a balance i don't want to sure. handicap you by not being able to use half your staff yeah when the when the so, sudden bag of tricks came out of beetles i'm like well wait a minute <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, and, but, and that's, and so on that point, and yeah, that, it's not sure. a full bag of tricks. It's just, it's kind of a one time. It's, that's mm. why, that's a very homebrew. I gotcha. So, but cool. to that point, yeah. So that's, I think that's a, that's, I sure. hope it's a fair compromise. No, I'm I appreciate still, that. Yes. Okay, definitely. no problem. All right. That guy's up. Okay, Loom is up. to attack three times on her. Uh-oh. One. Nope. Two. Oop. Three. Ooh, some of those might hit. <laughs> All of those might hit. Let's see. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I did like ar around. Sixteen damage. I can't hear. Does he, is he talking? I don't think so. Maybe muted. Uh, yeah, Derek, if you can, Lola, if you can hear us, what? if you can type. Oh, yeah, sorry, you... I wasn't paying attention. I apologize. How much damage did I take? Sixteen. Sixteen. Eighty-five. <laughs> yeah, 16 slashing. Okay, I subtracted the damage. Alright, and any, uh, um, for Loom, any movement, or is Loom Travis staying put? Input. Alright. Derek Iron Fist's Revenge. What shall transpire? Okay, I am going to once again hit him with the Dragon Slayer sword. Oh, the sword? I thought it was a crossbow. Oh. That's a sword, too. Oh. Oof. I also had a crossbow, but Dragon Slayer is the sword. Oh, jeez, oh. I did that. Oh. Oh, no. Derek, no. Yeah, you... You almost like with the first slice, you actually almost slice your hand off. You don't, but <laughs> you come close. And Loom's just like, "What are you doing?" And yeah, the second one you get a little better handle, but still he just dodges out of the way. Um, are you are you feeling all right? I mean, I hit you like hard sometimes, uh, but keep trying. I believe in you. I'm still probably gonna rip your head off. But... <laughs> keep trying. You're the nicest murderer ever. <laughs> That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Any movement, Derek? No, I'm gonna stay where I am. All right. Fire creature. No. Rugaberg. All right. I think actually I am. Co uh, appreciate the offer but i'm in the case of survival i am just going to use a charge for insect cloud again to bring okay. that back <laughs> um so i am just going to do that as my action to bring this okay. wonderful creature back uh and then as a bonus action i'm going to cast a healing first level healing word upon myself uh for five whole points of healing uh, and then move five ten behind the tree. And All right, that's that. How big's the aura of that? It is a thirty foot aura. Wait a minute. Um, yeah, thirty foot aura. Yeah, it should be thirty feet. I couldn't okay. imagine if one of those like has like anime dead on ourself or something like that. Oh, uh, can you come, make somebody come back as a zombie? <laughs> we? 
Probably not, because the summon stuff gets a little complicated. Yeah. Okay, but I am done with my turn. It would definitely be a oh. bold move to try and play Necromancer in something like this. <laughs> mm-hmm. Disrespect all the way. <laughs> all right, that is that. Astral. Okay. Um, I will move. Okay, that reveals a lot. Um. Hmm. Okay. After moving there, I'm going to look towards the uh, Barbarian, and I am going to cast Charm Person on him. Oh, that could be fun. I mean, I, like, I, I won't be able to control him at all. He just probably won't attack me. Oh, it's up. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah. I just look at him. I just look at him when he like calls over and uses the spell, and you get the feeling that even if you hadn't cast a spell, <laughs> I probably wouldn't have even, you know, I probably like, like oh, another team play. Oh, brother! <laughs> How did you do it? Yep. All right. Is that it for you, Astro? Uh... Yes, that's it for me. Thanks. All right. The recently charmed Ebrius is up. Oh no! Like he's laughing. He's like, ah, we should drink sometime. Oh, hold on. Let's give you a drink. And I and I reach for my flask, and I see that it's empty again. I'm like, and I'm just gonna run close to him, <laughs> which isn't him, and it's gonna be this goblin over here. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so I am in heavily obscured disadvantage. Ah. Yeah. Yep. yep. All right, so I am going to make it reckless. Okay. Great okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two attack. Both miss. Damn Ooh. it! What, what is your AC? Eighteen. <laughs> Got a shield. Hold up my little yep. shield. <laughs> and uh, oh, actually, I will also use my bonus action, since I still have my bonus action to. Yeah. Bring my, my my beetles and add them to your swarm. <laughs> An attack. So this is at a disadvantage. Um, can you do that for me, DM? Yeah. So just a basic attack. Actually, so where were they? Because they're they were uh, like uh, they were just right there. They're like over like a, over over right here, I think. Because is this uh, rough terrain? Oh. Uh, no, no, they are not difficult terrain. Okay. Then they can start. definitely attack. Ooh, 22. Right. Well, uh, is it disadvantage for them because of the swarm? Ah, actually, that's true. Yes, because it's the swarm. Yeah, they're yes. heavily obscured, so unless they have blind So my swarm just gets lost in his swarm. Yes, <laughs> I have the superior swarm. Okay. Wait, so am I, does he have disadvantage on me too, or is it only me towards him? Uh, the insects do not impact me, so I can yeah. see fine through here. Also, just okay. something to note, uh, you would have had advantage on that safe for Charm Person, because we would have been in combat, but you still barely wouldn't have made my DC. Yeah, whatever, yeah, that doesn't... Yeah, 13. Alright. That's my, that's my turn. Alright. Loom Travis. Okay, as the always. Side of the river. Attacks. Oh. Oh. Five. Oof. Probably not. None of those hit. Yep, I don't think any of those hit Derek. All right, and Derek is up. Okay, jeez, it's uh, it's getting late. Uh, okay, I'll <laughs> be the dragon player. Get him. Oof. Eh? Yep. Yeah, first one. All 
All right, so you take 13 slashing. <laughs> and any movement for Derek? Locked in Mortal Kombat. I'm gonna stay right where I am. Okay. And don't forget to take your damage, Loom. Yeah. All right. Bergerberg. Okay. Uh, uh. So it's come down to this. I am going to duke it out with the barbarian, mano a mano. <laughs> Uh, so he was reckless, so I have yeah, an advantage so to advantage. attacking. Uh, so I am going to use uh, primal savagery. Uh, it's an action ah. one creature within five feet of you. Channel primal magic. Uh, make my fingernail sharpen to deliver a corrosive attack. Make a melee spell attack against a creature within five feet of you. Uh, so I get advantage on this. The twenty-two hit you. Yes. That's 11 points of acid damage. I can't have acid. <laughs> exactly. <What is> <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, so I will do that to savage into it with a corrosive attack. I will use a bonus action to disengage. Uh, and then I'm going to skirt 5, 10, 15, 20... 25. Uh, now I'm going to be happy there. I'm done. <clears throat> All right. Not going, not going. Astral. Okay. Uh, I am going to move forward 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, and I believe that dispels your instex again. Uh, <laughs> that spell's still up? Yeah. Have you not it taken... goes for 10 minutes. Does it, is it concentration? Uh, it is, but I haven't been hit. <laughs> oh, gee. Who, why isn't anybody hit Astral? Come on, guys. I hit Astral. Guy, dude. He, he's gonna make a friend. <laughs> he's super yeah. charming. Oh, jeez. <laughs> And then, as my bonus action, uh, I'm going to cast Expedious Retreat again to dash 5, 10, 15, 20. Ah! And I will go ahead and attack you with my longsword. Okay. Were you, did you have something else that was concentration, or am I thinking of something? Uh, yeah, no, no the, the wind is gone now, but I moved forward okay. before it dropped. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, isn't, is Charm Person concentration? No, it's not. I, I checked. Oh, shoot, you're right. It doesn't wow. Are you sure about this? Yeah, Charm's Person. It's crazy. Yeah. It's not. At least it's not mic here as being concentration. It's not. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, uh, so... I, I miss you. Yeah, so. I AC 18. That's fine. Ah! <laughs> Put up my shield. All right. so that's me. And you just, uh, I mean, you just hear him screaming as he continues to chase you. Sure. Uh. Okay. Due to, due to a great rage of not having wine 11 misses oh and reckless i'm gonna make him reckless again 27 hits <laughs> yay <laughs> i don't i'll have to check but i don't believe your second attack is capable of i think it's reckless. all attack no, and i'm pretty sure it's all attack, attack is the whole is all your attacks all yeah your attacks i'm pretty sure turn. it is uh, let's see um, yeah mm. On melee attack rolls for this turn. Yep. When you, yeah, when you make your first attack on your turn, you can decide to attack. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you have to decide when you start attacking, but then for all your attacks for the mm -hmm. round. Uh, so 21 points of damage. Oh. Ow! <laughs> Owie, and owie. Then, um, owie. I believe my beetles can still come over from this side and uh, attack as well. Uh, do they have flanking? 
<laughs> I think he's they do. I think this is the first instance of flanking. All right, let's go, Beatles. Right. Flank them. <laughs> You have oh, to, yeah. Alright, and they have not taken damage. Is that right? That's... 21. Yep. 8 piercing. Okay. Alright. Alright, that's my turn. Are we gonna keep going Finally to... doing barbarian stuff. Okay. Are we gonna keep... Are we gonna keep going with this until everyone's dead? Because only three people have <laughs> died yet, and it's been like five hours. Okay, I like to move back and take take a greater healing potion. Okay, so Eric gets an attack of opportunity. Fine. Woo! <laughs> Fine! Of course! Of course you should get that 20 yep. So is that, uh, is that rip? Yeah. No, no, I'm still alive. Jeez. Oh, 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 thank goodness I kind of back away from there. Uh, why start off with that strike before? Oh, no. Where am I? Okay. Oh, my God. Wait. Wait, I'm at 20. Wait, am I? Oh, I'm at 27. 28. Boy. Yeah, in regards to the time, I think at a, when we hit 11, so about seven more minutes, we'll make a, if, are we going to keep going, or are we going to stop sure. and maybe pick up another time and try to finish up, so we'll... I mean, pers if personally, um, personally, I'm feeling like we're getting kind of close to the end, aren't we? I think people have been fight dropping, we'll so... Unless yeah. everyone here is, has low health, I don't think we're that close. I mean, we still have five people away. Hey. Wow. Plus four, you go 14. <laughs> Alright, so what are you doing, Loom? I'm taking the greater healing potion. After okay. I back away. Alright, and you... Back away. Okay. Defeat. Five feet. Uh, okay. And are is that it for your? Are you done with your action and movement? I will take silence as a yes. I uh, yes, I did. <laughs> okay. Turn. Okay, and Derek is up. Set. Sentinel. That's oh, correct. damn. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. She's still, she's still at the same spot. Oh. You still, so what happened? You have to hit her first. Okay. Yeah. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, Sentin what? Sentinel. He has a feat where if uh, you move into his space, he can make an opportunity attack. And if he hits you, you have to stay where you were. Does that work that way? I thought since he hits you, your movement becomes zero, so she would still stay in the spot that she entered because he has to be able to hit her. Yeah. Uh, like, okay. stay where you were as in where he hit you. Right. Okay. Oh, is he using a pull arm? Yeah. yeah. Oh, break. okay. Yeah, that is actually pretty good. Okay. Still so you have to make an attack. You have to make an attack. Okay. Come on, come on. Uh... No. Okay. Uh... 
so my understanding that so Derek's able to move, and Derek gets those hits in, but um, Loom is doing this Sentinel for the opportunity attack, but missed. Is that correct? Yeah, he missed. He missed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he okay, takes. How much damage did I got? Take? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Twenty-one, 21 damage. damage. Twenty-one. Sorry. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right. Burgerberg is up. Poor Bergie. Um, Burgerberg <laughs> is going to go down swinging. Uh, <laughs> surrounded on all sides, uh, as he has always been as a small goblin treaded underfoot uh, and just fights like a savage animal to the bitter end. Uh, <laughs> he will do another uh, standard action primal savagery against um, uh, shoot the barbarian. Why not? <laughs> uh, so really? barbarian was reckless, I believe, last turn. Yeah, yeah. So, so another advantage against this one. I'm down with a crit. Alright. 24, 12 acid damage. Nice. Okay. And then... Yeah, I'm just going to bonus action disengage and try to run away mm -hmm. the best I can. That's my turn. Alright. <coughs> okay. Oh, well, I... Having seen the goblin run away, we'll follow him <laughs> as he is my friend, uh, and I will attempt to hit you. 18. 18 does tough. do it, just enough to slash the goblin's head off. Oh. <laughs> So close. Okay. And there was one. And one All of them right. ripped. I think we're speaking of it. Then I will use my bonus action to dash again and go five, ten. And start heading up this way. That's me. All right. All right. Ebrius is going to chase after his friend and say, "Friend, wait. <laughs> we were supposed to drink together." <laughs> and uh, term, how will this charm person ask for? Uh, it lasts for an hour. So until I attack him and he gets to remake his saving throw, I, he he considers me his friend. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. seeing, I seeing I can't catch up with him, I'm going to pull out one of my healing potions. Mm -hmm. um, remembering, oh yes, that's right, I do still have alcohol because I put alcohol in all my healing potions. <laughs> and I'm going to have a, a potion of superior healing. Oh. Jeez. Which will be um, 44 plus 40, no, 84 plus 4. Is that it? Yeah, super. Uh, 84 plus yeah. 8, I believe. Yeah, plus 8. 84 plus 8? Okay. Yeah. So. Damn, alright. Um, Thirty-one? That's a good amount. That is a good amount. And I, I guess as my bonus action, I'll have my guys follow me. All right. And I'm most likely going to lose my rig. Actually, can I have them attack me? <laughs> where, uh, hold on, where are you at and where? It's like, I'll, I guess I'll be like right here. I guess I'll drink that healing potion. I guess I'll have them attack me. And then I guess I'll run off chasing him. Because okay. they can only move like me. Yeah. Hmm. I was like, 
<laughs> Dose three. All right, that seventeen does hit. Especially because uh, it's oh no, it's not an advantage because I didn't make an upper attack. So I take seven. All right. Yeah. Chase after my friend. Friends forever. <laughs> is that green square not difficult terrain? Oh, it might be. Is it? Oh, it is. Yeah, uh, it is. Actually, if it is, then I then that means I'm actually back here. And I oh. am. Hold yeah. On. I am. Um. All right. Twenty. And I'm good. I'm over here. And my beetles follow me up to here. And that's my turn. Right. Okay. So let's see them. So to address the time issue, before we move on, um, what I'd like to propose. So it's eleven now. I had said when I kind of posted the game that'd be like a five to six hour kind of game, and I think we've already what we're at. But six, six hours, hours right now. Mm -hmm. so let me know your thoughts. I'm open to debate on this. I would say let's go. We could go till eleven thirty. So basically another half hour and kind of turn it into, you know, you know there might not be one person left. It's just if you survive till eleven thirty. Um, otherwise, I'm or, or another option is if there are players left, we could, you know, the folks that are still left. If you all agreed, we could, you know, finish up at a different well, time. We, I'm I'm gonna ask. Uh, how's Lumen Derek doing on health? Oh, I am at eight. Yeah, Lumen's <laughs> about to die. <laughs> what about you, Derek? Okay. How about you? I'm doing pretty all right, you know. All right. Most of my health still there. So this is gonna be a two v one in a few seconds. So I'm good with going for another thirty minutes to see how that plays out. <laughs> I I okay. don't know if my mom is okay with me staying up past eleven. <laughs> <laughs> just do it quietly. Just, just do do it through text. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else have any other thoughts on that? Again, that's just that was just you know some ideas I had. Yeah, but... If we don't if we don't continue, when would we uh, when would we continue the game? Yeah, we'd have to schedule that. Have, yeah, we'd have to schedule that. So. Um, yeah, I, I'm fine with whatever anybody else wants to do, so you guys can sure. decide. I can come back when we do like a wrap up grand finale, stream that part too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any anyone else? I'm fine with either. I mean, I, it seems like we're all fine with either. So if we're all fine with either, let's let's get it. Let's try and finish it. Okay. All right, Derek, are you able, like, do you have to leave right now? Are you able to go till 1130? I'll, I'll ask my mom if I can stay this. Just a wee bit okay. yeah. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. All right. <laughs> Your mom can join, too. So. All right. In that case, so Loom is up. Is Try to move quickly. Okay. Greater, greater potion. <laughs> so many potions. Put everything you can. Eleven? Eleven? That's not okay. bad. So nineteen points. Uh, it's oh, plus four she's if it's a okay with it. She's four. With... She's okay with it. Cool. Okay. okay. Uh, uh forty four plus four is for the greater. Oh. Oh. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Hits. Some people bought a lot of eight plus. 11 4 equals 23 and I'm right. going to like back up over back up again oh, okay 23. don't hit me with a natural 20 again I'm natural 20 <laughs> natural 20. <laughs> okay all right, Derek, you're up too. Then with your okay. opportunity attack. And where are you moving to, Loom? Moving. Actually, I'm. I'm gonna just be moving. Uh, wait. I'm um, like right here. One, two, three, four. Right here. Okay. So I get and... an opportunity attack on that. Yes, you do. Get him. Hit me. 
Yes! Oh my god, thank you! <laughs> Eight, did hit? Oh. Wow, that man's got some armor. Wow. Yeah. wow. <laughs> Alright, so now Derek is up for full attack. So, do your sentinel. No. If you come near me, I'm using sentinel. Well, you have to make the, you have to make the attack. Yeah, I know, yeah. but like still. Not letting me yeah, it... walk through the trees. I don't think. So... Oh yeah, sometimes the dynamic lighting gets a little weird. Yeah, that happened to me before. I think that's the closest oh. I can go. Okay. So... Wait, what's your AC oh. again? During? So I think I'm going to uh, switch to my crossbow and hit you with that. I get the sentinel attack or? Mm, no, I don't. Um, I don't think so. Yeah. And I'm hit. Poof. Alright. Astral. Alright. Uh, I will move my feet. So that's 10, because I'm still in difficult terrain. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Or, or why am I counting by 10s? I don't even know. Okay. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Gets me right there. Then my bonus action, dashing. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And then I'm pretty sure I can still be there without being in the water. So I'm going to move here. Uh -huh. And then I will fire uh, Eldritch Blasts at Loom. All right. Yeah, in this area all here, it's not water. Ah! Area, so. Wait, no. Uh, so uh, so oh, the me. first one does hit you for 12 damage. And then the second one does not hit you at all. All right, Loom takes yeah twelve damage. Okay, that's me. Yeah, so Astro, I was yeah, you're able to move like all this area is. It's oh, a oh it, it's it's frozen over. Okay, I, yep. I see. Yeah, it's basically once you get over to this area is where it starts okay. getting in. That makes sense. Dice. All right, and Loom, don't forget to, to mark your damage, and Ebrius is up. My heart deeply filled with rage, Beetle friends. Hit me, hit me. <laughs> hit me, Beetles, hit me. All right. How much damage did they do to you? <laughs> Damn you, Beetles. No, actually, no, that hit. That does hit. 14, that's a lot of damage. God. <laughs> well, it's hot for you, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, true, true. Um, yeah, 44 so... damage. Still. That, that was... <laughs> yes! And then I'm going to dash um, as far as I can get, which is going to be, so it's going to be 20. That just gets me so it's going to be 10, so I have 30. I get there with my 30, and then I'm going to have 40 more after that. Mm -hmm. See if I can join the party. Uh, do I know where the store to the other place is? <laughs> or this? I'm going to run over here. I would see them over there. I was like, "You!" <laughs> I'm gonna shout out to Lil. You coward! Come to me. That's only my turn. Oh, oh no! I'm saying all this in celestial, by the way, so I don't know if anybody <laughs> understands me. No. <laughs> all right, you guys, just hear some really beautiful. 
uh, rage-filled language coming out of my mouth. <laughs> All right, Loom. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. Okay, I'd like to take another health potion. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm the same way. I have a lot. <laughs> and plus four equals thirteen. No, fourteen. Okay. Three five, and I'm going to do on this way. Can I hide? <laughs> Is there a possibility of a hide? You're gonna drink a potion. Oh, yeah, yeah she drank. Yeah. If you already drank a potion, that's your action. So. I had a special thing that let me hide as a bonus action. Yeah. Alright, All right. Derek is up. I am going to uh, target Loon with my cross. Yes. Uh, sadly, no okay. hits. Right. And an Moon Rock, heal me. Are you moving, Derek? Uh I guess I'll move a little. Okay. Oh my god, I'm getting cornered. <laughs> and Ebrius. Or I'm sorry, no, Astral. Astral's uh -huh. up then Ebrius. Um I'm going to Hmm. Okay. I'm going to move my 30 feet here, dash as a bonus action, get up to you, and attack. Oh, all right. Ugh. Nope. Uh, so that's me. All right. I'm going to go ahead and tr attempt to uh, run up. Uh, I'm assuming you're using Sentinel? Uh, yes. Alright, go ahead, try to hit me. Okay. Uh... No! Oh, no. <laughs> and I say, uh... <laughs> You ran from me! You ran from me for the entire fight! Sorry. Like, <laughs> I feel like my, like, I'm just like so... I'm a reckless. Uh, oof. One hit. So that's, that's... The first one, the second one doesn't have the nine, so it's five plus thirteen plus eight. Oof. Wait. Oh no, the first one, the first one didn't hit. No, oh, you have a 20 uh, AC? Very reckless. Wow. Yeah. AC. Oh, yeah, that's right. 19, so it's just, uh, that's just, uh, 9 plus 8. 17. 17? Yep. Ah! Uh, oh, my health. I was... You're not looking so hot. <laughs> okay. Uh... All right, that's my turn. I mean, I... Right. Action, to be honest, I... Uh, yeah, no, that's pretty much all I can do. <laughs> oh, how many hit points? Um, uh, you took seventeen. You took seventeen damage. Oh my god. That's my turn. Oh, oh, look. There's look, another. I'm where I was started at. Another potion. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Always at the function. Yep. 
this. P. Okay, P. Four. Wait. Six. Seventeen. Back. Back at twenty-five. No, twenty. Yes, twenty-five. Still holding on. Yes, I am. I and I like right. to okay. I like to okay. move with to the dragon player and the Uh both miss. Barely. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna Oh whoa whoa opportunity hey. attack. Yeah. Uh, uh okay, hopefully none of them hit. Let them hit. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Do I still get reckless for opportunity uh, attacks? No, I don't believe so, cause it's not your turn anymore. Yeah. I believe uh, it's on. Yeah, on your turn. During, okay, yeah. During this yeah, turn. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. What's here? Oh, I could still. Oh, I could still move one more tile. Way. There we go. <coughs> <sighs> All right, now I believe it's Derek's turn. I think Derek just went with the dragon. Uh, he, yeah, attack. she went. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it is Astral's turn. Okay. Um, let's see. Derek, what armor are you wearing? Flint <laughs> <laughs> armor, which I believe contains some metal. Um, I don't know, does, does that work on that armor? Are you tr trying to use a certain uh, metal, yes, uh, warm metal kind of thing? Yeah, well, let's just, yeah, I mean, she doesn't have to tell you what she's wearing, you know, her armor. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's true. Clearly, like, it's obviously, like, met, you know, if there's some metal to it, you would be able to see. Okay. Uh, then... You know what, I, I, I'm actually going to, um, I'm going to, yeah, so I'm going to pull out a scroll of it and cast Heat Metal on her sword. Uh, so that is 2d8 damage, right? So, slash, roll, 2d8. So that's 14 fire damage. Um, and I believe, let's see here. Does she have to drop it? Well, it's a choice. I think if she doesn't drop it, she continues taking. Right. If the creature is holding or wearing the object, the creature must succeed in a constitution saving throw or drop the object. So, you... okay. Wait, it, so what it, are you targeting? Is it, are you targeting the, uh, the armor? I uh, know, I'm targeting her dragon slayer sword. Okay. Uh, and she has to make a constitution saving throw to hold on to it. Uh, I believe, yeah, that makes it. Yeah. She now takes disadvantage with that weapon. Yeah, she has disadvantage with that weapon. Uh, and also, my Expedious Retreat hit fades, and that's my turn. Actually, wait. Yeah, that, that's my turn. That's my turn. All right. Abrius. Uh, I'm gonna run up to here. You might take the sentinel. Piece of work. I am no. No, it, just to make sure, am I misunderstanding Sentinel? I I was under the impression Sentinel worked kind of in the opposite circumstance. If if someone is in Loom's grasp and then tries to get away. Because he's using a he's using I believe he's using like a, a couple of things. One I believe Sentinel allows you to make an opportunity attack when somebody enters your range. And two, um, if you get hit by an opportunity attack, your um, movement becomes zero. Now, because he's using a spear, he can uh, he can keep somebody at like 10, 10 feet away because that has you know ten feet ten feet range. A sixteen hit. Uh, sixteen does hit. Oh, finally! Ah and then. I'm going to um, pull out my net, and I'm going to say to him, "Stop running!" 
I'm and, a uh, <laughs> and, um, yep. Nice. And that's going to Reckless. I'm going to Reckless him with this net. Ah! You're caught. <laughs> Alright, so I take half 13. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, and I must make a... Well, no, on your turn, you can attempt to, um, to free yourself. Oh, no. Oh, no, I can't... Which means you can't take a potion, baby! <laughs> All right, and if that's it, it is. Uh, let's see what Loom does. Okay, what does what the so of this? you you are restrained on your turn. You can try to make a DC ten strength check, freeing yourself, but that takes an action. Um. Okay. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So a fighter and a. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Annette coming in with a clutch, let's go. Wow. Why? Of all things, I am just... Annette. <laughs> so I go plus six. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I'll say, when I was looking over everyone's character sheet, I'm like, you know, there's some little items that are going to be, you know, look like nothing for most of the fight, but they could come in handy at some points. <laughs> all right. Derek. With a hot sword in your hand. Okay. Um, could I just put the sword away and switch to a different weapon? Drop I, it. I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna drop it because someone else can get it. Can I just put it away? Do I have to uh, drop it? Um. Well. Metal. Yeah. What else would you do? So you'd be. What are you gonna do, try to do, basically? I just wanna switch weapons. Um, goes red hot. Goes five ends. Blah blah blah. So you're you're welcome to, but yeah, it's it's glowing red hot. So. Uh. I think okay, fine. I'll drop it. Please. Yeah, it's it's, it's okay. if a creature is holding or wearing the object, it takes the damage. Yeah. So the way I get when it counts when you're wearing it too, you will get hurt. Yeah. Okay, I'll drop it. Okay. Can I like attack the thing? Pack the net? Or... And I'm gonna... What? <laughs> and I'm gonna pull out my crossbow and try to hit Loom. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Hey, guys, wait, can I, like, attack the... Attack the... Well... Give me another action on your turn. What... Yeah, when it's your turn, you can worry about that. I can't lie down. Okay, I All right. And are you moving, Derek? No, I'm gonna stay right where I am. Okay. We'll face Astral's wrath. Astral, you're up. Okay. Um. I think I'm just going to swing and hope I actually hit something this time. Does 17 hit you? I'm... I, I, I'm... 17? My armor class is 17. If it's equal, it hits, right? Yeah, yeah it does. Yep. So, I will hit you with it, which means you also now have a wound. Uh, and then I will also, once it hits you, when the necrotic energy goes in, I'm going to pulse it, and you get a really bad headache. And oh, oh, jeez! You also you take another ten points of damage. So twenty-one in total. A to mm. total of twenty-one damage, yes. And then as my bonus action, I'm going to activate the heat metal. She dropped it. Mm. I dropped the sword, so I don't. Do what do oh, right, 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 yeah. right. Never mind. Uh, then I'm gonna do nothing as action. Okay. Alright, Ibrius. I'm going to attempt to walk up to him. If he wants to use Sentinel, he can. 
Wait, actually, no, I don't think... I'm already in his range, so even yeah, if I you want... Are. You can you you can attempt to hit me though if you want. It won't you know it won't stop me. Okay. Uh... The restrained has disadvantage on attack rolls. Yes, you have yeah. disadvantage yeah. on the attack. But I believe it's a straight roll because I do believe I did the net as a as a reckless so. Reckless. Oh yeah, net. that's true. So it's just a straight roll. Oof. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Eight. Eight. Four. Um, and I'm gonna look down on him. I'm gonna say, I know not who was your god, but I hope they look down on you in shame, and I'm gonna hit him with two attacks. Yep. With 11 advantage. does not hit. Well, actually, yeah, it has advantage because. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 shows, it shows you advantage there. Yeah. Hit. Oh my god. You can't hit the man that's restrained, goddammit. I use uh, the net as to protect myself. <laughs> Alright. And that's my turn. All right, Loom. My turn. Okay, I like to attack the net to rip it. All right, it's got an AC of ten. Yep. You do have disadvantage on the attack though, because you are still restrained. It's still like a five to AC. A ten. It, yeah. It, 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 yeah. It's not hard. Yeah, to you're hit. yeah, you're free. You're free. <laughs> okay. Okay, I like to run away. <laughs> That will be opportunity for me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just drop that now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that hits. Oh no. Yeah. Seven damage. Yes. Uh, uh, it's it's thirteen because of. Oh wait, the, does the divine fury trigger on opportunity of attacks? Uh huh. No, oh, he already used it already. Me? Me? Oh uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only on your turn. So I think it's only seven. Each of my turns. Yeah, okay. No, it's yeah. on my turn. Yeah, so, so it's only seven. Seven. How much damage does it, was it seven? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay. cool. time to use my future move of... So seven. I... All right. Is that it, Loom? Yes, it is. All right. Let's see, Derek, what can you get in? Uh, wait. So it's kind of my turn. So I take one d8 of necrotic damage. You do. Over. Yes. So. Um, so four points of damage. Uh, now you're gonna make a Constitution saving throw. Uh, that just fails it, so the wound does not go. Okay. Oh wait, it's 11.30. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... try eating... Astral again. Wait, no, no. I'm going to... try to hit... Ebrius. Yeah. With the, the bow. With the bow. That's gonna hit. <laughs> All right, so we're at eleven thirty. I know, but we're so close to the end. So I again, I I, I could I I know uh, Lola probably has to go. Um, well, I, I I think I might kill her on my turn because I'm going next. You do that. Yeah, and that okay. I was gonna say that might we'll see what happens here. So. Okay. All right. Then I will uh, attack her as my action. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Big oof. So that that hits. Um. So how much damage did that in total? Nine. I think right because it didn't roll that well. I am yeah, nine. very dead. <laughs> okay. Aww. GG. F's, big F's for right. Derek. Uh, Alright, I want to give an especial, uh, a special thanks to Lola for joining. I believe this was your first D&D &D experience ever. 
Wow. Like you did awesome. Wow. Excellent work. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I told you up front you were, you know, you know, playing with the big boys and big girls and, you know, level five. And so I think you did pretty well for your first time. So. Excellent Yes. Work. So thank you for joining us. So appreciate it. Put a lot of effort and thought into my character, and I think that helps. Yep. Yeah. Like way too many props to roll pop out. And this another like another D and D lesson. Yeah, this is so far what six and a half hours in, but with all the PCs and NPCs, this is going about average. So fights can be pretty long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. This is exceptional. Though. Usually okay. not this long. Yeah, but not, yeah this is. Fun. This is a yeah. bit longer. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Bye. All right. Bye. Have a good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Yeah. And I will use my Finally movement. The to... Final three. Yep. I'll use my three. movement to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 over here. Uh, and right. that's me. And was that. Ibri or yeah, Loom or Ibrius is up. Sentinel. Mm-hmm. Hey, please hit, please hit. Nice. Ooh, that's gonna hit. I like to. I like to. All right. And. And dash. Oh damn! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. I just realized I muted myself. Oh. Uh, I was throwing. I was throwing another swarm at him. Oh. Okay. Oh okay. Your bonus action. Your. This is your. The is last action. of your. The last of your. Swarms. Yes. Swarms. So he, your... It was like right okay. here. Okay. Oh, I see. That's Roll. why you rolled a G4. That's it. Okay. Uh, okay. What is? What's the animal for? Or what's the swarm? A swarm of wasps. Okay. okay. And uh, I was throwing it at him before he left, so they should be able to attack. Yeah. Do they hit? We will um, see. Yeah, I, have to, I have to roll for them first. Yeah. All right, I'll just do a quick roll. God, wasps. That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so oh, thank God. Oh, no, that's just initiative. That's just initiative. Oh. No. I don't, yeah, I don't know why I hit that. Uh... <laughs> Oh, thank God yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll use my bonus action to bring my other wasps up, um, up here. And that'll be my turn. Right, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put this in your journal. Uh, let's see if it gives you. Do wasps get attack of opportunity? If I mean, something do, move. Do swarms get attack of opportunity? I believe they do. All right, so then he can't go through them without getting hit. I'm going there. I'm going. As you're going here. Well, well, the, 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 this was before you moved. He was just yeah. muted, muted when he was saying it, so uh, we moved on a little bit too prematurely. So right now you're technically still right here, and it's the start of your turn. So you're technically still right here, and it's the start of your turn. So you can yeah. do whatever you want. Where? Uh, right here, I believe, is where you were. So you can continue the movement, it's just he was on mute, and that's yeah. for the swarm so, one. You can do what you did, uh, you, you just take an attack of opportunity. Well, well, no, no, sorry. Yes, that's true, so he does take an attack of opportunity from the swarm. So go yeah. ahead and roll the attack of opportunity for the swarm. Okay. No. Okay, I like to... To take a dash action. Mm -hmm. To run away. 
right here. And that will be my accent. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, it's my turn then, I believe. Yes, it is. Okay. And we'll move. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Okay. Still can't see him. Actually, I, I can... Uh, at least uh, you, you can look at a DM, but I can see like a tiny sliver of them. So could I go with three fourths cover of them? Let's see. Uh, you're trying to hit loom. Where yeah, it's loom? like it's like barely there. So it's completely up to you. And what? Yeah, let me see your view. I'm gonna move you back over here for a second. Um, mm -hmm. Based on your view. Yeah, you. It, he would have three fourths to cover. Um, but did is the was the swarm here? Would you have taken an opportunity attack going no, through that swarm? No, because they're not hostile. Oh, uh, they're they're not hostile to me because they follow him. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. so if that, if that's the case, then I'm just going to uh dash as my action. Mm -hmm. Five, ten, fifteen. And remember, that's difficult terrain, 1d4 oh, oh. each. Oh, right, right, right. right. So, so that is the actual damaging ice? Yeah. Okay, so I'll go across the bridge. Five. Okay. Oh, I, I, no, I, I moved 10 feet there, so that's as far as I can get. And okay. then as my bonus action, I'm going to... I'm going to cast... Uh, Wrathful Smite. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to start. I, yeah. I'm just going to cast it. it. It doesn't actually do anything yet, but okay. I'm trying to make it see, make, make it actually show what it does. But th that'll be my turn, so you can move on. Okay, I'll move that. Ebrius. Go, go ahead and move while screaming. <laughs> Movement. Bring these guys 20 feet with me. Can I bring my wasps I, 20 feet up? I don't think you can move through astr through astral. You. Oh, oh or no, because you. Uh, well, you're not. You We're regard friends. him as a friend, so. Yeah. Three yeah. friends. Yeah. So okay. Then back. yeah. <laughs> and yeah, you can move five, ten, fifty. They have what? Twenty. Twenty. Or fly thirty. They're flying, so. Oh, they're 30? Oh, so then yeah. I'll use my bonus action to get this guy over here. Attack him. Um. Did that count for Sentinel as well? Uh, I, maybe? Sure. Let's say sure. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and attack. Does 17, 17 hit? 17 hit? What's their AC? 11. Uh, yeah, so that, a 17 would hit, so. It's still right, 13 so... damage to them. Are they dead? Okay. No, no they are not. Okay, yeah. They're still up. And they are, like, around here. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And, um. And then, my turn. I'm going to. Do you have your turn? Is this, is there anything, I haven't used my action yet, that was my movement, my bonus action. Is there anything mm -hmm. I can go do? I am going, I am going to, what can I do? Hmm. I'm pretty sure I can do something, I'm just looking for it. Aha, yes. What is the range of this? All right. How far are you, my friend? All right, I'm going to chuck some alchemy, alchemist fire at him. Poof. Uh, All right. Uh, hold on, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I can use Reckless for this. Uh, uh, I, have, I think it's a weapon attack. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't know. So it misses. Alright. Yeah, it's fine. 
while Loom this, I'm going to go use the restroom real quick, but I'll rush yeah. back. So, Loom, you can do what you want, but I'll be back and you can let me know. Okay. Wily Coyote cartoon. Okay, I'm going to drink a potion of greater healing. Mm -hmm. Nine plus four. Okay. We won. And I like to move pretty here. Yeah, okay, I was here. I was here. Oh, wait, hold on. All right, I am back. <clears throat> okay, I like to. Yeah, he just drank the potion and now he's moving. Okay. Right here. Mm -hmm. Play action. Okay. So my turn now. Yep, your turn. Okay. I will move five, ten, twenty. And I can see you fully from right there. Uh, I will continue to move 25, 30. And then I will shoot two Eldritch Blasts at you. So first uh, one does five points. Second one does four ooh. points. My god. Yep. And uh, that's me. Think. Okay. One moment. Checking something. Uh, okay. So I'm going to come over here. I'm pretty sure my rage has ended by now. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Not something I was about to ask. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been six turns. Twenty. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'll bring my wasps with me if that's yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Do you have? I, can you? Control the wasps as well. Like you should be. Able to... Control the beetles, though. Um, yeah. yeah, you can only control one of them yeah, on his yeah, turn. Yeah. yeah, so I don't think you can. All right, then I'll just move the beetles. Uh, okay. I'm going to come over. Huh. Yeah. All right. Um, here. Yeah. All right. Are you going to? Uh... Yes, Sentinel. Sentinel? Something so I'm gonna be here when you try to send. All right, so beetles, do they? The beetles, I, I can just move them out to there. Oh, actually, 30. So, yeah, the beetles or Ooh, the beetles a... are 39. Yeah, that's gonna be a miss. So, I'm gonna walk up and I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my thing, except and reckless, but I'm not raging anymore. Yep. Oh, all right. Maybe a twelve and a twelve. That's it. I think that was a twelve. So twelve points of damage. Twelve points. And then the beetles. Uh, can they? Yeah, they can read them. And then the beetles are gonna come and attack too. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, let me do that. Okay, I keep forgetting. I. All right. So beetles, did they take damage? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they did. did. Yeah, they did. All right. Uh, yeah, they. That's unfortunate. They don't know what's going on. It's too cold for them. <laughs> yeah, they just, they just, they just slam against his armor. All right, and that's my turn. <laughs> All right. Boom. Okay. 
You know what? We know what time is it. You know, we all know what's going on. Uh, 13. 15. Plus. How many healing potions do you have? Yeah, I. I can attest, you know, because I kept track of people's uh, what potions they bought, and that was pretty much his major investment. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have, I have, I had, how many do I have? I, have, I mean, I can relate, I have nine. Yeah. You know. I think maybe if this is to be done again, maybe just to limit that. Of like yeah. the number of potions, just a little bit. <laughs> come yeah. on, man, come on. Well, okay. I, I, no, I, I, I'm not Max saying anything against you in particular. I mean, I also <laughs> have nice. like seven potions, and I was able to invest okay. in like, and I like a lot of different move. things. I like to move. Man, that's gonna be two attacks of opportunity for the both of us. <laughs> that's mine. Which is gonna be eighteen. Which does not hit. Because 20 AC. And then the Beatles. The Beatles and the tech. Uh, it's definitely not. <laughs> yeah, but to that point earlier, yeah, the definitely the lesson learned is to for do if I do this again, limit the, the healing potions. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I do that as a free action to like beat are these uh, intern infernos? I speak with them. I mean I am oh, you mean the monsters? <laughs> yeah. But I impossibility speak with them. I do speak inferno. Oh, so do they I. actually neither of them have languages. Oh. Can I sign language? <laughs> You can do whatever you want. Um, <laughs> on that note, but okay, yeah, okay. they—they're usually when when people try to communicate like that without language, you usually ask for a performance check to see if they if they managed it. Performance check, okay. Yeah, that sounds reasonable here. Yeah, if you wanted to do a performance check. All right, I, have, these, I have a uh, zero to performance. Let's go. Eleven. Okay. Ask them, hey, can you help me, please? Well, if you're okay, so you're. They both acknowledge that you came into the room. <laughs> hmm. All right. So, these have you've come back into their room. They are back in uh. This yeah. Does it work? <laughs> well, it's the it's. So that was your your action, right? I use my action to drink a potion. Yeah, I use an action to drink a potion. Okay, that was the full action. So okay. Just doing that. But free you action. you you won't know what happens until like so you did your you you. You did your signing, and we'll see what happens when it's their turn. <laughs> roll a natural 20 on that roll out. Get an astral. All right. Yep, astral's up. Okay. Uh, I will move. Uh, 15, 20, 20. Uh, oh, wait, is it not on the move? Oh, it's doing the weird tree thing. Okay, wait. I have 10. Okay, 20, uh, 30. Uh, I can't quite see him, so I'm going to... Heal me! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, <laughs> Friend, and I will dash. <coughs> oh, huh. said no. Oh, wow. No. They're right there. Oh, yeah. Technically. Probably going to hit. Uh, mm -hmm. 
damage. Okay. Let me stop moving. Does that, uh, does, that, does that block the entrance now? Well, I can move through him. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because we're not... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Past him. yeah. Uh, so that that's my turn. A bridge. That's All my right. Ibrius. Oh hi. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> oh no. I'll go ahead and uh, recklessly attack you, and I'm gonna hit you with some 10, 10, 10, uh, 10 damage. You know, it kind of feels like I'm hitting a brick wall though, because you know. <laughs> oh, the healing push. <laughs> um, so these guys are gonna come over here too with my bonus action, and uh, they're gonna they're gonna try and sting you. Go ahead, give me that, give me that, uh, mm -hmm. that roll. Uh, that's gonna yes. be a fire. Yeah. Actually, oh, yeah, never mind. I mean, that's not flanking, right? Yeah. That's not no, that's not flanking. Yeah. Oh, man, we're gonna have to deal with these fucking monsters. Too. Yeah. All right. Um. And is that my turn? I do believe that is my turn. All right. Now this lovely creature is up. You're in its domain. <laughs> Damn. Must. Okay, it's going to move up. Mm -hmm. Do astral and do a. It has a spear in, in both hands, and we'll do a. Nope. Nope. All right. And this other one. We'll go up and do a slam attack against. Loom. Come on! And I do believe that is, yeah, that's flanking. So that's oh, flanking. I, I don't know if yep. you guys, did you guys count as friendly towards each other? Or, or do you uh, not need, you just need to be on yeah. opposite sides? How does that work? It's, it's, yeah, for, con, for because this is a player versus player game, it's oh simply, my. yeah, it doesn't have to be friendly. Okay. <laughs> okay, it doesn't sense. really exist too much in this game. So, yeah, so it becomes very clear to you, they acknowledged the signs that you made, they didn't care. Um, Ariok is their lord and master, and they know that their job is to kill anyone in this room. That's not Ariok, so. So you take, Should because that it? was with advantage, that is 24, or I'm sorry, no, 14 bludgeoning. See that goblin, that's the way the goblin should have let me ride him like a horse. <laughs> that would have been, been the tag thing right there. Oh my god. All right. And you are up, Loom. Look, I'm charmed. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't control this <laughs> one more. <laughs> yeah. I'm probably gonna die after this because he's just gonna walk up to me and start yeah. stabbing. Yeah. In the future, maybe also just take Charmed Person off the list of spells, like the other spells, because after seeing this, it seems like it's a bit powerful. Would I don't know. But he could take Disengage if he didn't want to get hit. Uh. Uh, mm, right, what you no, doing, Loom? You know what? <sighs> I'd say go, give it your all. Just start <laughs> swirling your glaive around. See what you can hit. I'm not raging. I'm not happy. That's true. Okay, here we go. One. <laughs> nice. Oh. You see? Two. Uh, the three. And, no. and one uh, more. Wait, why do you get three? I'm oh, confused. Because he gets his two Polar regular master. attacks oh, with okay. extra attack, then he's Polar Master with bonus action, I think. Did I, did I do Reckless? I did do Reckless, so yeah, those, those all hit. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a lot. Nine, oh, 22. 19. Is that 19? Uh, that is indeed quite a bit. All right. Yeah, nineteen. And by the gods, I'm going to run. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
yeah, how much? I go behind the tree. Sure. If, I... if you yeah. can move there, yeah. Okay, here we go. So, do I get this planking on my opportunity? Yes. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, double tens. Well, yeah. Doesn't matter. So, all three creatures. Yeah. So, let's see. <laughs> Gotta be something's gotta give. Come on, twenty somewhere. The the zombie gets flanking too. Yeah. Oh man! Come oh on, beetle! Um, Come on, beetle! <laughs> Come on, beetle! That's this doesn't count. They uh, the other wrong one. This one here. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so that 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 is the crit then. Yeah, wow. I think so. <laughs> That's the the beetle's got a crit. So that's All right. 5%. You still have? I do believe that's it, Loom. And I just keep, you know, I just keep saying, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." Until oh. you just eyes oh. are like, God. Oh, how old you were like, you? Would you like a spirit token? Cool. Or are you heading out? Oh, Loom out? Did the Beatles get him? <laughs> yeah. No, the the, the the zombie did, or the the vine thing. Oh, no, oh, the beetles literally got you because you ran oh, away. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it was the beetles. Wow. Yep. Wow. <sighs> the beetles are gonna get him. Like, <laughs> yes, by the power of Diana. It's so Yeah, okay, I gotta say, I lived. I was like. Y you you lived for a very long time. Like <laughs> yeah. seriously, yeah. like. The first hand was like, oh my god, my health. I thought like, alright, maybe if I... Like, hey, maybe if I take this... Right. You shouldn't have started like, making an alliance. I... Yeah, you need right, to I did try to make an alliance, but like... <laughs> he died. You, you tried to kill me. See, the trick I... is not to ask people for an alliance, it's to make them alliance. It's to force them against their will. I'm going to turn to Astral. While Luma's on the floor, mm -hmm. I'm going to um, say to him, mm, "Brother, let us drink and be merry." And yeah. you are you two the only two left? Yeah, we are. All right. So I'll say so. It's, it's kind of up to you guys. I'm what what, but what I propose is based on the the casting of that spell and that you guys are are friends. Should Astral choose to? We could end with kind of both of you still alive and have a unique ending. Hour, like an hour. I have absolutely no choice in the matter. That's entirely up to him. Yeah, yeah. I know. Like, like uh, I, I just want to know, just like, it, are you at low HP at all, or is would this just take yeah. forever? Well, if you hit me, I'm probably dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like that. Well. If you hit, it's, it's probably over. Oh, so it's just it's just a matter of, matter of my moral, my my, yeah. my morals. It's just a matter of your rolls. <laughs> Nine enter. Okay. Uh, you, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'll just blast his I head will. off. Like I, I pull out I pull out a couple of health potions and I'm like. Oh, yeah, this is like oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I don't need them. I actually I'm literally missing one point. <laughs> oh really? Is that so? That's actually yeah. cool. Myself, yeah. Okay, uh, highs or lows? What'd you say? Do you choose high numbers or low numbers? Ooh, um, high numbers? <laughs> okay. Uh, so I move right here. And I attack you. Uh, with what? What are you attacking uh, with? with? With my, uh, long sword. Uh, uh, do I have flanking with the zombie? Because they had a spear, which I believe is 10 foot each. I don't you know what they're... Uh, oh no, across. this this creature here, it was just okay. like a slam. Yeah, like a slam okay, okay. attack. This one has uh, I was just making sure. Right, okay, let's see um, if this hits you. It is, it is, no, but I mean it is. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay. Well, let, let, let's let's also just do. Um, let's see. Roll one d six for my smite. Slash roll one d six. Oh no, that's an I. I'm I'm dead. I'm I'm dead. <laughs> and then <laughs> he kills him. He's dead. dead. He's dead. And then I will also use this. Oh my god. <laughs> Just and He's great. So as I die, I'm going to grab onto him and pull him in closer so I can whisper in his ear. Don't give in. Don't let him win. Don't let him win. And then I'm just going to die. Wow. I, it appears. I, mean, I won, but I don't feel like I won. I feel like I... <laughs> it's a dirty victory. <laughs> wow. All right. And as Ibrius falls... Oh. <laughs> Lord Ariok appears... Slowly clapping, a sly grin on his face. Ah, it appears that you have won. Astral, how did you do it? Um, <laughs> skill through treachery, do tell. Through <laughs> being ignored half the battle <laughs> and never having to get close to people. <laughs> and then also being able to stack massive amounts of damage when I did hit people. <laughs> and I never even used Hexblade's Curse. Wow. Oh my god, he never used Hexblade's Curse. Oh god. That's how you do it. Nope. So, Astral, let me ask. Do you stay in my power as my champion to dominate the multiverse with me? Or do you go free, and perhaps face me another day? The choice is yours. Well, Attack as him. champion of the Attack god of misfortune, this entire circumstance was very unlucky. So, I will join you. Oh! <laughs> In your sure. conquests. I didn't die for this. <laughs> you have chosen right, my child. Let us begin your true training. They both got horns. And Ariok laughs and comes, kind of extends his hand out. And as you go to reach it, the yep. walls all fade. And as he touches me, my onyx scales start to grow a bright red. And your new master has a new new apprentice and I want to thank all of you for wow. joining me in this game this was a, definitely a, a long game it was yeah I didn't know what to expect I, 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 I had a personal hunch I was like you know what it might be maybe six six and a half hours we'll see but <laughs> yeah, far off. I mean I mean seven that, that, that's yeah. not yeah. that bad of an estimation yeah nine people plus like plus six monsters. NPCs plus yeah. massive maps that, that, like, that. yeah like yeah, I just gotta say, that, like, you you did an amazing job. Yeah, being well done. Yeah, yeah it was awesome, yeah. dude. Well, thank you, guys. I, I appreciate well it. And I mean, honest, I said it before. I'll say it again. I appreciate all of your help as well. I mean, I'm one DM, and I mean, you guys did amazing at policing yourselves as well. And I yeah, mean, no, that know, was keeping it honest. It's I couldn't have asked for a better group. This was this was a lot of fun. Yeah, everyone yeah. did great on that front. Yeah. Turns yes. out College of Whispers and Hexblade work pretty well together. God, so how, did you have three classes? What were you? What no, I, 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 I was a multi class. I was a third level College of Whispers bard and a second level Hexblade warlock. Wow. Oh. Huh. So, Good combo. Yeah. So it just made it so I could use my charisma for everything, yep. including attacking. And then when I, I could just stay at range from everybody, I had Voiding Wind, I had Expedious Retreat, I had Hex, I had I had a lot of things. Wow. Well, cool. I was actually would think of like choosing like a 
using like a paladin or something for like I be a paladin or something like or like a ranger of some sort. Mm -hmm. Surprised so, more like, paladins. Okay, yeah. uh, but I yeah. think like Bandmaster um like, I thought the idea of like had, like so many ideas to like mm -hmm. like with the battle like mm -hmm. possibly like trip someone off or push so them off of the bridge like I don't know I, mean, I just wanted to hit things with a big axe <laughs> <laughs> I thought almost like the easiest class that would live the longest would be druid or barbarian I, I got and I'm surprised that none of them won yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. and of course the wizard dies first yeah I might have been able to go the distance if I didn't get charmed yeah that's yeah that charm. was yeah I, I I still I still had a second level and a first uh two first level spell slots as well as two dispel magic scrolls one heat metal scroll Jeez. and a scroll of fear. Wow! Wow! Uh, I was wondering like how many spells do they got? Like oh my god! Like <laughs> I can't survive any longer if they keep doing yeah. this. Uh, I, I mean, had a I still had seven seven healing potions, so I might have been I could I could have I could have gone a little bit farther, but yeah, yeah. it was like. Yeah. Okay, I think I had like almost like. Uh, I think I only, I almost have like. 